Looks like it's going to be Team Liquid at 100 Thieves. And then tomorrow, the games I'm really excited about. Well, one game specifically that I'm really excited about with uh, FlyQuest and NRG. So we're going to hop right into Immortals and NRG and see how it went. The Immortals composition a little bit, but that's mainly because I just love Immediately, I'm Zyra comps that make sense. Being able to full clear in Calista under three minutes, and, and then also having Ole on Leona, which I think is the strongest the support on the patch right now, due to the like tenacity rune well. changes and also Warmogs being such a great item for her. Uh, it Let's just makes right a lot of in. sense as long as they can get through that first support. Zero six. It's, mm -hmm. It is actually 0-6, which you don't see many teams start 0-6 and then still have championship aspirations, which is where energy is going to be right now. And then one small All thing right. that is a little bit unlucky for energy, actually, is the way side select spot works lane. in but that makes a lot of sense up against LCS on the one side, Leona, the Zyra, teams from and Renekton, and then the other side, Sejuani, Jax, and, and the bottom four get it in there three is of their series. Energy was so a much CT. But the way the randomization worked after that, this is the third match in a row that Energy's actually not had side select. So it's a slightly unlucky against them at the very start of the season and it's even more important that they don't have that negative momentum of starting 0-3 or 0-6. Yeah, and obviously I know perfect you keep bringing game this by up, Jack, but we see the energy slow summer I didn't actually know a perfect game had ever happened. They did get perfect game by EG. Uh, obviously this was in single game best of ones, yep. not best of threes which you kind of underlied the the important even then of, just a best of uh, game in general sounds really rough match against IMT. not being able to get and anything on, all game that's NRG demoralizing invade, they were spotted out by an mortal's ward um but i'm really excited to watch this bot lane on the bot side tactical had some really good games last know, week and uh, i'm gonna be hyped to see him on some uh here, Ezreal in again. addition to scouting out for a potential swap that did not happen i mean they have three wards down in the jungle so he is gonna be absolutely spotted out anywhere he wants to go We'll have to see exactly what contract you know, Zyra is super clear compared well, to Sejuani. So they're going to get the info, of course, that contract is coming, clearing from looks top like coming to the bot. Uh, and both teams are going to be fully aware of, of the information. I do wonder what Energy is using all of that early vision for because they didn't disrupt Armeo's very early clear. It does seem like they just he didn't, didn't necessarily get clear everything just camp super fast. We'll busted into them under tower. The six camp the big wave on. and everything, right? As low as like 258. Um, but... At the moment, the first wave crashed into Ole. Wow, tactical, they're clearing the red buff so quick. Generally okay, and there's no dive being set up. That's so actually looks disgusting. Like a relatively okay early game for the Immortals bot lane. Yeah, it's just going to be about how much of this. I'm so surprised we don't see more Zyra jungle. That's actually just disgusting. There is obviously a couple more there for him to farm, but you know, so there's no big wave bot lane. Zyra is now on the bottom side, so they are going to just crash the wave. I feel like every, uh, the LPL does that all the time. They always have this super big wave and dive your level two or whatever, and it always looks disgusting. That pace of the Zyra, they should be aware. But the Zyra could be down here. Yeah, they're just oh, going wow, for the it. flash engaged by the Leona. Uh, well, who he in the water shop is going to flash out the strength floor. It's not going to actually. Oh, they got down. out, though. As uh, Grasping Vines, excuse me, the root doesn't actually connect. I may have flashed in. I, I really thought they were going to get something there, but who he really was able to dodge what he needed to. They target the support because he's the one without the cleanse. Oh, watch out. Contracts now maybe getting a oh, little bit of Oh, that's true. I guess, I guess really who he really actually didn't lose anything there. To see who gets it. Yeah, we'll oh, sorry. No. FBI is, didn't lose anything there. Who he lost everything there. Safe in this 2v2. Oh, uh, that's really rough. Sit around here, not going to be able to actually challenge very likely for this. Actually, funnily now, enough, as who he moves up. Oh, lost everything is, too. To I mean, he has the hex flash. Cross and potentially go for a double scuttle. It is going to have to be a base here. But while they did trade health and everything like that, summer wise, it was a pretty even trade. I am kind of a little bit surprised because I guess contracts was not in a position where FBI. he was going to be able wow, to that was deep. them without mm. uh, skipping. was there a little bit earlier. That could have been yeah. awful. He must have had some kind of timing understanding. Yeah, I, I feel like this early set of decisions by Armeo the first any words. is good. Oh, I guess everything they did that, see the, they're, uh, they're the missing boom that, strike. Like, slight bit of extra you get with Zyra. Like when you have the chance to double scuttle there, you just go for it and slingshot oh, your way ahead of the Sejuani because as out. it is now, it's actually just going to be seven camps to seven camps. And he's he does have his first item now that's going to help him clear faster after that, but he's he could be a lot farther ahead actually, of Sejuani at this point. Top lane will probably because, be discussing with Jax, right? Like that at the very the least, pretty he was tanky. able to get uh, a pretty good back for uh, Tactical mm. and Ollie's. You see them roaming up topside, presumably for a Corrupt take. Um, so, I mean, in, in this lane where they were getting hard shoved in, 
Uh, I wouldn't obviously, say it wrong. Like you said it could have been a little bit more efficient, but I oh, do they have all the vision up there, dude. Wow, there's right? so many people. So they're gonna be four Castle. Up for and they're setting up for a dive on top side. Yeah, they're actually just going to go for the four man dive here. Ole going to look to start it out. When's the counter strike going to come through? The stun arrives. The rune is Oh, look at Doku possibly. Do oh, Wait, Doku, you're insane! Stands tall oh, in the top that was huge. Lane, I can't believe they would get anything from it. He had no flash. Starting out that dive without flash was very risky. And Doku was wow. able to get the punish. I think you got to lead with the Renekton there instead of the Leona. I think the ordering by Immortals was just a little bit of impatient. I understand Ole. Super well played by Dokla. So many times I only really saw him on uh, Kasante, I feel like, last week. So it was really good to see him on Jackson flash. doing well. When you bring four to a level five top leader, really you good usually get uh, the practice for free. Castle. So Dokla surviving this is a great outplay. Yeah, and I mean, this is... And LA didn't have flash because the they used it on that last... Uh, go, oh, right? just so much damage on... Wow. He still dies I'm really surprised Jax did that one, much but damage as a whole. That's actually so crucial. We see the pink card reacting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one of those reactions where he knows it's bad that that was even a possibility. Yeah. But he's happy that he got the return kill because it still doesn't help him a huge amount. He did lose the wave. His... Opponent top laner did get the kill, and now we're actually in a full swap situation. Yeah, I was going to say, now we see those assi uh, lane mm. assignments coming through out of IMT. That is a really interesting uh, lane no, swap. No uh, grub set up yet, but they oh, do for the have grubs. this bot lane duo no, that makes a lot of sense. from that pushing Ash stuff. Yeah, they do, but at the same time, you know, they were. You don't always see that where the bot lane will rotate up. You do sometimes you see the support rotate. Your opponent. Yeah, you got a kill. Yeah, Dokla doesn't get They don't even need to help. Off of it, wow, Zyra just clears camp, bro. Advantage, right? That is, across the map, still a very good play for energy as we're seeing Immortals pushing on top side. They're taking the grubs with the Zyra. They're going to get some planes for Ezreal because they kind of poke out the axe and it'd be really dangerous for them to go in. Yeah, a lot happening right now. Both neutral objectives. Although, Contracts is trading it back for Drake. off of a solo. The way that I always think about it is Grubs is going to be a little bit stronger early on. So if I was on an aggressive comp, I'd always want Grubs. But if I was going for like super scaling or something like that, I actually prefer the Drake. Because you get the uh, the stats for later, but then you also have that threat of being able to stack them up. Yeah, they do like. have the wave in a really good state right now. We'll see if they can start it off properly. They are All right. And Castles just stuck behind the pillar. Castles are so tanky. Oh, from the Ooh, oh, yeah. Wait, Castle, that's okay. These kill. these top and laners are just crazy. Three, and that wasn't even that close, honestly, to being able to I feel like they're lucky Huey didn't die. Missed, I feel like they just had to take it and back off. Yeah. Yeah, neither of these dives have uh, worked. Wow, that's so the rough. The team's initiating them. <laughs> Would have this is a top laner's dream. Interesting that who he's the one that engaged there. And so deep too. Yeah, you know, you know when you stick your toe in the water to see if it's too hot. <laughs> Normally, if it's too hot, you don't then jump in. But that's what contracts. Did. And he got the cannon too. I know it didn't show you on that replay, but based on how he set it up, I'd be shocked if he didn't get that cannon yeah, I mean, with his Q. I, that, that one was a little bit tough, right? They don't have great CC to set it up. They could have potentially led. That is actually just so heartbreaking. Ash, but then maybe you know zero getting burst down. I feel like they should have just walked up with this Edgewani point blank right. feud and then thrown the alt out of it and yeah. try to actually start it that way. They were trying to have you know your support hold aggro on the very edge so we can step out mm -hmm. at that last mm -hmm. moment, but it's more important. Or maybe has the upgraded smite. I wonder how long, how long until contracts get it because uh, Zara does clear wave a lot faster than Edgewani, but I, I'm kind of curious to exactly how much faster. So contracts is just lane. turned. Uh, hasn't really been too much action there. Yeah, and that's kind she's of up almost. Both of them want, right? Like especially with this. Yeah, almost twenty farm. Uh, I think I think she's gonna get twenty feet. Oh, that's disgusting. And then also, he didn't even finish clearing the red buff. You can get Dokla to a point where he will be able to mm. mow down side lanes. Um, oh, so she already has faded ashes. I'm kind of curious how much uh, more Armeo can get. Yeah, we have not seen any action mid, which is actually kind of surprising given how many other teams have kind of really, really. Tried on to on, on the next back, they'll uh, probably get. Please. Yeah. There's the attempt, I uh, think, the, uh, from Booby. That's the Black uh, Torch, right? Ash equivalent of a mid lane roam. <laughs> Just fire the arrow, see what happens. Be like, all right. It's all for the game still hits. Comes, Those are the roughest when you get hit mid lane from an ash arrow from base and you're sitting there stunned for like six seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have enough time to go get food and everything. Just uh, players. And also so just rough. because the Ash Callista creates so much priority around double hail of blades all in early. And then you also have Ole, who's not on the Ash Leona, and he just wants to fight every time his flash is <laughs> Speaking of which, his flash is up and he's running bot lane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flash, flash is back up. Find out that he was actually spotted there. Armeo is around in the area, so... 
could be a did bit he get of a spotted there? Here, but it is difficult. I'm guessing so. It kind of looked like he might have sniffed jump, it out. They don't have that ash arrow available uh, for a little while. They do have this edge one. Okay, back definitely know they're there now. Yeah, and on top side, we also see the, the support the battle begins. Now dirty farm. He placed another ward there immediately. In terms of getting that prior, obviously Doklo will be able to catch this wave. But oh, interesting. Doklo is bringing it into the base. What IMT does is we see Armeo. Or I'm sorry, into the turret. Top side, them having set up vision uh, or bot side. Set Ooh, vision and a plate. Bot side, see if they and a plate. want to make some plays. Yeah. Uh, I I still think. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the scale. Mask is up this game. a little bit in gold. Actually, so everyone besides the bot lane's up a little bit of gold on the immortal well. side. Yeah. Um, but you don't want this. Aurelian soul to get to a point. Ah, oh, Renekton is, is looking Jackson strong with Castle too now. Soul scaling is is good, but I just look at contract stealing a Zyra camp. Leona Ballsy. As a team fight starter compared to the support. Wait, Ash. wait, no, that's his the side of the jungle. Going to outscale for them, and then Corky Zyra Renekton <laughs> is just fine. Yeah. No, 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 wait, I was right. Just Contact was stealing it. I saw Castle yeah, walking up, and I was like, wait, are they blue? We're going to see the Ash Arrow actually connect, but nice little buffer there from Mask, because he's going to be able to Valkyrie out. Okay, no, 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 I, I was right Rage the first time. For some reason, I was wrong right? on the you know, second time. A lot of poke if we're talking about, like, a level 16 Corky. And a level it looks like they're going to six scrubs here with Zyra walking up in Castle. Yeah, Contract just has to leave. Six scrubs here. Their first of the spot, but energy are potentially. And drag's not even up yet. They're very they still have right about they're a minute for drag. For this, so they could arguably try and fight for that if they wanted to. So yes, you're going to get six grubs, which can help you get plates, but you're giving away a lot of plates just to get it. Yeah, and again, you want this jack oh, to become a, a monster. They're about to get the first turn already. He, looks like he'd be in contact here. Yeah. Might be looking for something else. Yeah, FBI yeah, looking here. to try to start it out. We'll see if they're going to throw it. Wait, don't go ulted to clear that wave. Still holding on to it I thought now. I just missed Saw. Oh, Forces great flash by Mask. Nicely played by both sides there. And so Lei just splits the up rates with the ult. Or he's not able to stun up anyone. Oh, in a fight or some of that. Just I saw a weird animation, but I was like, oh, maybe it's just the E animation. I just haven't played Jackson in so long. It looks like he ulted to clear that wave. Before throwing out the ult. Uh, and still does get the flash at the end of the day, but the overall outcome of that play. Yep, Armeo was able to on the next back get the. Uh, the okay, the they didn't actually the grab. So you could Black Fire Tours. They didn't grab Leandre's. I don't, don't love it in the short I don't remember term, the. But Immortals who had already taken. Four I'm guessing the mask doesn't build into. To get more plates than obviously has the grubs for the rest uh, Black of the game. Cords. Really need to see if they can create side. I don't think it actually spills into both of them. Otherwise, that Jax is going to be a problem. Yeah, and for me, I am curious to see who gets this next setup on this bot side for Drake. Oh, oh Doko engaged! Doko just jumped in, and that's kind of the anti-timing as Olay is now Yeah, that here. is the worst timing. Jump back. Doesn't look like it, but it's going to be able to get Oh, they let okay. Here. Should be okay. Yeah, never used his Counter-Strike, so was never in huge danger there, knowing that the Leona alt was down and... Okay. Oh, Castle's taking a lot of damage here, and there is the empowered ulti, and he's gonna okay, let Fox. No flash available. Pops the ulti, gonna try to ah! this one out, but it is the Rylai. Oh, that's just so down, slowing him up. Palafox oh wait, that's that was so weird to watch. Castle it looked like Castle was just standing there for a while. In the side lane. Yeah, and as Palafox grabs, just underestimated the damage. It looks like FBI who he pushing in mid, uh, and then Master's clear that turret top side. Break to stack that up. For NRG, I An see energy, will yeah. be able to get a return. That's a, that's a drink second. Um, but this is a pretty good position for NRG to be, especially with the. All right, so tactical really completed and Infinity Edge. All brought and FBI's had opportunity Dokla for a little bit now. In that top lane. It's like, even though they weren't directly against each other, three people went up for Dokla, nothing happened, and then Castle dies 1v1, so off of that lost team. Oh, uh, yeah, Castle. Mortals, it's that's it's where so weird, because Castle's 2-0. Oh. Like, definitely down in farm from Palafox. Yeah. But it wasn't like he... Top side, looking like they want to set up for a Herald now. You know what I mean? Uh, which obviously he was that much weaker a little bit. If you do drive in his it in, position. You're be able to get 12 of those little Earth mini... Boots. Void might to spawn up. And do not. playing pretty carefully around this top side though. Realizes. Wow. Hey, uh, Super is up. heads up for Dokla. Yeah, no, no vision on it. He had no idea that they were coming. Uh, just kind of gas based off of the heavily. situation. You can see that Contract is down in that bot enemy jungle. They see no one there. So Dokla just kind of intuits that, yeah, they got to be top. 
Yeah, and they should be able to All right, Castle. I believe in you. I think and last time you just made a little mistake. To just clear I think you're, you're going to do great here. Potentially set something up here. The oh, wow. Watching Ace will clear waves just looks mid. so abusive. I think they want to use this Rift Herald mid and try and break it open a little bit because they've lost control of their bot side of the map. I think a retake is actually pretty risky. Ooh, but if they just they... hold mid here with Ezreal, Leona, and now the Corky's moving down. It looks down like they don't have any vision. So they know that they're not bot lane anymore, but... Make something happen. I don't know if they know that Palafox is there. This could be a huge engage with the ASO ult back up. Yep, contracts right in. All right, and then, yes, and the ASO ult. Oh, that was a save. Really quick TPs, but uh, it doesn't even matter almost. Oh, wow, actually, wow. Rift Herald kind of looked crazy there. Double knockup. Triple knockup, actually. Not at all. I mean, he got out. Castle survived. Got some knockups on him. Was able to disengage safely. And there's also that hope that you'll be able to go get the, uh, you know, the charge off from Shelly or something. It is unfortunate that uh, they weren't able to do anything with the Richo that they got. Ah, uh, yeah, he just gets grabbed and caught and he's killed. Oh, there's so much damage there. I don't think Armeo did anything wrong at all. Yeah. Is blown up by Ole was super low on health too, so it's not even like they yeah, could have gone in after the knockups to try to do something. Asol well, right? had so much damage. Much oh, that was rough to watch. Can have in these team fights, um, yeah. with her ultimate. I mean, and he had flash. He knows that that's yep. kind of look at this point on his face. He didn't react to it. If he flashes out and then turns around with his own ulti, <laughs> yep. it's a very different play. Yep. So it's one of those things where yeah, look at him just clear waves. This looks and I, I see our Mayo just this looks disgusting. Barely missing out on a few things, going all the way back to his early. Like it looks clear. disgusting in the games that I play too, but like watching a, a person with like how Aesol is that supposed to be played. A bit late uh, the first it, game it looks would have had a higher chance to kill or maybe like no counterplay. Like I, I saw. That, I saw a that's game where he rough. The enemy tank jungler off the blue buff, right? Yeah. But then I know for a fact I, I could I couldn't even get Asol to the point where he's clearing waves like that. Before flashing away, and like you have to really be up in gold and everything, and, and maintain your stats. Difference in two drakes, but they're losing on some pretty slim margins here. I do think that is when we talk about how these AP junglers have come into the meta and whether LCS junglers he's are super, super comfortable with them, right? Um, these are the kind of small windows when we look at someone like River playmaking uh, on something like the Zyra yeah. after a super fast clear. So I don't. Or does Blatter Castle just absolutely bully Dokla? Or the other way around? This. Yeah, he's um, positioning kind of quick. Oh, or maybe it's just the idea of like the Zaya, where neither one technically wins the all in. He's you know, like if the other one plays it better, then still very comfortable with this they can win. Yeah, and. I Licker said something to us no last week fighting. where League is a lot more about you know? where you are than like what you're actually doing on your champion. And obviously both are a bit important, but I think that's even more important with junglers. But wow, that's he's just clearing that wave. Because mm -hmm. you just get more time to be in the right spot. And Look at him! Look at Palafox go! necessarily taken full advantage of it this game. I mean, this Edwani has really been keeping up in farm. Oh, he's disgusting. Close, right? And it's probably going to be Warmog second for contracts, especially I can't actually believe Mask is up in farm from that. Very valuable. How is that possible? Mask, that person, you're a monster. Stepping forward, he's eating the initial damage, healing back up before objectives, and just trying to go into these fights at full health. Olay. Threatening a little bit on the side oh, here. They 15 for Actually, Mask has so much box, form in comparison to everyone. Spot them out as both teams only one who had 200, like, highest at 200, and he's the only one who's within 10. We'll see if Energy can kind of bully their way in. All right, Pal Fox is within right, 10 now. Let's see here because Dokla is free pushing that top lane, so Energy actually wants to take their. So Immortals time, really, really drink, wants to get this Drake to stop the, their the uh, soul point. Make Immortals work for it, so they. And they have some poke to do it. Dokla as much time as possible. They're a little too fearful of not having eyes on the Leona. They don't want to lose the fight, so I think they just end up giving this up. Oh, good, good, good looks from Dokla pushing top yeah. though. They're and gonna be able to get into the plate. Off, right, where Dokla should be able to move or, I'm sorry, to turret down pretty quickly and what you're looking at because now they have uh bot side and top side turret to be able to deal with once they get stats. mid they exactly. just have they, so they much free reign in the enemy jungle him ahead. You know, we talked about it earlier with the grubs, immortals really really has to protect this mid side turret the for Dokla. it's another Ooh, tactical comes through from tactical you're so heads up looking for mass we'll see if they can oh what a great ult by the asol wait that's so much damage though is palfox dead palfox is dead our mail played like oh that was so well i can't believe matt survived that 
Cut I really thought that uh, after Palthox is the ult, that mask was just done for. Number, but Immortals find the kill. That the was so off. well play played. Was by them, but not able to actually finish off mask before he got out. Yeah, moment of trying to get a bit aggressive there. Palafox was very strong with a bounty, disgusting. but just gets caught by the Zyra as he's trying to mm -hmm. overchase. And I love the aggression. Actually, I thought Mask he was gonna get out. Standing it was close. Back here. Yeah, and here Look at see, how much the damage Palafox is doing. Uh, he also missed his flash. flash. Kind of heartbreaking. If he hit that flash, really he would have probably survived as well. Split thus far. Like oh, that. look at that. <laughs> A rough I was right there with you. I really thought he got. It. I thought Palafox yeah. did the um, it did the damn it thing. Comes down to these kind of individual like slight misplays. And it's kind of a Murtred's diff, on, honestly, for for Mask. You know, Murtred's, Murtred's diff, yes did sir. Allow him to get out of there to survive through those suns, get over the wall. Oh, I, I think Murtred's is totally the right buy well. here, though. He pointed out in the replay chat that he's actually not especially even if, especially for Mask of all people dealing with an Aesol all game. Calculated out very very well. Allowed them to turn around. Get that kill. Contract so tanky. Now Already we'll back to full health. What immortals can look right, I mean, very close to it. They are starting to get pretty strong. Obviously, Triforce is done for Tactical and Mask. Uh, the Muramana going to be stacked up and ready here for Tactical soon as well. And that's a big item spike for both the mid and the AD for immortals when it's done. And I also think it's important that energy is getting actually a lot of Trinity of the forces Baron, down there. They can necessarily burst the Baron super fast on the ADC, but also on the, the Fighter Jacks. So if ever immortals does be, uh, have a window you know, to take Baron, a pretty good item. they can do it in under 15 seconds. But because they're a little bit behind in their solo lanes right now, immortals is. Stuck you know, it's also funny about how careful again, NRG kind of has to be around Baron just because of... Oh, wait, are, are they going to get this turret? E there. That's a little bit of a zoning tool. And now our mail gets caught, but... No, no all right. Up on that. Contract's a little bit ambitious with the Glacial Prison. Because, you Lexington know, if you're fly, trying to look at a Baron player or something like that, get that mid-turret actually so gives you so much additional pressure. What I was going to say is how quickly our mail with Zyra burns down Baron. You know what I mean? So, NRG has to really, really just be aware that it's on the map. But they're going to just continue holding this mid trial. They still have the big Aesol ultimate, so they're hoping they can just catch someone with normal Sejuani engage, I think. Yeah, we'll see if they can actually do it. Contract's poking away, and in comes oh, the falling sky. The ult by Palfox just people, didn't get it done. Masco potentially in trouble. Tax oh, oh, great job. Oh, dude. Palfox is just so... Palfox is just uh, like a turret play. in of itself. Able to get the kill he was just the standing side. there using his Q and Gonna hitting say, everyone. It was just melting people. Unfortunate for energy. They were really trying to that, really, that was unfortunate. Around that I think it was really well played by Mask and Tactical. Really and, I mean, Ole, everyone. It was just well played. Be that clean and it's not just like a mortal. A little bit too far forward. have a super slippery team. Like, Corky Ezreal, really hard damage backline to get a hold of. Zyra, really hard to dive through. So when they go for this play, it has to be clean. It's not clean on the Mask. And they can't well, I, was, I don't even think Contracts necessarily kill. did anything well, wrong there. You know... You're like probably going in with the thought, like, how Fox has hit, like, all of his ults so far. He's going to hit this ult as well. So, you're, like, maybe you should have backed the moment with the ult miss. This but I feel like that's difficult to do. You know, like, be going all in and, and then, you know, dropping ults Here's and everything. And you see miss and just immediately be like, disengage. Stacking up some of these seeds. I, you know, uh, just, just, now, in the moment spot. already. But I'm just a little bit confused as to why energy even feels that they need to force these plays. You have an ace that's scaling. You're winning in the side lane with Jax. Why yeah, look at all those little pants. You know, force your opponents to try to make something happen. Oh, now God, they're going to be Baron's starting it up. The Baron is in trouble. Oh, Tactical okay. Tactical cleanse. Tactical cleanse. There. cleanse. But the real target is the Baron. It has been spotted. Contracts is in the area. So it could be a bit oh, of a... Oh, all those plants died, though. Yeah, also they can't do it now. To flank on the side. Immortals are going to have to back it up. We'll see if... That was a huge mistake by Immortals. This took so much damage for no reason. Oh, wow. Great jump in by Dokla. That was insane. The Strangle Thorns gets dropped. But no plans oh, the Kentec bat going crazy. So yes, the support does fall. Immortals, though, will be able to retreat. So oh, I feel like that's really hard to plan to for. And the enemy support. A Jax with Counter Strike just I really jumping into like your in team. In this game, as in life, patience is rewarded. Because <laughs> the people that are forcing, I'd say more often than not in this match, they're going to get the, the Dragon the Soul from that. That was a huge play game, right there. Trying to dive into a Zyra, trying to dive into an Aesol. I think uh, Immortals was just a little bit too time, aggressive. Immortals was just way too hyped on the fast kill Baron. Like yeah. that thing wasn't even close. It was super telegraphed. It was over. I think they could have. They they might have been able to if they were like really went all in for it. They so might have been able to complete the Baron. The time, but I think they would have got aced Energy afterwards. Was patient and disrupted it. It was a very easy fight win and Drake take. So Doko gets out. Yeah, and I think the big thing for me here is also just. 
the so banks still on the map. Right? Because if our mail really, like again, our mail melts it if they were able to get the plants and stuff on it. But you really have to, it takes a lot of setup and a lot of time. So there really needs to be something else that people are fighting for if you're going to do that. But then it's or at like least a different focus for them. The whole team and you know what I mean? Like you're setup, sieging right? bot lane as well. Both teams in this game kind of struggle. Yep, and we'll see you know, who's going to be able to. They're posturing really well. Hold of this game, you know, energy now ought so point. So they're going to be looking to try to grab that next one. So that's what's or maybe like a TP immortals. difference. But really, uh, it's TP anyone's difference game. Also, also kind of work. Gold leak here. Like we knew, Pal Fox was bot on side and didn't Neither have TP. Really I mean, maybe you could then argue like, hey, I think we can win the fight anyway. Especially if you're able to get a decent engage. I don't know. It's definitely either either team's game. And this is where. One mistake starts to cost you so much more. It really does. I think NRG is in a, uh, in a favorite in position here, but that's just from the fact of get out, they have that win con uh, of. It would be the two well, maybe with it's not a win con considering it's ten tech trade, but they could just grab the soul. With moving into z to space because they and Immortal will have to get poke. three in a row to prevent um, that and get the soul themselves. Oh, well, look where Palafox is on the mini map. Palafox is actually going for the Ezreal. He's going to look for a tactical. Tactical is forced to flash out the falling sky. Wait, he got caught. He didn't have E. The oh, I have to see that again. That was so beautiful play by Palafox. Him down from contracts. Big play from Palafox. Oh, no that was. It's, I don't know what happened. Catches Ezreal on yeah. my bingo card for this game, but I need to see how Paul, Palafox pulled that off. That's what I'm saying. He still catches the Ezreal post. Because he, I mean, he had a second yeah, after he got hit by the. Uh, trying to back it up. In comes Mask. All of them are grouped. By some of the CC to be able to e out. Oh, there's just something you can do as immortals. You're just down a man. Yeah. Better engage by energy. Insane. And energy are mopping them up, wiping them Ooh, up I mean, Oves got a trade on one energy person for mass. For. They are potentially looking for a reset. Uh, we'll see if Go they All the Warbugs are contracts! They're, they're pretty low. And who? Oh wait, wait, not who he. He was just at higher health than I realized. Beautiful by contracts. Is, is that a double TP? No, it's Palfa. And it did start with Palafox. Uh, Duffo's gonna hold on to it. I mean, it makes sense to melting it. Nobody's even alive to go really compete with them. Here makes a huge pick on to tactical that starts it all before the big Ooh, he's fight. Low. I'm not sure which replay we're gonna get, but I want to see it again. I, yeah, I hope we see where, where Palafox caught Baron out again, tactical. How did that happen? Dangerous as we okay, see here, perfect. Replay of this fight, Palafox walking up, and yeah, tactical is just off there on a war. Okay, so the E to get away. To oh, get Wild Eyes. Wild Eyes is so strong. Uh, wow. Yeah. Great angle Oof. from Palafox approach. You called it out there, Azale, on the mini map. That's the type of pick. I, to I, see I, it's hard to be well. upset there. And that led to this. And it was so important because really good by contracts. He just so knew he could engage. It doesn't matter he's that there were more people there. Slowing. He knew that people were collapsing on him, and he, this fight he one more time as well. found the positioning. See, that was really well played. It was just clean, and it's the fact that it's a five v four. Immortals needs to be conceding more of this ground here. Yeah. Not getting caught where the turrets not even. Castle's definitely too deep. I don't know why he was jumping all the way back in there. Decisive plays. Now with Baron pushing mid. He got the cleanse, like you know what I mean, off of FBI, but you have to assume you weren't killing either of them. The fight. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of going for these 100 to 0 plays, but you have Ezreal, you have Corky, you have Zyra plants to poke and prod and try to rot them down before you commit to that engage, but they're struggling to do it. Feels like they're getting a little bit antsy and then just over committing into oh, these fights. Oh, Relian Souls looking so gross. Doku is also so much stronger than everybody else in this game because mm -hmm. he's gotten two solo turret golds early. He's level 16. Uh, Ooh, so it's pretty easy to leave him down bot lane. I feel like it's so hard to be immortals get here. More people towards him. Right, like that you have to deal with just so much potential CC from the enemy. Baron. Yeah, and now they should be able to rotate in and get this bot tier one. Look at that! The wall, the sky's Look at that! That's down. disgusting! That's disgusting! Doesn't look like it. Castle bodyguarding. Contract stunned in the Oh, these old from Palafox have been on point. He missed one. Keep him safe there the or maybe he's missed more, but I've seen him miss one. It's a big the rest chunk, of them have been a disgusting. Lot of and doesn't really amount to too much for either side. And I think energy needs to be careful not to overstay here because they can get soul mm. if they're doing the right thing, which is why... Yeah, I mean, Drag is up in 10 seconds. Now started just gonna get, they should just get Jackson this turn back, right? Back. And then after the there you go, yeah, down, energy leave. is going to not reset again and try and set up for this trade. And it's a small thing, but you can see how Contracts is being so annoying, actually bodyguarding, blocking Mystic Shots for the cannon because he has the Warmogs. He can just yeah. heal it right back up 
They are first over by that dragon. And I don't even think about it like that. That, that, is, that is pretty heads up. We'll see if they can do wow, so this is what Doku saved his CP for. This is a deep TP. He is spotted now, so they have so Aso won't have uh, ult again. Ole. Ole is getting low. He looks for the Zenith Blade, can't connect. Oh, not a bad ult from Ole. As Dokla is oh, here, think? but he is very yeah. split Castle from the team. Castle spotted him out. But, just I mean, just look at how low everyone is. Oh! Ole, we got Murph! Oh, like, just step back a second. Let, let the Warmogs take effect, G. Oh, my God, Jack's winning got tactical. Oh, it doesn't matter that he had cleanse, though. It just doesn't matter. Look at all that. Oh, it's disgusting. The poke from, funnily enough, the poke from NRG was just too much for Immortals. And we'll see just how much it felt like having Ezreal done. and Corky and stuff just didn't and matter. Like turret plates, everything. FBI, Investment, tactical, Palo Fox. Really, disgusting. Really we talk about when this energy Poke team, diff. Is it their best? It is through how they are able. They're gonna to be able to get so much here. They ace them. And you know, they ace them. They're gonna get an inhib here. Having, they're, gonna get they're gonna get soul point. They might get two inhibs here. They're gonna get soul point. Or I'm sorry, soul. Overall for the game. So it lays up, it lays up one person you can't stop anyone. Really paying off. No At least they don't have Baron anymore. I might, it might have a game if they saw Baron. And the biggest issue we've heard no, about no, no. Okay, so they are getting one in hit. Pal Fox wasn't quite able to push fast was enough. Was having different ideas of how to play the game, but the way that manifested, don't steal. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping for the steal. That's yeah. like my favorite part about playing ADC. Really it's like the occasional like Caitlyn Q or Ezreal ult or Jinx ult or something that's able to grab an objective. Yeah, look, but look how low they are just to start. You know what I mean? It's like, you can't even blame Castle. Castle's off doing his own thing trying to stop uh, Dokla from, you know, engaging from behind. But... I mean, uh, when I the in game happened, that is really positive about it was half health compared to when the full have health. Look good, they've all been committing like, to the same thing. Yeah. What is the mortal supposed to do there? They have been on different pages in some of the previous games. To be fair, I don't think they can just leave either. I don't think they can just be like, ah, well, they got this drag, this dragon soul, whatever. This game, that's something that they've been talking about, something that they've been working on, is just, you know what? We're all going to commit to the call. We're all going to go for it. We're all going to be on the same page, win or lose. And I think that's really key for a team like NRG that we're talking about. How many like look at, look at the aura from contracts they had, especially in this Just past sitting game, there, bringing uh, past spring, bringing big Poro. That's adorable. Um, I play way more Sejuani. <laughs> they should be able to get this. Oh, oh, and the engage. Oh, Armeo's so low. Just kind of poke him down and push him back. I mean, contracts yeah, is gonna be like full health after taking all that poke. No one there to just now. Just just disgusting. Up towards mid lane. This is that kind of difficult Look at situation that. where immortals are very likely going to have to choose. And he's one just going to heal all back. Fully commit to attacking it. Try to burst someone down right off the bat. And hopefully that buys Maybe not. He, really he, now, he allowed the. Uh, mortals, you're hoping that you can get towards. He allowed the blue buff to hit him that one time. It's nicer than me. I would have been like, like someone else back. to take this. I think the next step for energy here is waiting for this Baron to oh, come back up. Red buff it's in 30 too. seconds. They've cleared bot. Dokla just needs to make sure. Dokla's he doesn't two get levels up on Castle. Behind here because with the setup that Remember, energy has on the Castle top side of the map, started 2-0. should be Like really early on, it was like I was looking real strong 2-0. Since then, he has gone 0-3. That is. Yeah, so two right. items to four. Uh, so even two and honestly, Dogo's not done do nothing it, but right? get you better. Might need a full three, which it gets kind of close to checkpoint. Oh, just point. really well played by NRG. So this is and now this has been a pretty convincing game. The call from Immortals looks like it's which is funny because Immortals looked like they were doing Dokla just fine early on. Off. Maybe take the Baron off of him. So they're sending the whole squad down here, but Dokla's yeah. playing it pretty safe, and he might have better chances than Immortals are hoping for. So we'll see. He, he baits it. He might actually he be able to get out. In place. Oh, Mask got hit by the ult. The ult? Got hit by so many ults? Oh, okay. He was able to get back. I saw, I saw the Ash ult and I was like, ah, and I was like, wait. Just the support Ash. Yeah, it, it was like that. Nobody else was there. But even then, they made him back. They are able to put pressure up here. Like, that's one of those things where, you know, in a pro level game, that matters. And but it's so cute like that wouldn't have, have really <laughs> to win. you're just not you're not all really, cohesive really enough nice often and maybe that's that's different at, at such a high level being able to close this out fairly cleanly oh, Doko's just do, just do whatever he wants hopefully but the minion over there too they're gonna be able to do it Dokla escorting all of these minions in her our mayo has come back that is disgusting and the wave is he's keeping two people back oh mass is dead 
And that I mean, honestly, the Pal Fox ult was just unnecessary. Our Mayo got melted. It was so quick. Oh, oh, they ace him again? No, no, it's Ezreal's so tactical gets out. Got his, got his cleanse. Look at this, it's Wani. Bounce, bounce, bounce. We'll finish off the Nexus here and take the lead in game one over a Mortal. Wow, look at it, it fills the whole fountain. In this one, oh, wow. Ace is looking so strong. We just have to get rid of that champion. Screen deathless yep. with the Callista Ash. As, so as a society, we have to just ban this Aurelian soul much, it. much, much Only more. Had four deaths throughout, 17 kills stacked up. All right, let's see game two. That was honestly very convincing from NRG. All right, so we'll take a quick look at the bands. Plays. And so picks. that's where their coordination Ooh, test energy. is How? going to be had is whether or not they can execute this Hold composition on. or what? not. No bands very on Calista or Ash. This is a slight tweak not to the Yazir that we're used to seeing. I, I do Are you think really that worried about these champions here in comparison? In the position of oh, interesting. Once again. But in terms of the over the picks that he had a ton of success with I, last year, I don't know if I love the Immortals EG, draft. And Sometimes up against games this can get energy a bit draft, like unique. even with Lucian Nami, are you really going to out contract Hail of Blaze, Callista, and Ash? Since Contracts understands the champion very well on his I don't own. Know. And yeah, Ivern, exactly. and these guys have played against each other quite a I'm bit. I'm biased on Ivern. I, I don't feel like Ivern's ever updated after game number one, but as very good as, far as, the, as goes. the other options you know, available. Been, uh, right, there were very few times when like uh, on the side only Ivern could have helped you win this um, game. As you said, their pressure, I think, you know, is kind I, of I don't know. Because but again, I am just not a personal fan. There's, there's, and I, I, I'm sure I could be wrong. Somebody, if somebody could do that, I'd appreciate it. Like, show spots, me some right? really, really you know, spicy Ivern things. If maybe I'll, I'll change my well, mind on that. They're going to be considering roster changes. I just don't feel like I ever see them. So, hey, so hey, hey, I have really uh, high hopes for Romeo here. Building for him. Also, I think absolutely does. You can see on the right of your screen there a thousand damage per minute. so low. Yeah, there we go. damage per minute so, in game one so weird. by Palafaker. His name changed just for the graphic once again. Yeah, Palafaker is the highest praise I feel like you could have given any mid laner. So I have such high expectations of Palafox now all the and time. It's the probably not fair. likely spice is going to be in that bot lane where we have double hail of blades yeah. against the Lucian Nami. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if someone really overextends or kind of disrespects the play, then maybe the junglers are going to be able to find an angle. But so uh, bot lane Dokla, get spicy while didn't sure. necessarily win Lucianami, laning phase, not going to be able to really contest was just, level one whatsoever. I mean, doing more than Castle. Blades, you know, they put barrier, Castle on a really uh, passive pick into this Dokla TF in that 2v2. But you need a couple levels generally for the Lucian Nami, then things can kind of and they, didn't, and they didn't even think this was lanes or anything either, so look to fight back a little bit more. It looks like they, they kind of felt comfortable in, in this laning phase. Want to watch. But Mask thus far doing very well in the 1v1, you know, pushing Palafox back, mm -hmm. uh, looking to get chip wherever he can. Mask did not have a very good game in game number one, was caught out a number of times, it felt like, including yeah. on that final push. But you know, here is the stat for Palafox between last year's summer and this year's summer. Not yeah. the start he has wanted. This does not include last game. Wow. Where he did have a good yep. game. That would be a bit of a boon. He did stats, do really, really good last talk season. About, you know, some of the things that Palafox I'd have to check uh, to, APA. To that we saw from last His APA also yeah, did really it's, good last uh, It's strange because split, or last summer confidence split. is a hard thing to manifest when you're just watching a game like this. But it's the decisiveness factor that I feel like he's lacked, even in spring. Yeah, I'm not, I, um, even though it's going to sound... he just ends up making a lot of individual mistakes, so I remember his... Probably cocky. I, I'm not surprised that FBI I knew here shots, just really pushing in this on the same page in fights, Lucian Nami bot lane. Goes in first, that's Are they about to get player. punished as I say this? Though, as FBI yeah. was trying to get spicy. Does throw out the trigger seed. They do have him slow down. The bubble going to whiff. FBI does heal... Neither side okay, so the answer is no, but yet. I They're kind of holding on to it. FBI does have the barrier; it's gonna to have to use it. But the barrier came out a little bit late; didn't actually nope. absorb any of that damage. And FBI is gonna get sent back to base. It is the heal and the so barrier. So I should just not out. open yeah, my mouth. Side of Olay, if, uh... but of course, tactical and Olay very healthy. Oh, FBI sorry, FBI. Has the base. We'll see if we. Can I mean, like that. I, I didn't. Wave. Uh, or how much of it is going to be lost. It's crazy how similar this is to the jungle clears that happened in game one. Both junglers full clear. Our Mayo goes bot first, gets multiple summoner spells, gets the first scuttle crab, and then also hangs around until yeah, Armeo, bot lane can pu fully push in the Armeo wave. Armeo did kind of clear like a monster no at Ivern, actually. Fully pushing in this wave, in my opinion. That was a FBI quick was clear. Going back to base, and Contract is almost certainly going to be trying to I don't to think it was quite as fast crab, as Cyrus, but, but that was... still. Make deceptively sure fast. I, I didn't realize how quickly he had gotten that bot lane. It, it is a little bit funny, right? Because they had mid push. Shit. There was a game. So taking out a vision there was actually maybe huge. Scuttle, I, right? but I, I wasn't said, giving him enough credit before. Not to take the risk is 
just going to go back to base. Yeah, I guess I'm not surprised about seeing that top lane either. But then and we'll see. You know, as they get the base here, we'll see if Romeo comes top and just absolutely demolishes it as well. Does have a pretty nice buy compared to what FBI did get. And it is going to be that little bit of an advantage here as they do still have that cleanse available. Of course, not going to be too useful until um, the farm. does hit level 6. But still that slight edge for the Immortal Spot lane. Yeah, now since he has Smite, I think he would have thought about taking Raptors. But they were very easily going to collapse on Armeo. So Armeo not being able to get many early Ivern advantages. Even though, uh, when I look at the bot lane really as well, good even wave set up. By Pal yeah, Fox. Like, obviously, I know the pros, like, the I get it. But I was, really like, really just for him, kind of captivated by watching really the way that he kept it out of turret range, as they are doing letting them the hit him while he like, set it up, lane. and then let yeah. him hit turret as he cleared it. Swap for this is really, yeah. it was enjoyable to watch. <laughs> Instead, they're actually giving that over to Castle. So unless the Lucian is able to get a lot of gold up on top side, this is actually a pretty costly swap for them because that's about 10 plus CS that he actually misses out on. That's also mean the energy, or like game one, are going to be able to grab the dragon. Are they saying they and, really, uh, we'll really see, want grubs, the grubs maybe? They're giving there, energy to drag again, yeah, saying, hey, our game plan still is revolving around Krubs. Feels almost purely advantageous for energy. Energy teamwork working great right now. Dropa already ready to catch that bot wave. Like, I don't know if for, I, I'm, I don't know for sure, but that's what teamwork, that it would be very looked like to me. They're saying like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna give we, up we drag. A, we we're gonna give up some plates to the, uh, uh, the new LCS you know, the Kalista and the Ash and everything. Because we are going to focus actually is. So once again on the six grubs. We're gonna try and get the Rift Herald. L, you know, they, they believe in their game so plan last time. It didn't quite get executed, but they think that they can keep it up. That is gone, unwinnable. If they added, so that's already twenty-eight point five six percent. If they added another loss, that would be a huge amount of losing and only having those four games to have here. But if that would be a L, huge L, amount of losing. W, who knows what happens for the rest of it? One and two is really not that bad compared to 0 and 3. It's the beginning of the roller coaster towards being world champions if you get a win today. Also, they're going to have side select for three of their next four series. Mm -hmm. They're going to have the break, by the way, after Thursday, Friday. The next LCS game is going to be July 20th. Mark that out. I know, I'm so sad about that. It's going to be a it's going to be a break. So even though it's just two weekends because this weekend's a little earlier, it, it's it's going to be a time for teams to reset. I'm excited. Really have a uh, shot at this summer split. Exactly. I'm excited to see like how another this kind of, of schedule split, like a second after quarter to the split, split because yeah. there's so much scrim time for some of these teams. Uh, so maybe maybe I'll adjust to, like my you know, really my days and times and we'll have to see what they can get done. Streaming and stuff like that. Just the LCS is going on. Won't be able to really find much of anything. If the LCS is done, I'm assuming there's not going to be like LPL or LCK or anything. Maybe the challenges. Not going to be able to find any sort of which would be fun. I think there is going to be a NA challenge league after. Does think the scuttle is in the area? So the jungle is aware of where the other one is. Both of them have hit level six and Ivern gonna be able to clear out this ward or some kind of circuit safe. or something it's been a much I, I, more kind of patient game you know no reading about no it fireworks have about it and down in the bot lane mid lane's kind of farm fest similarly to the first time yeah, right. and castle is kind of just gracefully losing in this 1v1 and that's kind of what's expected you know in this matchup As i mean despite player, that castle's, just kind of castle's down, even with farm, farm like playing really goal. well you're feeling very very good and right now he's basically dead even there yeah. were, are more minions for his opponent to farm but you don't care about being down a couple CS in this matchup at all. Especially not as Cassante, where you do care about yeah, being that is a couple CS crazy. down, though, Really, really well played. In this matchup. I was talking about how, like, obviously he's not going to have a lot of pressure. Right? He's going to be, meet. like, in the so losing lane scenario. Waves of I played it. Down I mean, against the so far, pretty much perfectly. Lane as the Lushanami. Not all of that is from laning. It's from map movements here. So, tactical... They know the Contracts foot, is there. He's not going to be the one to drive this right? game forward as of now. And Contracts like, maybe he was able to dodge that, really those wards and whatnot, but I don't, and I don't think so. And just his presence there is preventing... Oh, that poke from Calista is disgusting. Yeah, he's honestly doing a really good job because it feels like he is just hovering and hovering and hovering, but then you look at the farm. He's actually up farm in the jungle matchup, right? And he kept yeah. up He is up well. farm. And he again, I would like to point out, also, so I'm not uh, sold on Ivern in any situation ever. You know, he's been at the right place at the right time. Ash Arrow, that would be disgusting. As uh, who he just lets that one fly. From another mid very far and away. I got <laughs> another mid gank. Yeah, this, this <laughs> that would have probably been really rough for Mass <laughs> with the Azir crazy. having ult up. Uh, but throws it out before he bases, so he Because you're going to be stunned really long, for long enough that that shuffle is definitely going to hit anyway, into you. We'll and you have Valkyrie, dragon, but you're just so deep into the lane at that point. Absolutely. Two minutes from there. I do need to see if Sejuani ends up being really useless in this game, though. And that's because of what we talked is about. Is Sejuani ever like, really useless in any game? Only melee. You just have like, that. And it's a you have the CC. Because like, yeah, the you have the Permafrost and the E, like the you know, the dash, but one draft just don't get ult occasionally. Just 
Corky it's into the ashes. Something wanted. the enemy team but has then, to respect all the time. Since energy was so willing to pivot away and counter the other things that Immortals was locking in. They looked at it at the end of the day and said, ah, crap, we picked Sejuani with four, four range <laughs> champions. So Contracts has to just be much less potent in teamfights and in ganks because no one else is going to help him proc his brittle. Yeah, I will say at the very least, you know, if you are going to play a melee engage champ, at least you're not Vi or something that you have to throw your body in, true, right? True. You can just throw out the alts and kind of fish with them a little bit lower risk. But it's kind of the meta. I mean, it's it's how many AD carries can you yeah. fit in a team? Ooh, as who that's get some good down. damage from tactical. Out the call as he was getting chunked a little bit low there. I mean, if you want to count TF as an AD carry, there's three on one side, two on the other. Even if you don't, we have four in this game. That Indeed. is rough. It's over. Yeah. The Five. AD carry diff. Five. Yeah. Well, carry four, diff. You don't count the TF. Oh, okay. I've yeah. gotten the TF. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy seeing lots of ADCs because yeah. it, it, it's five. something I can watch and learn from as somebody who's probably going to be playing. Ultimate there to preserve mainly that role because they want to have full health for him to move up and actually fight this Drake. I know it's not always the most fun games to watch. Bubble connects. Jokla has TF alt if a fight does end up starting. I'm so excited for Fearless next year. Still 22 seconds though from the start. Oh, up the fight. That was yeah, such was a good ult, though, because it went through terrain for 90% of it. Sure, but not really anymore. And now just going to summon up Daisy here. If that would hit our Mayo, that, that could have been very rough. Retake some of With this Contracts space. and Battle Both Fox just kind of waiting on it. I think that was, that was an awesome, around, uh, that you know, kind of attempt. But Contracts is going to say, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go topside where I have pressure. I'm going to play towards those grubs. If you want the dragon, you can take it. Doesn't want to give up six grubs again this Which is funny. I this is really interesting, actually. Super shocked Immortals is not pushing for six grubs based on the last play they made. Uh, fight to stop for Dokla because he has no right? TP. Like, so why would you move pretty far down the river consistently? Mm -hmm. And I think Castle could have really started. The why would you him play the so aggressively lane. last and time if you're just well so trade, easily willing to give this up? Especially if it's not even going to be a trade. Immortals is opting for plate gold shared between the Lucian Nami instead of this Drake. So it's actually just grubs for a plate, which I think energy is going to be that's really bad. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's, it's an interesting choice to not actually go for the dragon whatsoever. You know, maybe Immortals doesn't actually want to play towards dragon, doesn't want to play towards the soul conditions. They don't even want, you know, more dragons to spawn or something. Yeah, they might um, not have had vision because I'm thinking about the way Contract stuck through. Like, I, he crossed through mid. Crossed through mid. They definitely yeah, knew. They definitely so it, it was... It was an option, um, but they decided not to go for it. Not a big deal. You know, a lot of teams are going to prioritize gold mm -hmm. early over mm -hmm. you know, an individual dragon, but we'll see. You know, that where is it an does interesting idea. It's going to be the Arden sensor rush with double AD carry, I think makes sense. Saying, quite like, a bit hey, sense. we're not going to focus drags. We don't want to just spawn soon and over on the other to. side. It's another cheap support. Like, item. it's not it our win con. For a lot of junglers these days. So, last game as well from we don't want to give the enemy the possibility of stacking them quickly. We want to put off this ability of soul as long as possible. Yeah. Item spike. And instead of uh, taking a drag, they think it was, lane. you know, they might think it was quicker to leave it up. Dodge there. Those ash ganks not quite working out yet, but that one was actually the closest yet since yeah. it was a close range. And they got the ultimate. flash, so that one's that one's definitely worthwhile as they do force out the flash there for mass. He is of course running. You have to smite the, the treads, but then they are that close on top. The scuttle of you. people you grab it right the as our mayo. Keep you safe in that position. Yeah, that again, I'm just not sold on the Ivern. Good bubble. The bubble does land, and the culling's going to come through, Ooh. chunking them down. He did end up using plans. Ult to actually interrupt the culling there on a tactical, but it's just a trade of ulties in again. Mm. Not too much of a big deal on either side. I think it's going to be really hard to kill people this game after seeing some of these early fights with Cleanse already being uh, brought by Tactical. And I think Ole's probably going to be bringing Mikhail's. We got mm -hmm. uh, Shields as well coming in from Double Ivern Mercs and done. huge numbers of ranged champions. Like teams don't necessarily have to commit and then also have a good way of dodging things. But maybe we'll Whoa. see some kills okay, around contracts. the street. Contracts is now spotted. He is right in on top of him. Daisy trying to do her best to tank this one up. Armeo likely going to have to flash over the wall. Does have yep, to do Armeo so. The TP coming up. in now, but the TF is coming in. As well, and they're going to be waiting for him. Nice TF a little better than TP. Be Got there the quicker. Cards. He just W's away to safety, but that does mean... And OJ ends up grabbing the second Drake. Dragon, so they the really have that Drake and stack as an ability. Immortals, they committed both. Yeah, that's a big loss for them. Yeah, I think Immortals is just not... Lose guns, lose TP, lose Not TP, keeping up their the macro Drake, plays in comparison pressure. to energy. Incremental advantages is all energy needs to keep stacking in this game. And I think... We did see an example of how hard it is to actually fight in this game because if either team were to send someone all the way in, like if Castle, as the only melee champion on his team, decided to all in there, he probably dies. <laughs> and a nice dodge there by Tactical having no cleanse. <laughs> Pops Ole in the, that was actually a really the cute noggin, emote. That the little is. lamb with Count the thumbs that. up. That was adorable. 1%. <laughs> 
We did it. So, yeah, exactly. He's on the board. Ash Arrow does connect. So if Immortals does uh, not building up quite rotate a bit of up to the scuttle, the fields, has the CDR I'm, I'm going to be... Well, so... Uh, is pretty comfortable just assuming that their out. first play was actually a mistake. Scaling up, Corky going to be scaling where they did uh, where well. they uh, really tried to fight for these grubs. He went for the swifty boots rush with the uh, lane swap so and everything. In these like if energy gets it, they pretty much really is about can you stay on top of this guy? I mean, at this point, they're just dominating the game. Avoid his potential all ins when he's looking to get aggressive. Halifax down on the only up like point two, but it doesn't feel close. All the way off, his team feels like energy is just looking for that herald. Of course, they split the grubs. Outplaying immortals in every situation. Trade though for this. On bot side, and Mask gonna be able to get solo gold on it. So okay, so Mask did get a lot of this situation gold so right there. I don't love these trades. We'll have to wait to see what happens with the Herald though, because the bonus gold on the first turret was increased post MSI to try and curb lane swapping. It really accelerates the solo laner when they're able to get that. So even though Palafox had a really solid game one, now 33 CS plus that solo turret gold means he's 1,200 gold behind yeah. the Corky. That's that's madness. Yeah, it's a lot of gold. You know, isolated solo gold on first tower is crazy amount of gold for sure. And like you talked about last game, Herald is just potential gold. It is not guaranteed yeah. gold, right? Last last game, we actually saw that actually work out uh, where energy were lying in wait and stopped the Herald. They actually killed it off top lane before it even got a charge mm -hmm. because uh, Castle TP'd in and had to use it to run away to top lane in kind of a, a funny play. I guess play. that's fair. Um, but yeah, you're, you're giving up that guaranteed gold over to Mask. Right, right, I like that like idea of like, maybe just kind of confident in their scaling, if your win con like, hey, really okay is, trading gold, it's okay if we're get in like our ADCs uh, as soon as possible. I think it is worth it Focusing if they purely gold, just because Lucian Nami needs to hey, You know what I mean? That, that could be a win con. That's Even if you're giving up all these objectives one of the, one for it. One the big things when you see these items completed, you just... What was that? What is this Kraken Slayer? And you can push that's, any squishy that's out disgusting. Without that mid lane turret for their own defense, it's much harder for them to posture aggressively. You can flank in behind them. As of now, though, not a set that was super disgusting. And the calling. There's that. Lucian yeah, contract stopped, stepped in, play. but yeah, who are you gonna get chunked down? Does it? Yeah, the huge chunk. Oh, and then a return chunk. A lot of damage coming back from FBI. Played this lethality build last game as well. The poke cannot. I mean, who has some good uh, this game? Sort of a build from the close that you can chunk people very, mm. very hard, and that CC. Can be really dangerous because the follow-up coming through from that lethality cluster is a lot. It absolutely is. Where are you on the scaling of ADTF? Mm. Because I've heard vastly different opinions. So there's no objectives up like, or anything like I've that. Seen late game really, it's just kind of like a farming game. Team fights. Yeah. And funnily enough, right entries, NOG has been able to close this gold I gap. Think you You'd imagine the Cassante will have Oh, more that was disgusting wave clear. Easier, I think for the Cassante to get done what he wants to get done. As you say, you know, if TF can find a really good angle, get like an isolated 1v1 against mm -hmm. the AD carry who doesn't have cleanse, you hit the gold card, you can kind yeah. of win that. That can be really big, but uh, oftentimes as ADTF, oh. like, game, you just become someone who's relegated to just a gold I don't really thought they were going to be able to grab something on Mask cards, and then Contract just showed himself too early. Again and again. So we'll see what he can get done. There's oh, the okay. The he engaged by FBI. He doesn't get wrench. Nicely and Hui's almost dead too. Tactical, but a good Honestly, that could have gone a lot worse. Hui actually almost that was, that was really well played by a Tactical. Low, as that would have been uh, unfortunate, but they do get the end of this, the summoners out at the end of the day. Yeah, very important to get the cleanse off of him. Yeah, Dogla just fully castle out of the lane. When Tactical tries to play aggressively on mid lane, he's going to stick around. Ooh, you know, TF, uh, TF top and looking pumping strong. Him full. Full of heals. That's the second game in a row Ooh. they're here with Tactical. While holding mid lane is Let's think about playing some games after time. this. So it's definitely a spot that energy is attacking with how aggressive Tactical I think has been Gen playing. Again, some yeah. spicy yeah, options. Not been hesitant at all in either game to throw out their engaged tools. You know, energy yeah. are just firing oh, them out. And, you know, whether it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, it's pretty low commitment on these sorts of plays. Uh, it is going to mean no summoners for Tactical if they wanted to try to clear to this next dragon because that mm. would be the third dragon. Oh, so they have Rapid energy. Fire Cannon and Kraken. Uh, they're just going to do damage. Ones. It's Chemtech again. So Douglas is just going to do damage. To see that. Yeah. Um, the scaling of energy looks concerned. disgusting it's compared to the scaling of Immortals. Away. They're going to drop the Herald towards mid, try to play for Pryo there, and then utilize that to get down for the third dragon. Okay, maybe they just soft contest this midway because Palafox is just free pushing on bottom, not even here yet. Oh, sh okay, Shelly got it off. Yes. They didn't quite get the oh, mid, get but the charge. Not gonna be able they got to the, the charge. They were able to kind of super pressure Immortals. They're going to try and rush this drag. And gonna be in the and I actually think they're, they're going to get it. I don't think Immortals can really walk up. Yeah. 
Snails Look at the iron, bro. The iron doesn't do anything. But it's just to push them back and I, claim the dragon here. They're just I'm just not seeing. I'm not seeing the iron pick working out. Actually, going to bail out. TP's up towards top. Oh, Palafox. Now the TF has alt has been popped because they know Mask can't come. He's going to actually TP in. Oh, too bad that they got the gold card on Castle of all people. Anyone else probably would have been killed. Mask does trade for a turret though. Top lane tower. So it is at the end of the day, kind of just the dragon for the turret trade, but that's energy again on Soul Point. Very interesting. Yeah, not just that, but it's, it's only there. 20 minutes. Dokla so points can be up in definitely four. Definitely going to regret that all flash at the end. <laughs> he got the Cassante. At least man. it wasn't a blue card. I don't know. I think energy is very. Even though in. the gold's on Immortal's I, side. I don't think Immortals again. I don't feel like Immortals is winning this game. Mask is now the carry. Yeah. One thousand percent the carry. Two solo turrets taken for him. Two hundred and thirty-three CS. If if we in five minutes are wondering like wow how did corky get so huge it's because they've actually conceded so many of these other minor objectives oh look at this turret to be powerful Winions. soul fight exactly that's that's the thing that's Ooh. the trade off right yeah you got the corky with all these look items. at that mid turret there's huge pressure to, to make that anyone can walk up and just melt that soul. thing yeah then all of a sudden these these concessions here and there to get him rich don't pay off whatsoever so that is going to be the big yeah it really is kind of all in mass see if they can actually make it work out partially i don't know i i don't i don't feel like i've summoners. seen Corky be that, fight, that so strong where I felt like they could carry a game. They have got to make. They just don't work. have any CC. I think that's the you know what I mean? They don't have losing that Drake anyway. So overly insane. Because well they don't have the package anymore. It's not like their team and fighting is just unrealistic. Corky here. It's like FBI will be able to complete this kill. He's in a some squishy, so I guess you could argue his poke. Deathless game. You know what I mean? If his cues and stuff, if his poke starts absolutely melting, then that could be that could be a way to kind of turn the game into your favor. If every time they walk up, they're just chucked to half health. Games where first blood takes forever. The Nexus doesn't take that long. Yeah, it's like a 25 minute first blood and a 28 minute win. Exactly, because it just blows up as soon as the first person dies. And this is actually the last first blood of the season so far. Got all by tactical connected on. So like, see again, that was decent poke. It's like I'm watching LCK. Can we get Elder before first blood? Has that ever happened? Well, let's find out. <laughs> I, I assume okay, everything's yes, happened. Really? I don't know. Pros are just uh, gonna, are built different. Gonna, you know what I mean? One out along with you as both teams. Oh, mask. Uh, uh, does throw again, there wasn't a lot of vision there. There's again. a Dope chance that mask could have been caught out. Ready to start this one off. If he can leave with the gold card, Palafox could be in trouble. Contract is gonna wrap Ooh, around. I thought Palafox was looking for a sweep. Is in a lot of trouble. His contracts. Is behind him, but he got pushed away by Armeo. Yeah. So Armeo and Tactical Bear Fox two went for sweep with Dokla that contracts. That, safe. especially if they kill Mask right there, I think they just the grab play. Baron. They They're just so much stronger than Emer yeah, Immortals nice right defense. here. I think especially with Mask dead. There, they would have had a failed gank, and then Mask really gets going. You can see the reason he has the 200 gold bounty is because of his CS. It's so high in comparison. Yeah, 260 is insane. But that's. Just a display of how Fetty is 1.6 thousand gold up. On all right, some damage on tactical. Go. Down, tactical. We went in. Oh, but, but, but Castle. No wait, but wait, that was such a great see. I'm telling you, Sejuani's. Uh, Sejuani does. Oh, okay, but they went with Grab Dokla. I think Immortals should not even be greedy for more. They should be happy with what they've received. But I don't think they're really going to be able to do it. But look at that big one coming through yeah. from Mask. That was about half See, the Mask is doing some work. But that was... Okay, so okay. This is why I disagree. Oh! oh wait, Ash Arrow hit... Uh, but hit Castle. Maker to buffer, but I guess they okay. won't grab the turret yet, but Hellbox yeah. would have had an option to try and all people back, but I think the team Anyone was besides just Castle being hit there would have been huge. Anyway, that's what I'm saying with the Sejuani just being a good pick. Interesting play there. Right, like you always have that old capability if someone just steps a little bit too close or something like that. And then TF falls on the back end. And Immortals is the one to push afterwards. Look at this, yeah. That play isn't completely worth it. Yeah. I mean, if you have the Ash Arrow, I get the play because you're yeah. fake call, knock up, and then the Ash Arrow. But he used the Ash Arrow on top lane, so he's kind of just like. Yeah. I don't know. That, yeah, they just melt him. I, I don't know. I don't know. And you can see they can actually finish the play at the end, but Dokla had to teleport so deep in, he gets caught. Yeah. By I the feel like. Ivern. And at this point, Mask is untouched. I feel like it might have been better if Douglas didn't even TP in. Full health in the back of the fight. He really didn't. It's a fine death for he, he didn't even have the possibility of doing anything there. He's just too squishy. <laughs> Uh, but right. yeah, Mortals turned it into something. Now that it was just kind of an even trade on the first blood, do you still feel like it's going to be a fast game? Because the first one, it. I, I, yeah. I'm with you in a lot of those games where it's like the first kill in a late first blood is like a five for zero into a Baron or something. Yeah. But this is just a one for one. I agree. 
I still think it's going to be a fast-ish okay. game because of the soul point being in six seconds. So it's gonna yeah, be a soul point is coming up like right now. But again, I think I think that's predicting. some of the just well, uh, macro. The current game state, it's I don't call them misplays because maybe they're thinking something that I don't know. But macro decisions of immortals. But it is not that. Wow, I'm asking well, on it though. Dragon is still being brutally <laughs> killed here in front of our eyes. You know, oh wait, okay, so, oh, so many. Tacticals cleansed after, get, uh, you know, in me, we got hit by something else. Tacticals, like dead. That is just the summoner. All right, so Immortals there. gets it. wave was enough from Olay to keep him safe. Mass, though, in some trouble. Remember, he has no cleanse. Oh, yeah. That was everyone. really, just really, I, I see the idea from Mass. You know, uh, Flash and the Valkyrie over, but uh, something here. We'll see if they can get the I don't know, Doko, Doko sweet on it. Was great by he knew, he knew what he needed point, to do as soon as he got there. He wasn't like, oh, am I going to need to use my Flash? Now he's like, I need this. He needs this. Teleport and they kind of did. They do kind of so grip the quick. most powerful yeah, we'll person on that team. For the calling, Great poke from tactical. The face call there. No buffer again from Castle as he doesn't use the Pathmaker as the gold card comes in. But that's enough. Energy yeah. a little bit gun shy here. They're going to pull back. Not committing to it. I thought they might have wanted to go a little bit more aggressive because really the it only was a 5v4, but yeah, tactical really, map, really you know, melted not a poke, not a lot of And I, I do think you have to respect Hoogie. the uh, what are you going to do after the that, tactical right? damage you know, you and the castle tanking. So I felt like maybe energy could have stayed around a little bit longer and tried to get a turn. I think their Baron damage is probably just too low. With Even with his ear, yeah, because they have <laughs> Because their jungle isn't a real jungler. It's, it's a tough one because it's, their Ivor it's, it's doesn't really do a lot of damage. Yeah. This early in the game, that I think they're still taking kind of a bit an enchanter for the bearing. jungle, not not what I would go with. Pull back. Yeah, and they are still at soul point. No, I got it. I, I think they can kill it pretty quick with ADTF and Azir, but uh, you know, they didn't want to risk it. And, I'm being uh, harsh, but I, I don't know. I feel like Immortals would be in such a better position if this was like any other jungle. Really amount to too much. It was a scaling AP jungle. That would be great. It was an engaged jungle. You know, they really have the possibility of pushing. Forward, NRG into get really rough here. Positions with how they're down, playing, and are going to be able to reclaim at least a little bit of that. As it just feels like again a game that we're moving towards these team fights eventually, but it just has to be one of the teams. Has to you really have to get good at farming end. on the turns this year because you're going to be placing up one, extra turns you would all the time. That that would be like that's really a skill that you do need to you need to have. I think they do want to fight for it, but I do wonder if the poke from. Uh, Lushinami calling in now. All right, so Mask is on his third is item currently. Much, and, uh, you know, Pal Fox is not far uh, behind. You know, Don't already has three items. Ways of actually engaging on the other team. I really like the way that okay, so Mask isn't actually that far ahead. Of any of the he is up like 30 farm. Potential Ash era, but mostly just gold cards to not give Doku okay. good targets to burst down. It's it's making them surprisingly squishy, even though they just or surprisingly slippery even though they just have the one cleanse and no Mikhail's yet completed. Yeah, and Doku hasn't really been able to create too much of an advantage through side lane. Yeah, he has yeah. a gold lead, but that's kind of just what TF does. You print mm -hmm. money with your passives, so you're going to create a lead in that way, but he hasn't really been threatening towers too much. He hasn't really been um, you know, kind of pushing that forward. Corky's down also 16, which is when the poke becomes very wow, difficult Wow, tactical just walking. Uh, just trying to play confidently. He's not afraid of anything. He has, he has a rapid fire. Yeah. So I can't even imagine doing that. Way, but I, I would be contact, shaking honestly, as I walked into this as Wani. And by the time anything happens, he's right back to full. His fingers are just too quick for me. Though, so he's got to try. Oh, he's going to turn. He lands the arrow. Everything coming through. Wow. If Doku would have TP'd a little bit sooner, that really, really could have punished Tactical. As he just tanks his head, Wani ult. The Ash arrow hits, but the cleanse. That's insane. They got so many ults out of that. Well, they could argue like, hey, we're going to try and rush Baron now because you have to come into us without a Sejuani ult or a TF ult or an Ash ult. Now is the time. And Palfox was bought as well. So Immortals just starts it up. Let's go. It is getting down pretty low. They want to force the TP. Palfox is basing first. Oh, Mask missed his really, really big rocket. As this is getting really Immortals, dangerous. I feel like you have to just rush it. Now, yeah. Energy might just commit to it. It's going to be a flip potentially. It's down to 3k. Eyes on the jungle. It's going to get Really well does, done. Really, really well done by Castle. Free, so he, he knew what you needed to, to do. Run. We'll see how many of them can actually get out. Who he almost dies. Have to fight.
flash out as he gets thrown in with a oh, fake Oh, the bubble, bubble bio lane. lane. Does disengage on two. And now the question is... Yeah, I, 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 you know, I think it was really risky by Immortals. He's going to save himself with a Baron Rico. Yeah. Thumbs up. Uh, but I think Castle played perfectly. He it's understood, like, hey, contracts well needs to get into this pit. I need to do everything no I can to, to really blow him off. Stock of what and he did. I mean, he was a big Sante body. Immortals already trying to run back out. Castle 20 seconds, but has the teleport. So Immortals just do you really buys think items that, uh, they're gonna straight back on the map, and it's going to be the same play over push and over again. Push too much, really or they're just going to go straight QSS to... I assume they're going straight to drag. Bought because he's right, like Chemtech's soul is not huge, but yeah, any soul is strong. <laughs> The most and you're, you're pretty far behind with Baron's role, like, time reduction for I, I don't know the exact stat Save difference you get with the Baron game, buff, but, and we have or I, I'm sorry, gold, here if in comparison to the stats that you get with take. Baron. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he knows this fight is so important. He has to buy the QSS. He has to be able to play aggressive on the Lucian, or they just won't have enough damage. The to contracts get the don't, don't care. The contracts is going in. Here, it is going to be a 5v5. There's the TP. And you know, this situation, Castle, Immortals is isn't necessarily any weaker than uh, NRG. Great. Forward, just great job by Dobby. Dragon, though, Bro, Olay's just been killing it. To push the enemy really back, well played. And try and, to take something oh. from that. Energy could potentially run towards Ice mid, in the veins of our, our Mayo. There, but at the same token, Immortals are Oh, one of my least favorite parts about playing jungle is like, you know, trying to time that smite correctly. But he will be there to defend. As oh my God! Back as well, and Immortals is still on the push. They want to push here, and Energy might try and counter with the fight. Castle's doing so much work this game, though. One of the most effective zero-one-one Casantes I've ever zero seen, one. holding off the TF. And it's going also, I mean, it's thirty minutes in. Like they're tanky. There, barely survived. Tactical. Oh, to try to great, great flash, flash by Dokla. I saw the idea by Castle. I really did. He wanted to be able to pull him back into the rest of his team. Because if you kick off Dokla to there, wouldn't be able you to know? get the kill. Some really obnoxious Ibrahim stuff going on here too, with the Baron Cannon minion that you can't see, who's just hitting yeah. the turret. They're gonna okay. hold him there. And this really is the one situation you can make Ibrahim look okay. Yo, you, you don't gotta rub low. it in. Another gold card does land. This time it's gonna be buffered with the Pathmaker, but they have the shields. Constantly throwing the shields up, but oh, the damage wait, you got hit? No, you can't get hit there. Now it's it's Immortals on the run here. Oh, amazing ult by Huhi. Oh, tactical's blown out too. Great ult though. The okay, they're gonna get out, I think, but Huhi's arrows might not hit often, but when they hit, it matters. Oh, there's a big wave top, but nobody has TP on Immortal side, so it doesn't really matter. Alphox is like already there. As well as the Nami are just keeping yeah. Immortals health bars. Ole so has had full. some really you well down, done. Which makes you think that the or, I mean, be over, and you look up again, and they're at eighty percent health. So the old was really good. Really I mean, he's healing like an absolute game, G. And gonna have to His bubbles have been on point. Like he's really been thing. able to peel for tactical in a way that play worked, I don't think just getting Nami would really first. get the respect they throw for. Out more poke. And the Corky no, I, mean, I, I do believe that Nami's a good champ, though. Really substantial, mm -hmm. and it Definitely makes more, one of the more fun enchantresses to, to play to in, bot side. Then everybody else is incredibly squishy, so they just can't. And then Immortals gets the objectives and slowly, incrementally, finds their way back in the game. And we had some really close margins there because Contracts flashed out with, I want to say, 5% health. Mm -hmm. Then we had... Yeah, look at that shield and the shield and everything. If all out. Dokla's it is actually going to be sure really annoying to kill whoever this survive. Nami's uh, uh, then we have, guarding. You know, Immortals getting incredibly low and almost That was probably died, a really so satisfying bomb, and I'm really sad they switched away from it, like, later and later right before the game, game, where one one-sided fight could mean the end of everything. Yeah. It's so dangerous when you make a mistake in these later you know, stages, but... You know, energy's up in gold, but Immortals really... This really does feel kind of like a comeback. A lot of credit like they've scaled and hit certain items really that Tactical is really able to you know, super poke him is potentially, you know, and Mask Western is really region. being able to Tactical, trying to give him a run start for his trying to have uh, a strong carry performance utilize his we'll gold lead to and find you know, those poke, big plays poke, that his team is going to need off of energy. if they're going to win. Completely agree. I'm and pretty sure he's building Bloodthirster right now and so when he completes that yeah right now he has Bloodthirster right now. This is going to make him so confident and he also has Ivern Shields yeah, that are just yeah. refreshing on him. 
but like he can still die pretty fast. That's the thing he's gonna. Have oh, to heads worry up my castle. About a bit. Heads up my castle. He dodged it, but then CC. still was able to use the unstoppable. Hit in the face by a Callista Q and a couple of his ear shots. Exactly. We saw him Tactical forward, just gets poked really bad, but then the shield will pop up, and it's like, oh, it wasn't even necessary. It was almost like a waste for you to have done so much damage, and now he's just full health again. All it takes. Pierce Ren comes through. Then all of a sudden, you're. Is there any anti heal? There is. Looks like on contract. Ah, but just on contracts. Come on. Who that's going to be the next objective up Gotta tell the, tell the pro players what to do. Spawn. About a minute, and his energy would have oh, that is funny. crack at a potential soul. But I will say, the amount of shields and whatnot, uh, really healing, everything done on Immortals, is pretty much two Enchanters <laughs> and then three, or two ADCs and a tank. Like, that's... I want to see these teams battle. Chem it's not a lot of damage or a lot of tanking per se, but like seven times this it's game really going to help, you, you know, can get the four of a kind put soil, mask and tactical in positions kind of that, towards their poke you know, with them getting ahead, they might right be able now, to do something. And energy actually just can't engage. Mm -hmm. There are too many cleanses and CC breaks on Immortals. It, the downside is it really does rely all on mask and tactical. In a fight, if energy is able to grab either of them, like half of uh, Immortals comp is just gone. If you get both of them, if you're able to get like a good contracts hole and then a Palafox scoop or something like that, then you have Kasante, Ivern, and Nami. Right, like, there's actually nothing you can do into a comp. Contracts really seems be the only one they can ever hit and they keep getting the poke down but not really anything more than that it's a bit of an aggressive valkyrie forward there from mass but felt confident with his two supports behind him that he would be able to look for that sort of a play tactical again just playing through mid looking to get cryo there Dokla and it is dokla yeah dokla over on the dragon here spotted out but to be fair on ivern's side that wouldn't be any different if it's a 20. you know what i mean and i'm you know what I mean? so i, I can't immediately use oh great engage by contracts but super quick fingers by tactical as well the calling coming through and now there's no Wait, they got contracts! No way out. They got contracts! And now they're running away. Yeah, don't blast them back off! I mean, there's no it way that Dokla can stay there. Dragon here for so now it's, it's so is, point for both teams. Get after this? Do they have time to take this and go for the Baron? As that might I mean, be the uh, the yeah, yeah they do. I think they can at the very least get the Drake, and I think this is the correct call. Even if they could get the Baron with the Dragon being down, giving up the soul is a no-go with how slow these fights are. So now both Okay, so now I don't know if I would do Baron. And I think... If Immortals doesn't like, we have not been able to read like Immortals have not been able to reset from the last so fight. Energy has clearly been able to reset from the last fight. In, but they get the yeah, contracts well, is enough for another 10 seconds or something, Fox but you really, you really have to right melt now, this, so or really you're forcing a flip. So they are taking quite a bit of damage That's on it, but it looks like energy aren't even feeling. Okay, energy, yeah, energy's no respecting them. They're just letting them have it. Wow, that's really surprising. They're going to try to take it here too. But Immortals slowly but surely dragging the themselves back. back into this game. The Ash that Arrow doesn't really hit close. anything. More items being completed. BT now done. You know, the, even now, again, now as well for Immortals He's got the is now on down in gold. Still Energy's up 2k yeah. gold. And, uh, but for some reason, it feels like Immortals really has really, really been able to, to come take back. Down. He can and it's, it's similar contract. to how it was so earlier when Immortals was up in gold, but energy was lane, really who felt like in the driver's seat. Yeah, no wow, Contracts just went right in and tack tackles dead. Like, that's half the fight. Now, now, yeah, Mask has to leave, right? Because that's all his damage. If he dies, the game's over. And uh, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, just a great, great job by Contracts. He found the line, and that's all you need. But with no Baron buff, they need to wait for a few more minions. Mask can clear a lot. Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't necessarily think Energy's gonna to make the most out of this end it here. That was a miracle catch by but Contracts and Palafox. Yeah, they're gonna oh, you try just to put yourself in a rough spot. The game. There's not a lot left in the tank here. Oh wait, did they lose the game here? It is 37 minutes in, I guess. Taking down these minions yeah. as fast as humanly possible. But Hold on, are they, they going to show us items mass. again? I'm kind of curious what FBI rockets, and Dokla's items are. Yeah, here they go. Yeah, here they go. Dokla's just going to step forward here. Does land the gold card. Oh, wow. Yeah, they just melt mask. mask it's game over now. And just like that. Yeah, energy if they would have maybe picked off someone else, but... Okay, energy. Back. Immortals got the Two old Immortals. Energy got the really well done. And the series victory. I'll admit, I'm a little sad for Immortals. They stopped Shopify in the first series. They and game two of 5-9 looked really close. The very end of Honestly, the game, game two here, Immortals, I, it doesn't look like, even though Energy swept them, it looked like it relatively... Looks like 
in that moment, it looked like Immortals had total control Fair games, the game. right? Like, these are two Tactical teams that I felt like it could have gone Immortals' way. No and watching these the games, I wouldn't be surprised. And energy but that is... So, Immortals is 06? Kill, they I think they're just out of, uh, their first like, match playoff the ability, game, right? Going into the break. <laughs> It's a crazy All end right. to the game. Well, it, it, was a, it was a really good series. It was a lot of fun to watch. All right, so now we have Team Liquid. And... <laughs> yes, Team Liquid and 100 Thieves. Away we go. Let's check out the draft really quick. I do like to just see what they grab. I'm actually so excited to see Mordekaiser. Wait. Oh, okay. Ezreal mid. Ezreal mid. Quid played an amazing Ezreal mid, mind you. I was a little sad when I first saw Ezreal going mid because I wanted to see him as the ADC. But Quid played him so well. Disgusting. Well, I'm actually really excited to see what so happens long, here. Uh, Another Lucian again. Has 17 I mean, Lucian Nami's good. It, it feels it during, if you remember the, very specific. Uh, the like Omega certain people do really well with uh, Lucian Nami, and certain people don't. Uh, so I'm excited to see it. And again, I'm just hyped for the, the for Meta when they were Turbo OP and, and they failed. Yeah, everybody. There's been a and it's, it's Sniper wrong, on Rexai. So I'm I'm hyped to see this. Succeeded Sniper also using my favorite Skarner skin after the rework. I think the Robo Skarner is just yeah beautiful skin. I would play so much more Skarner with this skin. Actually, I would just play so much more Skarner if I if I had the chance. Let's see what we got here. GLHF. Oh, good luck. Have fun. Thank you, APA. Wait, that's good. That's it's cute. You got to start out. You got to start out somewhere. No, that is adorable. I I I love it. Polite manners. I like how Sniper said hello. Yeah, like as, that was the proper response there. <laughs> right. Immediately into the type racer. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go ahead and compare what we what we got here. We have the barrier for Meech versus Cleanse on Yawn. Wow. Let's make sure he can get away from those engages from the Leona. We know how powerful the CC chaining is. <laughs> That's kind of disgusting. Halo okay. Has the ignite to try to guarantee that they can get one of these. Sniper versus impact. Most wins players. versus. Yeah. Just a hammer home I don't know. Point really low. Probably not last. Impact has played. Is in the LCS recently. He passed the first place for all time wins in the LCS. Yeah, Impact's just been playing forever. I respect it. All of the LCS it is good. I think Impact's a really good top laner. You know, pretty respectable. You know, like he, he might not be able to compare with some of the best yeah, in the world, but. I, I, think I don't know. I, I, you could argue him best in LCS. The grand total of players that have played in the LCS is like 364. So he's almost in the top half. That's pretty good. So yeah, we're, we're wow. That, that just makes me think. So like, about half of them didn't didn't make make it more than one split worth of wins. Basically, I mean, hundred yeah. yeah. thieves that have a lot of wins in spring. So uh, that's that's definitely more wins than you would usually get by only that. Ooh, Small good little poke there time, from Quinn. Back, uh, on the quid look at this. Oh, uh, look really at the pokes took off from the Lucian Nami lane. Oh, yeah. The last time the Lucian, oh, yeah. or this, like in the Mortals NRG game, it was against Twist kind of Ashes, test, which just gets so much more push. But this is what a typical uh, have said, yeah, it's wave would look like. Look at this built up wave. Are they just going to tower dive him? They don't have like a Nautilus or anything. So, yeah, actually, it looks like Young's going to back and just get some vision. But just look at that huge the wave. There, though, means this trade is going to be a lot more even than it would mm, otherwise. That's disgusting. Minus one Q. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to keep track of those. Minus one, but not really that consequential here just yet. Back in bottom lane, currently the priority here belongs to Yon and Core JJ. Uh, and I'm excited to actually watch them uh, meet Aphelios. This Aphelios is a whole. The river is also hanging around. You know, Aphelios is a champion that I don't think I'll ever rush. pick up. Going to be spotted out yeah, the board, so yeah, I would hope that this doesn't really lead into anything. <laughs> but since team definitely a champion that I, I would love to on river's positioning. to at one point maybe really dedicate and focus some time on. And it'll be Ayla sweeping through the brushes, but Umpty's ready to join up here too. So yeah, Umpty knows. That river's there, so just gonna melt this down. Yeah. River knows now. Quite nice, and he can pass up. So it could be a no, no, no. Okay, quid, quid, quid sees where he's at. Backs off. Wow, actually, he's so low. Quid's so low, man. You assume he's just back and getting like tier boots or something, right? But sniper pushed in. All right, impact. Walk up. That's kind of disgusting, impact. Yep. Uh, Gotta make sure helps, you can spam. Yeah, it helps out a lot uh, on the patch that we're currently on here. So I actually didn't even was, have enough for uh, the, or I had enough for the boots, but chose refillable paw and the moat. <laughs> Ooh, Umpty. 
not going to be able to find his recall there as River interrupts him. That was a great recall. Also important to know Is there going to be a switch? The interaction nope. between Sniper and Impact, where it looked like Sniper kind of grabbed Impact at a wacky angle. The the hitbox hit on Skarner's is yeah. not exactly as Wow, great engage by Yone, but oh, Ayla being able to kind of counter engage and protect Meech there. That was great. From the hundred thieves bottom lane, all non flash it's funny, spells are having a core JJ on Nami yeah, really does make it just so much here. harder for Meech and Ayla to keep up uh, with this. Uh, it's gonna be junglers again visiting this trade and, and every trade from here on out. Full clears down to the bottom side, uh, whereas Umpty here does have Raptors to go or uh, the Krugs to go to after Raptors. So it's brand it's be down a and far. And even it's though there is on Raptors, gonna head on. He has such a disgusting clear. It has gotten a little bit Might not spicy. be like uh, Zyra's, but it is disgusting. Great trade from. Oh, quit! There for River for the brand. So we'll see about round two of junglers. Uh, it was still a good trade from Quinn. That's how yes, good the trade was. That missing both of those, and it was still like in Quinn's favor. But how do you hit that? Oh, also that old from Quinn. I don't, again, I don't, I'm not quite there macro wise um, to ever, I feel like, use that skill correctly of ulting the wave and when to do so. But uh, that was probably very inconvenient for APA. Now they're going to be able to rotate up top. But they could switch for drag top or drag bot with the empty down there. One v two situation. Mordekaiser doesn't really care about one v two situations because that's just two separate one v ones for him. So hundred thieves. That's true. It is sure two separate one v ones. Don't put themselves in a spot where it's very easy for him to send somebody to the shadow realm. Oh, good poke from Meech. On the board. They are off to a so yeah, it looks like they wanted grubs. On, Again, I'm going to see how it goes for 100 Thieves like focusing yeah, grubs. This, this is I the personally most really feel like the drags end up being better. Uh, oh, Sniper. Okay. But you got Sniper. sniper. You got the moves. Oh, you got the moves. A little flash. Oh, Yon took some damage. Umpty's full health, though. They're going to grab him. Yeah. All right, Impact. How I said would happen just happened. Impact gets a 1v2 at the same time his team is getting a 3v1 on the other end of the rift. Yo, that was vintage BM, okay? <laughs> back in Impact's day, back in my day, we didn't have emotes to BM with. We spared Oh, yeah. oh that's that's like crazy. That. He spams Todd on the body and Impact wants another one. Uh, Impact is looking huge on Mordekaiser. You cannot disrespect Mordekaiser. That's some old man BM right there. I actually can't believe he <laughs> killed Meech. That was, that was I, would, I, I hope I can see. Like, uh, yeah, did he really I mean, just walk too far forward? Are very different in dealing with oh, multiple people you ganking play. them. Really as play. you so yes. clearly Okay, so let's see what happened here. About. We didn't actually get to see it happen. Oh, you got great. Yeah. Oh, Meech, that's a mistake. To Meech under tower? He had flash. He did not flash the grab. He did not respect. The top lane, LCS. Wait, no, Impact didn't even ult. Slams it down there, lands the grab under. Oh, tower, wait, does Cleanse, so Cleanse, Mortal? Has a more difficult job here. He's not level six yet. He yeah. tries to get level six. I, I guess so. He does get That's that. interesting. He I didn't know. I thought they made it so the nothing uh, can cleanse it anymore. He gets level six as this one dies from the tower. And so he's able to lock up Sejuani, but... Ah, that was really good by TL. Already, Yon just kills him, and they get All right, so the TL does get Drake, flash, which again, I, I think is better. And Dragon picked up in the aftermath no, Meech doesn't even have exhaust. It worked out well, Bob. How did that Honestly, not side, hit? That was just... That was silliness out of me. She shouldn't have been there. I don't really understand what he was thinking. Like, did he forget what Mordekaiser does? Has he never read the tooltip? Come on, Meech. We gotta, we gotta pay more attention uh, than that on these types of plays. Otherwise, I am so confused. I'll have to watch that back in the bot later. Issue. Remember, if this guy gets so far ahead that he's raid boss status, uh -huh. all of a sudden the IRS is kicking in the door at 100 Thieves <laughs> demanding some QSS taxes. And the QSS tax doesn't even work anymore! Oh, wait, that's right! Oh, my <laughs> goodness, I, was, I had completely forgotten about that because I hadn't been seeing Mordekaiser for so long, but here we go. Yeah. It's potentially... Yeah, actually, I got stat check by Mordekaiser. Yeah, uh, it was about last week, I think. Or it might, have been, it might have been, like, one day this week. <laughs> and I, was, now, I was like, oh, you know, I kind of want to play some set you, top you and really enemy pick Mordekaiser. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's not too bad of a lane, right? And it was so rough. It was so rough for me machine here for the rest of the game this after this a level like a two it, it never felt like uh, a close fight be looking at river on the brand and seeing how much uh you know brand was going to be able to do to kind of burn through uh that front line but river's job is is much more difficult now so Ooh. we'll see 
Ayla Good trade of flashes. Flash there on but JJ. Flash for flash the hex flash from Ayla makes it worth it because now, now they have hex flash. I forgot the Mordekaiser thing because I was clowning on Nietzsche for not remembering what Mordekaiser does. And then who was it who didn't remember you're what like, Mordekaiser did? All right, uh, uh, Flowers, you're going to have to join him in uh, uh, Impact's uh, lesson here. Yeah, they got Impact me. is going to take everyone me. to school. Ooh, uh, I feel like this is so horrifying to be quit right here. Actually, always he's typing so fast. You see this pretty frequently. Frequently. He's got the letters misplaced. Nothing spelled right. But but nobody nobody ever deducts. Oh wait, so that. they're in it, but it just doesn't show you. Out. All right, impacts gonna find another one here. Oh Might wait, that's so interesting. Inside the ult, okay, so I know Quid died, but still beautifully played by Quid. Okay. But yeah, I I feel like Quid just had to respect it more and get away quicker. This one for sure. He is it going to be Mordekaiser carry? carry? That'd actually be so fun to watch. You know, unkillable top lane in flash. pro. And if it I works, mean, he's, he's that would be wonderful. Actually, that would be so right much fun now. for me. Yep. And I, I, I don't know about everyone. That's why I say everyone, but definitely for me. One farm. Okay, the hex flash from Leona. The thing that I was looking at is can hundred thieves and river Ooh. use these high tempo AP junglers to really put the pressure on Umpty, who continues to just play tanks? And the answer in the first ten and a half minutes of this game is no. No. Nope. Yeah, we'll see as River. All right, so River is on the grubs, the but Umpty's there. Fourth grub here, Sejuani grub. All right, Ayla, grub. what you got? He has to go back over the wall. He does not. Oh, Umpty doesn't even smite it. Grub. Okay, so 100, 100 Thieves, thieves have confirmed all six of, of them. Power to the pit. It looks like they will so get we'll the see what they're able to use that with. Grubs here in game number one. Team Liquid, of course, did they don't have like super heavy, like, on. second one going to be spawning in under two power here, killing teams or anything. But it's not like TL can grab something back on the other side of the map for it. Yeah, hmm. can't grab anything back. It worked out. That's, I mean, that's definitely. Other Thieves is still definitely behind, but they got the grubs. Split pushing is really hard. When you're playing against the Fed Mordekaiser, so it, it actually is going to be hard for Hundred Thieves to get full. Oh wow, yeah, APA is rough. Like, oh my God, six scrubs! I love oh, that. he always Pushing hurts. Towers, you know, double mites. But Hundred Thieves mentally, don't physically, have a he's, pusher. he's a painful like, dude. Just don't. Anybody who goes out there is impact food. So yeah, we will see. Quite mm. interesting here, and I like the call from Team Liquid. Uh, they'll probably just try and keep up their dragon stacking. Yeah, it is wow. kind of weird to go into a fed Mordekaiser. I'm trying to think of like what would be the right like if I was playing this game, I was like, what would I do here? And I, I don't. I just have quit or something, poke a whole bunch, and and try and push out the best for ability, or have sniper just get bullied up there and just say like, hey, you're playing Rek'Sai, you're a tank, we're gonna let you suffer a little bit, and we hope that you survive. But then that doesn't really stop impact from just. Against becoming match. a monster so quicker he comes back up here that's also a lot of magic damage so almost a 2000 down a level with 12 minutes into the game i mean at really least great, I, to be fair more guys doesn't have an item or First anything item already completed for apa with that trinity force zeke's convergence online for the sejuani we were talking earlier today while we were watching the first series just about how this item feels so good for tank junglers right now it gives you a little bit of everything you want it's so cheap you know dipping into the the support itemization actually always does feel good for junglers because support mm -hmm. itemization is always so efficient mm -hmm. so anytime there's something that actually gets mana removed you from know, it so Corgi is trinity item, for so junglers just just love that purchase tl could definitely win a fight so here efficient. there's just not a lot i mean there's drag on it always feels really so it looks like they're going to go down drag and finish it but good mana regeneration and so it, you know it's we'll kind of hard to, for them to ready, pick anyone 100 APA thieves unless mp grabs like an old recipe for a play right there there's just so much around but so much uh, annoying counter CC from Ayla. New banana brush. So they're able to push him off. The only problem for Hunter Thieves is they left. Oh, Hunter look at this open, amazing so, yeah. push by APA like, bot. Yeah. APA is just going to get free money on tower plates. Meanwhile, the oh, okay. Great engage by Core JJ. Here. The bubble doesn't connect on him, so he's walking away. But not oh, they were able to burst Ayla. All right, that's all they needed. Oh, wait, wait, maybe not. And Core JJ. Die. No, 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 I'm still not here too early. No, he does! That burn was insane! Oh! Oh, I would be so heartbroken if that happened. Oh, if I was Umpty, I would just be shaking my head. Maybe doing more, I'm not sure. Way to go, River. Passive diff. Item diff, I don't know, something. Diff. Jungle diff, indeed. Always jungle diff. Always jungle diff. Don't get baited in here. Uh, green and white guns is a really strong combination. So 
would be able to zone you off. Uh, he just puts down the turret while Brand goes to take care of the dragon. And remember, even when everything was going so bad, so 100 Thieves 100 now Thieves, has a dragon. So they stopped this, uh, Brand you know, and they didn't stop it, but they've delayed this kind of win con of, oh, great job by uh, River the of uh, the Dragon Soul. Dying. They're all feeding. You just got to remain focused on your own gameplay. And it's Cloud Soul, too. So it's not even like a brand. truly game ending uh, Soul. Here, so you could argue so that 100 Thieves won the, the uh, objective trade. Even though TL is up so no much far with just. Through. And against Sejuani in particular, I like play. the fact that you mentioned how yucky the damage over time was. Wow, because Quinn. Remember that Sejuani okay, dude. Is so good against front loaded damage. You wanted it like that? The yeah. Armor and the aftershock. She has so many resistances for those first couple of seconds. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Quinn yep. better care about APA, though. The Ezreal trying to flash out, but APA ain't gonna let it. Okay, there was a trade. forward to follow it up. That passive explosion is gonna make Honker. this Wait, wait, wait. Brand's on well. Honker? Yeah, both of them had Trinity Force, so, you know, Quid, Quid wants to get a little, uh, a little danger. In there and yeah, APA I don't know. I, I don't necessarily agree with Quid's it does cost River his flash to follow trade up, at all, or he, like thought he of all in. He He's down items. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of. I, I guess now, they do both have Trinity uh, Force, but even then, the entire team. Uh, like Ezreal, yeah. like Ezreal is <laughs> much harder to make space for River. Uh, deal your optimal amount of damage compared to Corky. I don't know. He'll be able to do something about it as the game does progress. Yes, well, he has PTA, I guess, though, so you could argue that. I'm not sure. For, TL. for the first 10 minutes of the game, 100 Thieves owned the top side neutral objectives. Team Liquid owned the bot side. Now it's Yeah, and top. you know what? We're making our way in the they got the Rift Herald. You can see the Hollow Radiance purchased for Sniper. Doesn't quite have the same not get the Rift potential Herald. ticking up as you're in combat as a Sunfire does, but you do get the Wait, TL, you got the Rift Herald. better split push control, better just extra weight Good. pressure to deal with. Huge for TL. You know, really slows down Hunter Thieves' ability with all those billion earlier. Grub Knights. Ah, oh, with the root. Here of and Ayla, but they aren't too afraid of anything. I don't think Ayla is going to go in there. Camp, so I don't think Maybe for the best that he did it. Considering Meech's guns. Brand is the protagonist. You're not going to do anything <laughs> important in the story without the protagonist there. Yeah. So just kind of chilling right now, farming it up. TL yeah. still 2.3 thousand gold ahead. Everybody else, just relax, okay? Uh, don't try yeah, I don't know. To do in, anything too dangerous. Impact's going to be in a very dominant side. position uh, walking into one of these drag service. fights. At, like, he's going to TP in, um, walk up, and just ult so someone, and they're just dead, right? <laughs> one of these carries that 100 Thieves has really doesn't exist in a team fight if Impact has any say about it. But I was shocked that there was no trash talk afterwards. There was no typing from APA. And even though he was able to get actually looked really and dangerous for so 100 he's, Thieves he's biting his time because you know because yeah. Sejuani well, walking into Brand and time, but, everyone but uh, everybody from 100 I mean, kind of rotating through to Umpty sure saw something else Umpty left immediately all right the Rift Herald is summoned up in middle I mean Brand does do a lot of damage as soon as she spawns one more auto attacker two might get it done oh, okay they were they were able to get a couple of ults off there but Umpty just dies just too much damage they're able to trade it from uh Ayla Wait, Meech is dead? No, wait, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, Meech is dead. Yon was able to flash out, great flash from ult, and it's... Oh, that's impact. I, I, yeah, you just ult someone, and it's, it's just hard to... Uh, yeah. In, impact is kind of a menace. You know, this is a really great ult by Umpty. Like, I can't believe he got it onto River. Like, yeah, he still died for it, but was able to just kind of position them off awkwardly. And then Meech, just too, yeah, not too close forward. Uh, and then, you know, I think Quid did his best. He was just a little bit too close to Impact. He actually survives until after the uh, ult goes off. And ensures Which might be worse because now APA has the gold. People were taking the final hits on those kills. I'm counting all three of those to impact. They are simply <laughs> impacts ads. Uh -huh. He is the main boss and he is making this encounter happen for Team Liquid. He's a benevolent boss, so he's like, here, benevolent you know what? Boss. Share some money with the rest of the I don't team. know, Mordecai doesn't really one. fit the, you, uh, that one. you, you know. know. Everybody knows at the end of the day, the one at the top of the damage meters. Is the Mordecai. Yeah, 302. Right Impact's so, looking huge. Uh, he didn't even go Rylai's first item. He went Leandre's. Like, he's so far ahead. He's like, I don't, I don't need this. You're not running away anyway. Wow. 
little bit of a trade that was actually some uh, amazingly some well done trades from umpty and sniper the but they were both uh tanks so it didn't matter wow he yon actually made it out of that i can't believe they're turning this on 100 thieves yon you're you're a monster yeah, you're an actual just certified monster that was insane you soaked up the pressure from four people and then turn it around yeah, really good peeling, I would say, from Umpty there. Even though Umpty was not oh, in the middle of the screen. Okay, AP actually was pushed so often. Raptor pit like, yeah, you know, you should be trying to, the you know, get what you can from around the map. But I feel like APA, particularly, from his team, in all the games I watch, is what really seems to always be, like, in the push. right spot. Right? He's always at the turret Yon's when he needs to be at the turret. He picks up so many plates by himself. On Corky, specifically, it feels like. But uh, on every champion. Ace when he played the last week. And Tristana, but Tristana's a little different. That That's kind of the focus of Tristana sometimes. About to hit 20 minutes. All right, you so Quinn's able to trade it for something. So 100 Thieves isn't like the rapid fire so far the behind. Objective story, Bounty's not bad, right but the fact Objective Bounty's popped up, almost third fully completed that, that could be rough. For Yon. 5k gold to TL. Really suffocating really fast 100 Thieves has 100 to get like a crazy engage or something. Really or TL has to incorrectly engage. You know what I mean? Like Yon dashing in and not respecting the ult from Ayla or something. I'm not sure. This game. But if Sniper they just front to back, Umpty goes in, Core JJ ults, Yon outputs his damage, so on and so forth, I'm not seeing how 100 Thieves right can do anything. Yeah, honestly, I'm just so proud. There's so much damage on TL's side well in comparison. Like, look at the ADC. Yes, you know, the beginning of the game with impact. And right, yo, so many kills Lucian and has two and a half and items. You know, and if Phillies has thing. one and a half? If they grab 4JJ, which I guess is fine, but I, just, uh, I don't think that's good enough. Yeah, look at Ayla just after. Ayla's dead. He just completely fills Ayla full of bullets. Impact just, Impact just dancing. Look, this game's so over. This game's so over. I would, uh, I would be actually physically hurt watching Impact do that to me. I don't know. I don't know what Ayla can do in this situation. You're playing Leona too. You're not even like, oh, maybe I'll uh, put a little bit of damage. No, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna take it. Moving in, putting down some vision, stealing away the enemy blue buff, stealing away the enemy jungle camps. Again, just forcing this economy to be more and more in favor of TL. It's just textbook. It's so nice and 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 refreshing yeah yeah no no gl engage <laughs> gl engaging front to back is, is just no way i feel like they can lose and then being able to outplay them you know and look at the board it's 4-0 uh, 402 i guess and being able to set themselves uh, up for good he, again still doesn't it still has the ball rise first oh, he's gonna be a medicine these fights he's gonna do so much damage quite well for this team and this Rift is, is gonna just sustain right now, for all of eternity players in the lcs all looking at, Ugh, disgusting. at the top of the rankings to be fair you, you could always hope for something like uh you know down. really spicy we will sniper engage because rexite does allow some of these awkward maybe not awkward is, but is really these the only perspective kind of unconventional remains. engages just that now, but as long as tl just so plays outgunned. smart There's and doesn't too much money on the side of get too Liquid. aggressive I mean, APA's it's got gonna two be really hard to punish him on the corky here and the poke damage is really look at impact bot lane great engage again great engage by tl cyber oh, oh wait that was a great engage on yon and they were able to pick him off 100 Thieves, actually, this was huge. This is huge. It was a misengage. It looks like they might have only lost two, but no, they lost three. They got a whole bunch of shutdowns there. That's actually huge for 100 Thieves. Like, heartbreak. Yeah, impact got so much from that. But that's interesting. I thought contracts being able to engage and especially grab up two people with his dash and his ult. I thought it was, I thought it was easy, but Ayla's turnaround ult dashing into Yon. Wow, really punished Yon. That's insane. Really well played. I, that, that's awesome. All right, let's look at this. It's a great flash from Yon. But, oh, yeah. No, the ult's just insane. Also, to say, so Sniper missed his ult, which still made it a little bit rough. And great damage from APA onto that backline. Like, look how low everyone is besides Quid and Ayla. Like, those rockets were melting River and Meech and Sniper, you know what I mean? But, rough. 
massive, massive stuff, and River invested his flash and able to ensure they could get that shutdown as well. That is so much money into the mid Ezreal, into Quid. Quid really does play really just good. <laughs> Good mid Ezreal. Look at this brand too. 3 0 and 3 with Rylize and uh, Leandris. Like, this jungle brand really hurts. Wow, what a deep TP. Actually, another another deep TP. Not as deep, but Impact's going to surprise him because he didn't have vision. Quid's dead. And then he's going to be in the middle of the fight. Oh, this is rough. I mean, really good ult from Ayla. So let's see if they're going to be able to turn it with like a Meech or something like that. No, it doesn't look like it. He already used his ult. I mean, honestly, it could have been worse. Like, yeah, they did lose Quid, but if that's... Well, okay, it's not over yet. The play's not over. Yeah, you kind of have to be careful. Like, Ayla is still there. Cypher's still there. You know what I mean? Really, River, though. You have to worry about River with the amount of damage that his W, E, Q, ult thing is going to do. Oh, he doesn't have ult, but even then. Yeah, Impact says, I'm still the main character of this game. Nice comeback, 100 Thieves, but I'm going to put a stop to it right now. Yeah. Ensure that we get to our Dragon Soul point at the very least. Three dragons now for Team Liquid. Though the 5 0! Oh. This is just like one of those solo queue top lane diffs where it's like. Presumably this it, it's not even that the Skarn is doing bad. Wait! Great engage! Great engage! Look at Impact! Impact was so close, but he just walks it off! Dude, that's insane! Oh, Impact has so much health. He's so tanky. Oh, the bot lane of a hundred thieves just gets caught. They wanted to burst down the turret. They wanted to take the fight then. Ah, a little greedy. You're down so much, and you were you were jumping into him. Gonna win another scrap. Yeah, it's a little a little bit risky to rush into it. That tower is so low that they're probably gonna be able to get at some point. But they really wanted the money now. Uh, I I, mean, I get it. Cash in, try and get the um, bloodthirster completed. I wonder if it'll uh, quid, show that replay of, of just power how far forward they are. They do get like, I know they got caught. I I saw them get caught, but I don't know. I I wasn't really comparing their positioning to the rest of the team or compared to like Impact, for example. Because Impact did get absolutely melted there. He ended up walking it off, which is insane. He's built. He just built his first tank-ish item. Kind of Unless you count Void them, Rifter as tank or uh, Void Maker as tank, these had to maybe play it a little bit safer and and aim for soul. Well, if we compare the overall states of the game we've experienced so far here in this one, Team Liquid at their greatest heights were about six and a half thousand gold ahead. Mm. Right at the time, they're also on soul point. I don't know. Thieves, it's still looking really, really rough for 100 10. Thieves, but see, that could have been a really spicy lane, like sniper, sniper engage or something like so that that wasn't originally expected. It's too bad that it was actually a TL engage. So much extra effective ha, HP I tricked with you. Shield spams coming out, so you really have to put a lot of DPS into killing him. But yeah, we're back to oh, a Oh, great guns for Aphelios to clear this wave. Between the greatest team liquid lead Good poke by you. Oh, really great poke by the Lucian. As Meech was about Disgusting. Wait, how did Yon end up taking that damage? Um, still hanging around I actually thought he dodged some time. Has to be careful with how far out Oh wait, Yon's low. Does not have his teleport available yet. That's something that Team Liquid needs to be cognizant Ooh. of. A fight without impact is not good a job by Yon. You need to have the He's taking a little bit of damage there, but APA overall really good. Again, APA is again pushing and the lane. The macro by TL is different. APA, it's a crazy pincer they have here, but they do have a bit. Wow, <laughs> it is just insane. Yeah, is, in the positioning and everything. A big one. A big one. And they're gonna be able to walk. They don't bear or anything at all here. either. They're just look how deep they're able to push hundred thieves. Filter down to Easily. the side eventually. Yeah, nobody from oh. Hundred Thieves is dead. Nobody gets caught there or anything. APA Ooh, wait. could be in a pretty rough spot. Quid getting himself back away. Good trade of flashes. APA and Quid are both barely hanging on. APA down about two. Oh, they got APA! Takes him down. A That's little bit a too aggressive there. He flashed the ult from Leona, Luckily but for Team Liquid, the death timer is gonna be enough time before Baron spawns so that Hundred Thieves don't you know, get a, a true comeback off of this, but that was definitely an error from uh, from APA. Both flashes from Quid and APA invested in that play, but the extra kill, the extra money. We'll see if 100 Thieves can make use of it here, and maybe 
these All two right. I mean, that, that, that was really huge for, uh, for the Thieves. Not enough to, like, turn the game or anything like that. Like, it's still very TL-driven. Like, here. I got one in! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ayla gets caught, though! Oh, wait, but great engage? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't look like it'll matter. Ayla just, uh, Ayla just gets melted. Oh, so much damage from River, though. That was really unfortunate, Ayla getting caught there. Like, they had the, the death from APA, but now APA's up. And Baron just came alive. Yeah, but the war mugs and everything, like... Followed up with a, I think Seer is the cue. But yeah, that's oh, River? Bad. This guy does so much damage. If River gets caught so out, they can do whatever they want. River has like all like the, the damage. Void Staff and Rylize and whatnot. River is the threat. He's three quarters of the way Especially with the burn, Leandries, yeah. Final level on the so if they're able to get River, they're a lot less worried. That hundred thieves will have to rely on if they want to find a win in one of these big fights. Yeah, River's been doing a lot of work this game so far. So Yon's much damage from Yon. Like, look, he's, he's so far forward, too. That was a that was a lot of damage by the True Shot Barrage. It's Soul. And TL's willing to show it, too. They're like, yeah, stop us. You can't. They already got it. You're too late. You gotta be careful of Impact. Yeah, I mean... Meek's able to get out alive. Oh, Impact's a rain boss. Look at him, though. Whoa. Dude, there's nothing you can do. Dude. Dude. Yeah, they just grabbed Baron. They already have Soul. That's going to put a oh. nice capstone on this one. That was disgusting. For TL. They don't Barry care if they give 100 Thieves Skarner. It's an ah, take it. Don't money. worry about it. Impact no refund. Is disgusting. One of the greats. <laughs> God of top lane here. Has not died a single time. Yeah, Impact was putting on a dominant Zalbert performance. They are talking about like, oh, you know. Even when yeah, it, 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 which, onto I was talking about this too. I was like, yeah, Impact might just be the best LCS uh, top laner. I don't know. You know, like, I don't know for sure. Destroys them all. There, there are some other, I mean, there are even right there, really good top laners from LCS. Thieves, he doesn't have to worry about securing that Baron immediately. Uh -oh. Impact very low. He might finally die. Meech, red, white, don't fight. Shuts him down. Teleport, teleport, teleport. All right, we finally see a moment of weakness here as uh, Impact does go just, down. I was just talking about how good you were. Nicely done from Meech. That is big. That he, he's still play playing amazingly. The Dragon Soul was no, he, the he's, making, the he's making the Mordecai's Impact pick look stronger than I thought it would. Player, but now, but it's not even like a count of Skarner from my understanding, right? It just, it's just thieves. the stat check. Lane Bully just, just so much all the time. Great dodge by Yon. So much movement speed with Cloud Soul Drake. And then the Nami abilities as a whole. Look at that! So much damage. Could get knocked up by the Nami ult. Look at yo, he's so quick! Oh, but River does disgusting damage. Oh, AP is dead! AP just got, gets cut out. Great job by River. But that's kind of insane. If APA didn't get uh, caught out there, I would have really thought that... Uh, 100 thieves had won that that engage. These are objective bounties too. How much can 100 thieves get to the action? Okay. Looks like we are River has played an amazing game. Without River playing like just to the best of his ability, I I don't know if 100 thieves would be even close. Like the fact they've been able to do what they they have been is pretty much all thanks to this brand. Jordy, he's got his three items. I feel like it was, I feel like it was also his three. Especially because top lanes got all the way up to the top turret. So it, it presents an interesting situation where you sometimes think there's going to be a pick. If somebody's got to go answer this top wave that we're seeing right now, 
then maybe someone straggler recall oh like the timers are also got, there's just so much movement speed when you have cloud drake it doesn't uh, seem that serious when i have cloud drake or in like solo queue and it's like oh you know off the game right i guess there, i have cloud drake like that's kind of cool no straggler watch it Watching some of these champions so move around like that, like watching Impact and Umpty just as Yone just walk around the enemy team and say like, "Do it, try it." I look at Umpty. Look at Umpty. The macro insane. This is Ronnie split pusher. They never saw it coming. Oh yeah, this is bit. so gross. Remember that because of that cloud soul, you're talking about these picks, talking about finding a straggler. It's that much. Oh, and yo, just so look at that. That was like an auto attack. Oh, great job. River actually found one. And uh, Yon had the exhaust for, but the fact that River found one is insane. Without the exhaust, Yon dies, I think. Alright, Sniper's dead. Sniper walks it out like a G. But Team Liquid has forced hundreds of Sniper is a monster. They cannot stand and defend that mid I should never count him out. Gone. I mean, impact. Spacing there from impact, even in the death realm, you could see it. So As much health. Oh. Soon, he backed up. I wish I, I, can I, how can I see how much health he has? From Sniper Look at him. Look at him. He, he, he isn't even built tank so items or nothing. That's just, that's just who he is. Plus the extra He's just so much health. Momentum that the rest of the squad was able to create while he was in You know, despite being down like all game, 100 Thieves has done a great job keeping it. I mean, Close. Great engage by Ayla. Oh, and the sniper follow-up is insane. Oh, it's all... Let's see what River can do. It, it, almost all the damage has come from River. Ooh, Yon's close. Oh, but so much damage. Teleports on top of the minion wave. Quid oh. makes his way back in time. Both mid laners now without the teleport. Good, good thought by, uh, like, that was instant by Quid it's seeing that and then immediately TPing back. But I was like, oh, is APA about to do something insane here? And without without anyone having TP? Maybe, dude. As far as the sample size, no he stole it. Way. Quid's crazy. Quid's goaded. He even steals the crab. What? See, Ez Ezreal's OP, guys. I'm I'm so for Ezreal. That's more more than Ezreal in the LCS. Like, like three kills worth of, uh, <laughs> worth of skill right there. Late game Scuttlecrab. Scuttlecrab, man. while it's dashing, by the way. Uh, so many junglers get juked by Scuttlecrab's dashing. Uh, that thing right back into the ultimate. That was like 100 Thieves Scuttlecrab. It wanted to go into the Quid Ezreal ultimate. But last fight around, we saw the chase down and... You know, the weaknesses of Mordecai are Actually, it's so crazy that they got chased down with, with the Cloud Soul. Okay, Elder so Drake's up. They're just bursting it. I, I'm i really expecting Umpty to... Wait, River. Wait, it doesn't matter. Never mind. They melt it. I was surprised that... Uh, or not River. Uh, I was surprised that Sniper wasn't ulting Umpty and then running him away as fast as possible. Okay. They have to be really careful of River. But River also has to be really careful not to get caught here. If River gets caught... Even even with Elder, I'm not sure if TL is going to respect Hunter Thieves all that much. And I don't think they have to. Baron's up in 30, so they have Elder for the Baron. They're able to grab the Baron. You could argue, even being down, all the turrets and uh, the open in hips and everything like that, maybe they come back. Because if you get the Elder, even when the objectives aren't. That was so good by Hunter Thieves. River's going crazy. Get the wins in the team fights. But if they are desynced, the Elder guarantees you are going to get the Baron. Nobody wants to fight you. Wait a second. Does it guarantee anything? They've got vision advantage. Yeah. They're going to try and... Wow, TL's just going for it. Advantage. It's so dangerous versus Elder, but they're going to burn it down now and hunt your thieves. If they don't face check soon... Yeah. Ayla, Team Ayla, Ayla, baby. Ayla, baby, what are you doing? 100 Thieves did the Team Liquid. Oh, baby. 100 rushed the Elder. Oh, baby. Liquid rushed the Baron. It's super buff versus super buff. That is insane. Have control over the mid lane. And right, because Elder's going to run out first, and Elder's only really for fighting, so now TL just has to play elder, safe, not pick silly fights. Be, be okay use their empowered minions to do whatever they can to keep them away from they, losing they really too many of their uh, is more like tier two top and bot side turrets. Even just walking into a fight I think that was a mistake from Hunter Thieves. They needed to play that way more aggressive. They needed to back and then immediately go over to uh Yeah, Quiz caught. Hey, Quiz caught. He came around the long way from the side. What a bonk by the Mordekaiser. Okay, that was actually pretty spicy from uh, Sniper. 
hundred thieves has to yeah because again without river being there and and engaging in some part of the fight tl just doesn't really have to respect hundred thieves with the flank around get squid i mean ayla yeah like ayla is a big part of it with the amount of cc that leona is bringing but they can push really river at least get two inhibitors yeah, they have Baron for the next two minutes. Elder's going to expire in 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. All Liquid has to do is wait that timer out. They can turn their attention to this bottom lane inhibitor during that waiting I think time. DL's going to end with this Baron. This I don't I don't think... Fast, and there even is, with Elder, uh, Elder lasting like the same amount of time as uh, Baron, I'm not sure if 100's going to be able to withstand the rush. Mid lane inhib is going to respawn here in about 30 seconds. We'll see, though. Impact again. Oh, oh, yeah. Beautiful by Yon. Oh, oh, the movement, everything. Is he got baited in? Great job by Umpty. APA is picking up a few of the straggling kills. Yone is actually making Lucian look really good. I was really skeptical. I feel like you see a lot of Lucian and Nami, but there's very few people who play it at the level where you're like, this is the, you know, the dominating laning phase that I expected. But Yon has done a great job with poor JJ, making it look like how I kind of expected to look. Both waves gonna be coming in about the same time here. Umpty making sure he stays mid so that that wave is permanently enchanted by the Baron as well. The first three pokes and engages have kind of been insane. Quid shoots off the true shot barrage, but it ain't enough to kill anybody here just yet. I mean, Quid does crazy damage with his ult. River. He's not going to have it up for another 50 seconds, though. Defend, but the super Empowered minions, minions with Baron. Super the minions Nexus with Baron. Team Liquid only has to kill the Nexus now. Ayla, yeah, look at that. Back in the picture. Oh, and Ayla just has to go for everything Ayla possible, and it doesn't matter. It's just not enough. Yo no longer has to be wary of any long range. Yeah. I mean, again, I think it was really well played by 100 Thieves, but I think it was definitely a TL-driven game pretty much the whole time. TL... I don't think TL really made a whole bunch of mistakes. I think 100 Thieves was able to really capitalize on certain passive situations that TL uh, kind of put themselves in. There we go. Always been uh, called out Let's for, see but here we go. So we're gonna Seraphine. get a little Ayla Seraphine. Uh, it looks like because okay. we passed okay. the twenty seconds mark, so it isn't gonna. I like All that. All right, that I is like that. interesting. Right. So let's see how uh, Seraphine can, can be really rough in team fights with her we'll ult, and she's kind of she can definitely so be a lane bully, I guess. Be with her of that. And Don't give over any. Decent sustain with a decent shield, really, with the W. I don't know. We'll see it. I'm excited to see more uh, Quid on, on Ezreal, just Ezreal as a whole. Series. Although Ziggs on... I always, I mean, it's my favorite part of I'm sorry, APM Ziggs is kind of just disgusting. And, like, really see what everybody's got is Yon. Wow! Man, Great is, job uh, by Ayla. In a pretty bad spot there. Had to pop the cleanse immediately at level 1. Did have yeah, to immediately pop, pop that cleanse. There, Honestly, without that, I might have been dead. Spell. Let's see. Ayla's going to recall. Yon is going to recall. Yeah, it's just going to be even time, even so. with uh, Yon without cleanse. Not super long lasting effects Maybe here off of it, soul. but no cleanse. We'll see if that actually ends up getting punished. It's a pretty short cooldown. It is going to be the standard here, though, for River, just like we saw on Brands. Start top side with your AP and tour, uh, clear towards the bottom side. You know, Umpty's but back on I this with Zyra. Sejuani, and Sejuani's always just as, looking good. <laughs> it's not as important as, like, Shaco, but the early invades to pop the seeds is always quite nice. And they're going to do more than just pop the wow, seeds. Wow, are they going to steal yeah, the blue from Zyra? That would be up. huge they're if you're able to do that. Core JJ is even Wait, Core JJ? But, uh, nice Q from Sniper. That was a nice little chunk. Mm -hmm. Alistair, so, baby. Like that. They're just trying to de aggro the buff. Just get it oh, wow, they did. They, yeah, Sniper they're, they're lane swapping. Calling. All right, just let it go. Let it go. River's going to go down to his other side of the jungle instead. Yeah. So they're just going to be giving up something up for uh, uh, Seraphine Ash. Starting on their stronger side of the map. Guess what? Top laners, you do not get to be top laners. You no. have to roam summoner's rift. Uh, and yourself, look for your true you poor purpose, things. Which is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, to help your jungle oh clear. top laner. Yeah, what was you? Clear or just trying to be annoying to enemy mid laners. Uh, Kasante can't. Be this is like a meta where the top laner so just goes mid and it's just like, is yeah. Gonna try his best. I'm not having a good to, time and I'm neither can you. Just got that level one unprimed in Tofo strike hitting nah. you for like, 75 look at, the, look at the top laners. Wait, go back to the top laners. Go back. Good night.
Get some sleep. I love you too. This is funny. But, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they doing? Impact just ran right by a sniper. They're chasing each other around. They know. <laughs> this is just, Wait, they why? They know the other one. Neither of them really have much to do, so. I mean, it, actually, this is not bad for though, sniper. Impact Sniper's going to be able to come down here and help uh, mid, pick up plates if they one. want to uh -oh. or keep people off from yeah, stopping go Meech and Ayla from picking up plates. Here, buddy. He's level one. Uh, uh, level oh, one. great uh, catch by uh, River. Uh, impact is oh, impact's dead. He's gonna try to get a. Uh, that was. Not that, good. That's payback that for last first, game, that buddy. That is first blood. <laughs> that is first really good blood that Quid got first blood, that too. Was... Check the PayPal. A regretful decision <laughs> from <laughs> our our previous game's raid boss. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's funny. funny. Like, I, Impact actually did have such a good game last game. I, I, All right, Impact. Let's it didn't see, look like he was lost, per se. It, looked, does at least it, it did kind of look like he was lost, actually. I'm trying to think of like a nicer way for me to put it. But it is. He was just kind of walking around bot side. And again, it made a lot of sense that Sniper was down there because Sniper, again, could try and keep people off meat or Ayla or something like that. Or could help take place. You know what I mean? But for impact Let's i mean see. was he maybe trying to go down to defend the turret but even do you die at level one trying to defend a turret game for impact in this one man if you're in this spot this just sucks you do not want to be feeling like this oh yeah yeah it's, it's, it, it, it is actually i was kind of making jokes about it earlier but actually really rough for top lane here that's not a sniper but like specifically impact we're gonna see another paper mache uh Sante, which happened last week with the uh, lane swap as well i'll hold the wave right in front of Tower, I and honestly, it. really well done from 100 Ds pulling it out here. Like, feeling confident and saying, like, hey, we're going to do this and try and stop us. Wait, tower. actually. APA versus quid. This it might have been TL. I, I'm not sure who technically initiated it. I think it was actually TL. In which case, rough, hit. dude. You're not, losing it. Not, the other mid laners in the LCS don't feel as enthusiastic about this pick as quid himself does. And then, of course, APA's signature champ. So... I want to see which one will Yeah, but Quick got the first goal, and I think, or uh, first blood, and I think that two is pretty other huge. Members of TL. Ooh, okay. cool, what you going to be able Come to do here? Out. Remember, though, Ezreal's really good at using that... At least you enjoyed it. All right, well, I hope we get some sleep. All right, everyone's going to bed. I might be up for a little while longer, I think. Arcane shift to buffer away from Alistar, and so the Alistar just leaves. Yeah, and in lane swap so, scenarios, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. A whole side we'll see if, if Quid's able to just uh, no. kind of take over this mid lane from here, but I don't know. AP is just so good. Oh, on that's it. so disgusting. The Ash Seraphine combination. Yeah, is the so slow with the Ash, and then it becomes a root with the Seraphine. And then it's so easy for Seraphine to lock you up. With that e and they were able to yeah. get some easy first but turret plates. Again, all the vision that you leave behind after a lane swap, like we're talking about, that sets you up to have a really great easy engage by Core JJ. JJ. Yawn doesn't connect there with his uh, little zap. Oh, look at the He's damage done to Yawn. He's coming around from behind. Meech flashing away. From I think that was a really good flash by Meech. Umpty almost really punished them. The 2v2 wasn't looking so great, but the jungle pressure ends up turning uh, things back Even the 3v2 is not looking that bit, great for TL. Nice return damage on the back end of the play from 100 Thieves. As They're gonna be on going to be on Umpty. Yeah. Umpty here in the try brush. Uh, force him back could be really rough if Runrev grabbed that. Back into his own jungle. Honestly, if they're able to defend, but Quid is Ooh, coming wait, over, Quid's so I don't down. Know if they will be able to defend. Goal here for TL is to, to soak the wave, but Rip, Quid is on the way. Here comes the Ezreal. All right, what not like a, the hugest D. wave, but it's also not necessarily play. small. But it's three from TL. Great engage by Core JJ. And Meech is just dead. The they got the ADC. The Protect the president failed. Three and a half V4 team TL is crazy. Just beautiful in games by 4JJ. And then so much follow up champion. everywhere. You don't have to, don't have to roam all the way down. Yeah, also, I don't feel like Ziggs ult is actually all that crazy range until I see it used in pro play. I don't know if Ziggs hit from all the way over there. I didn't see where he was on the minimap. Guessing he was obviously in river. I just don't know how much so. you get the best of both worlds. Juicy turret plate money. There it is. One more. Nice. And man. 
for Ziggs, it's even nicer because you know that once you get it low, you don't even have to care anymore. Just throw the stupid yes. sass charge at it, <laughs> and kaboom, you're going to be charge. enjoying all sorts of extra gold in those pockets. 100 Thieves was up over 1,000 gold before that play, but now things are Actually, pretty Actually, Quid much is barely up at all. Yeah, I mean, it, the entire team there. Look at that. To, like, Quid got uh, first, uh, first blood, but look, Impact he's up 90? For Team Liquid. Impact is still down. Kind of insane. Some, but it's not... It's not that crazy now. It's mostly like and on Esfield because you want to buy like uh, tier and whatnot. Annoying. You're not actually the break like point right now. That far ahead. Couple of seconds. Oh boy. Great he's, job he's so by Impact. Six, if Impact gets, like, I'm surprised. Mini, oh, yeah, oh, he's not six. Maybe. Or just bring up the boys. Right? Get the whole crew in there. Umpty Good chasing luck. after him. He's got his ulti ready, but Sniper's not too afraid just yet. He's made enough distance that he's. If, uh, up, flash, or not, um, there, if Impact uh, would have been able to able clear to that wave a little bit faster and have six there, right there Sniper's sniper super would be dead. In big trouble, so Ulting over that wall be into Umpty and Core JJ, again. there's nothing that's Sniper's going to be able to do. Those, and then and funnily enough, nice despite all that happening, somehow 100 Thieves is the one that ended up getting grubs. Oh, so it's you. Look, look at that. See? Look at that. Look at that CC. What do you do? What do you And the Gator gets... God, nice that that, that is exactly how top lane now. feels Umpty every day. That's pro top game. lane, by the way. They Only imagine how it feels around. at they a different level. That's insane. Let's see about the full clear for Zyra, though. Gonna end up down. Oh, people willingly side. play this role. Dragon, so. Hundred Thieves still have eyes on trying to play through the bottom side, through uh, the objective. <laughs> like, look at the farm here. differences down there, still too. Gasante has 37, Redek 49, the and you've seen the ADCs at almost 70, too, so mid laners at almost 80. Through those things, really cashing in oh, on exchange. what a rough metaphor. And I really see if Thieves tries to make they play really play good champions, too. Like, they're not playing like the, the, like the Quinn top or something like that, or Twisted Fate top. Nah, they're playing bruisers, and they're just getting Core JJ only just barely level 5. So there should be a window where Hundred Thieves has that extra ultimate advantage, and we know how. I wonder how aggressive Ayla and Mitra actually going to be yeah, into Kasate. Kasate still, was you know, full clearing that time while the top side play went out, got the level advantage, and should be able to have full bot priority here. So I'm imagining the next next scenario to be. So they know that Umpty's there. Do you think they still feel comfortable enough to just grab this Drake? Bottom side tower. So it should be like this delay. Yeah, looks like River started it. Four hundred thieves. Uh, I'm not surprised. Like, they kind of saw what he was doing. You, you kind of had the prio in every lane that matters. You don't have Actually, you lane even lane. have a top lane currently. No so you really do have prio in, like, every lane. Bot side game plan. So I think you just have to accept that 100 Thieves are going to wow. be able to get these. Really well done yeah, from 100 trick. Thieves totally so far. Under the control of 100 Thieves. Jan wanted to shoot one of the Zeri lasers in there and just see if maybe he could get a turbo random lucky steal. But it ain't going to happen. Drake I do that all the time. The Again, the most dopamine I get is when I, like, steal a Drake. Up, just a very, very small amount of gold. Umpty has that ultimate. Do they need to kill Sniper here? Oh, again. wait, Core JJ's coming up. Sniper is the target. I think, I think Sniper might die again. He knows what the and the Ezreal, be, too. Yeah, so oh, Sniper, you poor thing. APA, two kills now as Quid gets jumped on back here in the mid lane. Oh, these top Gone laners. Now look at Impact. Look at Impact. Really also getting goon squatted. They're just trading camps at this point. I mean, top laners, but they're practically camps at this point. Disgusting. At least Impact was able to get some, uh, you know, some flashes and whatnot. That's pretty well done. Jones looking good. Kind of looking like a little bit of a bot diff, I will say, in TL's favor. Yeah. That turret we are looking at. Plus, you saw in the split there that they also got their kill onto impact. So, both top laners really enjoying ABA lane swap. ABA uh, clears it. Uh, both O2 on the top lane camp. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, top laners <laughs> just have to it. love when yeah. he comes back into the meta. Impact's going all out. Oh, wow. They're really going in on River. They got them. Okay, Impact. Trade, but River is already down. Meech has the slows. Sniper needs to catch Impact gets up out here. faster if he wants to get a That's kill insane. here. That's insane. That's Kasante, guys. Gets his That's a tank. And he gets away. That's huge. And another taunt. Lots from of taunting. Impact, Impact feeling himself. Back to back games where he's spamming the taunts, even in this one. The rave he over here. LCS fun. going crazy. He punishes River for the flash that River used to kill him. Yep. Uh, in that long chase. I mean, River saw him so, in Prochen, too. He must have just not really expected Impact's, Impact's damage. However small, does feel very good. All right. Umpty. Oh, great Coming engage by Umpty. Again, it's, it's really good quick fingers from Quid, though. That was, that was great so dodging that. To buffer through so many CCs with, with the Arcane Chef. But uh, Yon and Core JJ 
going to continue pushing things out here back in mid. Umpty and APA both coming down. This could be a really rough Those are up, so, thieves. I mean, 100 Thieves aware. are like, okay, the if we get this, we get six. The positioning that they do off to the side here. Team Liquid's but look at, yeah, look at AP and Humpty. Oh, look at, yeah, look at the collapse. Wait, wait, no, that's actually insane. They hit Sniper, oh, and they kill him. Rivers dead. Oh, great follow from Quid, though. Makes it even here. Sniper barely so 100 Thieves got the, the four grubs, so they Team get the mic. They're going to claim two grubs overall. Honestly, Honestly, for 100 Thieves, that was pretty good. They still got to the four Yeah, that, that was not bad at all. Grab one to be able to get your like, they're able now. to get the enemy so Zeri. I mean, Yon has been playing really, really so, good. And, you know, they get River, one, but... Losing River, but still getting the trade kill like, there onto Yon. I don't think you mind that badly. Honestly, you got the, the four grubs. You, know, you got the one grub for that uh, for them. rotation. TL, though, since they teleport impact, or uh, APA down there, they'll be able to blow this, that These were up. deep TPs. Yeah. Let's take or this was a deep TP. I'm to just walk back there. It did look really, really dicey for 100 Thieves. Yeah. And, wow, and, and especially I want to point out that items perfectly in that here. vision. APA Look at this. Ludens, wow. APA and Umpty, there was actually no TP. APA also walked back so there. The and he's just dead. There's just so much damage. Oh, that's so he rough. I mean, great job like again by Quid, but... And he just jumps the small wall into the void yeah. Pitch, yeah. And the arrow does land from Meech, so they got their one-for-one one kill. And it's funny seeing... achieved. ADC uh, Ash, I feel like I see support so much so more. The, end of the, world the Ash here, doesn't look quite as good coming from the ADC because he's again he has two assists, but facing the one I, I mean I guess they have a second ADC deficit. to get fed, so it doesn't um, hurt. Definitely is a position that they can still clean look for some sort Oh yeah, of Core here, here. I will say on that, uh, APA on the Ziggs, get on that uh, is going to be really hard to deal with. I mean that's three kills for kill credit for him. He already had the Ludens for you know, the Again, Quid just has around. really good Ezreal mid games. It, it's insane to watch. To avoid since you have and like, nobody Alistar else is even giving it a try, but every time I see Quid on it, it looks really good. Bomb damage. Even last game with that, they, they kind of get bullied out of Quid just still looks fine. To owe this game? Yeah, you're down to farm from Ziggs, but. Everyone's down to farm a little bit besides Zyra. Great, great era of match. Takes APA down to half HP with Quid looking to follow okay, this quit. one up over the wall. Core JJ could have tried to okay, come quit. in, but decides the better of it there with a hex flash. Also, Quid the body bug by Auntie just walk it up and say, bye, bro. There. That's insane. Here. He's got his locket completed, rushed the locket, and stands still right in front of APA after he got hit by the Ash Arrow and is able to get him out alive. So well done, General Umpty. You think, uh, it looks like they're actually giving it up. That like TL knows that they're on the it. You saw people rotate up, but they're just saying like that's fine if they grab it. Power spike. River, though, it would have been hard to blow him off because their jungle is nowhere close. Focused on these objectives, always focused. So you have to either kill to River or like really the blow them off. Here. Right back into it. Does at least get the rift trail and immediately so that was pop old it too. Yeah, no, I, I think that's. Spawning here. The first one went over to Hunter. Oh, they're just going straight mid. They're not okay, giving it any time. They're, they're just rushing it in. They have four people there. They're saying, he stop find us. Something? I think they blue pinged him. Did okay. they see him enter that brush? Might have. Yeah, River sussing it out. Yeah, he's, he's aware something's got to be going on here. All right. Yeah, I mean, they didn't get the turn or anything. I guess they got decent damage on it. That Herald. Look at this cow here. Core JJ just grazing on the enemy <laughs> territory the entire time, but he gets found. Wow. Yeah, okay, Core JJ. Oh, here. oh wait, the flash with Quid. On the enemy mid. Oh, the Quid bounce from APA. Quid walks out. Quid walks out. Oh, what a monster. Ezreal's so hard to knock down. Thieves, died, but oh, so just so so many escapes the there. The arcane Forced shifts and the flashes. The and, oh. Quid is literally Neo dodging bullets in the matrix here through the glitches. Even got hit by the uh, first uh, CC. Core JJ's patience actually paid off. Yon has cleanse. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Core JJ's Core JJ's patience paid off there. They had such a good angle on the. Yeah, Quid, Yon has cleanse. Really changed. It. The arcane shift. But the Yon didn't have cleanse. Totally to different scenario. Liquid okay, but claim their dragon for their TL troubles. gets that drag. So again, there no real Liquid, quick scaling composition for uh, drag gold. or their position for drag. Drake stacking the game away from them. APA took a tower shot. Oh, sniper! With oh yeah. Uh, I think I think Sniper we kind of knew where that was going. Again, it has been really unfortunate. Series for the hundred thieves top laner.
Umpty, I feel like, is doing so much setup work this game. It's funny because this, this game specifically, it's not two. like Sniper's getting bullied by Impact. Oh, Last game, yeah. you could say could he was getting each. a little bullied by Impact. Up to his top but currently, side, so it's just... I don't even think Impact's it's, it's been in a fight <laughs> with this uh, with Sniper. Yeah, it's really just, yeah, he's getting caught by Umpty. He's getting melted by Yon. Umpty engaged by 24 uh, different side, people top to side that kill onto sniper and more money into APA you know, he's a bruiser but Ziggs is just loaded here another needlessly large rod the APA keeps on scaling APA Ziggs man yeah this, this I don't know this is, is so, uh so effective at just so 100 things is really really good but I, I still feel like it's definitely our favorite and looking at the gum it already has all the oh. outer turrets looking at the gold it kind of confirms that like they're not you know, a crazy confirmed, amount but i mean look at apa 4-0 one of one yeah, of his like signature no, picks no, 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 you have to just be you know terrified of the capabilities here on the menu if team liquid has their way 100 thieves we're gonna get some control over this top but, side I mean, river. There's nothing really the, uh, to fight for. Super spicy team the fight holds capable, you know, uh, capable again, with hundred thieves. Wow! And if that would have hit, AP is dead. Jones but instead, Meech is just too deep. JJ and Yon get the punish. Great team little bounce from Ziggs. So yeah, that was really unfortunate, but. Oh wow, Core JJ, Core JJ MVP. Wrong time. Oh, the cow! Wow, guess what? Impact is pushing. It's so much better than last week's cow. Last week's cow was was sad and kept getting killed over and over again. No matter who played him. And now we're seeing what a real Alistair is capable of. This is the this is the moo moo we've all been waiting for. So rough for hundred these. Fourteen seconds left on sniper. Those minions are gonna go into the inhibitor tower. Bunch of extra. Ah, that was great by TL. Slowly really just punishing gold lead flowers. <laughs> this just, game they were just a little bit so much too deep. I don't know. Meech, the early I see like he hit the old, so he's again, thinking like I want to. You know, we could really get this, with, especially with the Ezreal old. These like, guys are it, just out maneuvering but, hundred thieves at so many different spots. Mm, I will it say, feels a no little. You know, it's getting desperate, still, right? The cleanse gonna come up pretty shortly, so. Okay. If punish, might have to punish quickly, Lots of assists no right there. I see Core JJ. Core JJ just had a great a series. A little ray of hope for 100 Thieves. They need to get a good Seraphine ult to bounce Yeah, they, they need to have sniper. the Seraphine yeah, ult into the Zyra so ult weak. into so like the True Barrage. And, and of so course, fast. you're going to win that fight. But really even have any you kind of need something like that, like around Baron or something. Or at least drag. Yeah, you look at the, the difference in front line between the two teams. You've got Cassante, you've got Sejuani, Okay, I'm thinking got, got oh, but immediate all onto River. Everybody else on 100 Thieves is a squishy ranged champion. There is nobody else who can do the job. The one guy who can do it is set so far behind that anybody on 100 Thieves yeah, is a viable that's And that's the other downside of, they, again, they don't have a tank. They have a bruiser in an And, and he's dead. On the same Cypher is dead. Over and over and over. I don't, I don't, Renekton's not that crazy with the outplay, game, without man. turret, it's not a low level. In trouble once more, yawn and impact, they make yeah. it look easy, man. Um, he's hanging around There's not, not a lot he can do, right? The play for again, yeah, he, is, is, he has one item that, currently. Instead, Team Yon has two completed items. Um, oh, great engage. So engage. And impact is there too, TP'd right up. Oh, AP is so much damage. Okay, but Umpty gets caught. Quid also does quite a bit of damage. It looks low. I mean, pretty much everyone but Quid's low. It kind of turns into a one for one. Like a sniper died bot lane, but then 100 Thieves grabs Umpty hot. not there. The Zeri towards bottom side of the map. So they fight their way out in the 4v4 that's up there. Even with the teleport in from Impact, Nice job. That's true. Yon wasn't there. And Yon has some crazy damage right now with her two items. To actually take but really, I don't think they're going to be able to win any fight unless they're able to uh, jump on an APA. This time around. So he just feet. deals so much damage. And really, he's about to finish in his uh, in cap in the next, they didn't actually I don't know, three minutes, right? Yeah. Drags up. Uh, nice I don't know if 100 Thieves can even pretend to fight for this one. Keep team I guess they can posture, and really but them. So we'll see if they can how do are you can I mean, is there That's any point? Kill, but Let's grab mid. Your two -item power spike for quid. This is mid Ezreal gameplay now. With Flash available, with your Mura Mana I mean, Yeah, maybe try and quid chase down Impact. Dangerous. They do have to respect Impact. Quid on that Ezreal, which is why Cassante is a dumb champion. Serious heavy lifting. If 100 Thieves wants to bring this one back to even ground against TL, we got the Hex Drake. 
seemingly in the sights of Team Liquid. Sniper's all the way down to the bottom lane. That could be a flank, but again, so many times. No, Sniper should not be flanking. A flank I'm sorry. I just, I'm just seeing him immediately get turned and killed. If it's like an uh, umpty old just turning Perfect. around, APA dashing on him. Doing a great job. Just throwing down Maybe 4JJ just dudes. I don't know. I just feel like he dies so quickly. And the moment he dies, there really is no engage on uh, 100 Thieves without like a really good ult from River or Isla. The scuttle crab secured by Yawn. As River and Quid step okay, so Corja J was able to Corja find Sniper. But again, yeah, I, there's not a lot of Sniper can do here. The blast cone, ready to jump into the river as APA continues throwing out minefield. This 5v5. Okay, 100 Thieves. First in it. Oh, Umpty gets it. Honestly, I don't I don't dislike that for 100 Thieves. They made it 50 50, and sometimes that's all you can ask for, especially when you're down so much. I did say Sniper was going to die. I was. <laughs> Up another. I can't believe he engaged like there. Just I guess got caught is a better. I like that from Sniper. He he throws the or excuse me, not Sniper. <laughs> I'm gonna say now. Wait, hold on. What part did you I like? like it from Umpty. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Uh, Sorry, brother. Um, Umpty. <laughs> Umpty threw at the ulti onto River to stop any combo on the dragon. Yeah, I don't know. So I, again, again I don't dislike that play. W Solely for the fact that you're behind so uh, much. It's not a Drake that like matters there. too much. You don't have to. Force right, a fight, right. saying like, "Hey, it's we believe in yep. River yep. to you know 50-50 smite this," and the TL kind of being forced in that position of like, "Well, it's a 50-50 smite," right? Like, I I do right, really so like this from Hunter Steve. He blast comes over, then he throws out the ulti, and then he W combos with his smite. I wonder if River River should have been close uh, enough to Smite there, but yeah, that was a really good ult by Umpty. Well, wait, what anyway, was that from Sniper? Extra top lane camp as well afterwards, Flower. Core J J had been marking Sniper the whole time. Yep. You mentioned at, at the onset of the Sniper, dragon, Sniper had to dash in. It's not, it's, oh wait, there. they got the ultimate. It might have been a Q three from Impact, in which case just absolutely ignore me. But it seems like Sniper might have dashed in there. Yeah, the displacement can be so frustrating because you get knocked further into the Drake pit by the Alistar and then Cassante drags you all the way into the middle of the river and there's just yeah, no that way home <laughs> at that point. 10 to 4 for Team Liquid. At least for 100 Thieves, the gold lead hasn't kept ballooning. It was 3,500 gold lead for Team Liquid about five minutes ago. And I mean, again, really changed since one then. of the upsides so and one of the reasons I like 100 Thieves comps is because and more and more they always have them, that, that the time, they unlikely possibility of like a five-man Seraphino into the on river, absolute on most Remember disgusting follow-up ever team all pro back in great Spain. damage poke MVP. from quid hitting some shots here on the ezreal yawn sees the arrow coming sidesteps away from that one but still down so low on health has to continue his retreat with the arcane shift away from the wave but the mega inferno bomb was just yeah the old from apa is just Cor -J -J doing it again here alistar he is behind this is the line. alistar we're looking he for infiltrated the jungle who they know he's there. Or will it just be him? Is it a game Wait, over? They know he's there. For our cow. How do he just leave? They send out the hawk shot and they see him, but they can't do anything. Yeah, they're like, about so it. and and he's gonna do it again. You, you weren't even able to punish him. For a pick, as always, pushing up here through the jungle, the little roundabout. Meanwhile, uh, the engage from TL is absolutely disgusting. You know, and River kind of had this issue last uh, time with the brand. Back it looks where it's like, like you're, you're so... Here. Impact does have his teleport, so he'll get the reset. <laughs> you're so bundled right. into, like, right. we right. only Let's really have one good engage still, here. And not like, not like that's super Two bad all the time. And TL has just been saying, like, okay, we have tons of engage, and we're going to play Protect the President on, like, two people. And APA is just really good at it. And APA is going to hit another one there. Honestly, some good damage from uh, Team River. Get their pick. It's the enemy AD carry. It's both of its summoners. Sniper is dead. Just too Sniper deep and isn't thinking enough. No, no, no. He walks out. Never mind. Consider his he's different. As Team Liquid wasn't he didn't accomplish a lot. I mean, I guess he stopped TL from murdering JJ everyone that if that's what they were going to do. Gets the combo I, I didn't think so. The Bob to land there. Or maybe the fight just ended too quickly and he wasn't able to, you know, he got there a little bit too late. But yeah, Let's that's definitely better. No way here. River's gonna be able to do anything. Have ultimate, they so have to be terrified because Core JJ's been in their River, jungle all game. Core JJ knows he's here. JJ, Jump on him. Why was he gonna let him go? They're gonna try and uh, pincer. As well. Well, 
Oh man, Team Liquid's already. Uh, they, they should already have this one. Core, so Core JJ is dead. Or should be. No, no, no. They're just going to ignore Core JJ and try and kill TL around Baron. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, River's dead. So I think that my way of thinking about it was wrong still, now that I'm looking at it. Then turning to kill Core JJ. They do probably kill Core JJ. But the TL probably follows up and kills them. The other option is to leave, and I'm guessing they're thinking, well, we can't leave, it's going to end with Baron. So maybe it is like, hey, we have to fight here, and we have to hope that we are better than they are, and we're able to outplay them, even though that obviously yeah, is very difficult to do with their team comp. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe that's right. In my mind, though, I was thinking, like, no, Core JJ is, they are obviously have Baron. If you can just melt Core JJ right here, if you can just, they know it's here, and then they just ignore him. Hit him with the actual, Cypher turns around, and then Ayla River in an awkward spot, and this Cypher blast cones over, so Cypher was just, I mean, didn't decide fast enough, and by that point, River's dead, right? Oh, poor, poor, Cypher just all game has just been focused hard. That, that was really rough. Meech? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Meech and Ayla oh, great. Could be Dude, Upti has been uh, finding these amazing engages from Sejuani. Oh, they got Meech. Meech is dead. Meech doesn't have the kind of, you know, it's Ash. There's no dashes on Ash. And it's not like Isla's playing Callista or Nautilus for someone to get him out. And pretty quickly from this point. Yeah, this, this, is, this team, might be game actually right here. Like they have been on a war path since coming they're gonna back get inhib, they're going to get mid turret. They might also turn that into an inhib. So good. They've retained the learnings from MSI. And Jeez, APA, give him a My shot. God, Jeez. Man. That center super damage from APA. Yeah, Seraphine just disappeared. No e girls Ayla. in this Nexus lobby. Are the target, and, oh, great the engage by 4JJ. I mean, there's nothing they can do. There, there's just so much range on the carries with the Zeri and the APA as Ziggs. And then they're, they're just all tanky boys. Look at this 4JJ, Alistair. Sejuani? I mean, you know what I mean? Maybe the Cassante is a little bit weaker in tank. Or a little, a little less tanky, but even, even then. Dominating performance from TL. None of these games really felt like... You know, you could argue the, the game that won, but really, TL was in the driver's seat. This was a dominating performance. And a really, really good one. A really, really fun one to watch. So let's see. I'm not really surprised about this victory from TL. And then earlier... Yeah, you know, I'm surprised at how dominating energy looked against Immortals, because I didn't think that they were playing that much better in the previous weeks, but I'm not surprised energy won, but, you know, tomorrow, again, weird schedule, it's going to be on Friday tomorrow instead of the typical Sunday for day two, but, you know, early, early stomp, we'll be able to get warmed up with uh, Cloud9 probably just absolutely stomping on Shopify, and then the highlight of the week, highlight of the season, actually, I wish this was later, because this is, this is going to be a great game. And I'll look forward to it. All right. All right. So, again, a little weird schedule for the LCS this week. But it was Thursday, Friday, not Saturday, Sunday. So this is Friday. First up is going to be Cloud9 and Shopify. All right. Uh, I'm hoping for some great games. I think it's going to be a little one-sided. But, you know, we'll kind of see about this. And afterwards, I'm super hyped for Dignitas and FlyQuest. I'm really excited. I hope, you know, more than anything, I hope Jensen just has a wonderful week. Uh, but yeah, we'll kind of see what happens and go from there. Now I'm curious here. Still be flexible. Interesting that Cloud9 put his time into is kind of challenging Fake God to grab Cassante. During their show match against Fear X or Fox, you know what I mean? Saying like, hey, we're gonna grab the Renekton. You know, grab Cassante if you want it. And getting a more advantageous. And Lucian Mid is also super interesting. Zazel's been a player that people have always talked about. He has such good sense for the game but not necessarily the best mechanics in lane. Sure. So we'll see uh, if they want to try and punish that on the bottom side, and they might. If it's going to be a lock-in with Draven, then they definitely will. Draven Nautilus would be a massive kill lane here for Cloud9. 
Yeah. They have always had Oh, faith actually, in I'm more Berserker. excited to see Ezreal, like but it would have been. Kill lane, but Ezreal right now, oh. uh, always a very good pick into it oh. with the extra range. Oh. With the you post sometimes see, like, Quid specifically Shifting plays Ezreal around, mid, we'll wait and, and Corky can go bot, so mark, that would have been pretty exciting. Some of Quid's little Away we go. Has begun. Cloud Nine with Vulcan trying to get into the river here, but doesn't seem like any real level one shenanigans will happen. Everyone taking that five man posture. See, Honestly, again, so Maokai started with Bot and too crazy. Zyra didn't, uh, and I still haven't figured out when jungles are supposed to do that or not. To his camp so you can start spawning more seeds. Zyra always does benefit a little bit extra uh, if you're able to just wait around your quadrant of the jungle that you are starting in. Um, trying to get some more of those passive seed spawns just to speed up the clear, even Ooh. just a tiny bit, always does help when you're trying to race down towards the bottom side uh, of the map just trying here. To get I don't know. That was, well, they waited in place of water or anything either. Delayed invade, trying to see if they can get any vision down, but they don't actually end up putting any wards in. Yeah, that was super Before interesting. Before the game gets too carried away, I want to remind people that while Shopify Rebellion having a 0-4 start to the beginning of the summer split, this was the team that did begin the Pillar of Dominoes for Cloud9 to fall during the spring split. They were one of yeah, the first teams I, I will, that knocked what they again, believed was I, going I to have be the power rate first team. I have high hopes for every team always, but Shopify's looked really, really rough. Other teams during the spring split. And it's not like what, Shopify, it's not like... I mean, they you were know, the first ones they're to upset really them. doing well there was a moment mechanically in, in lanes, but they're struggling macro-wise, or you know, maybe they've had some great macro plays, but they're just you know very, falling very behind a little bit in lanes. It's, it's really been all of it. Everybody else, uh, so always have to keep that in mind. Like and specifically last week, Fate God really, really got punished. Trying to take advantage every game, like we talked about here with the Lucian. We'll see. B Boy, I mean, B Boy's played some good games. A tiny bit of extra damage. Even then, we'll have to see if there's any sort of early visit from a Malcolm as well. And insanity. Okay, insanity. Does he want to flash for the auto attack? The piercing light through the minions. Well played by Insanity. That was really well played. And that's what you have to do when you go for this pick here with the Lucian, trying to get the early advantage. Yeah, and he succeeds. I missed away. He missed a minion. Positive here for Shopify. Who have had a very rough start to summer split, though. and they have been pretty unhappy about their slow start. But insanity and JoJo honestly just TP back, and he's gonna miss like Malachi nothing. Better come over yep. mid lane. You better instantly yep. come over. Um, Tomio with flash. The Maokai is basically guaranteed to get onto Corky. JoJo has to be very conservative with his uh, W now to. Oh, I mean, Blabber is uh, have to yeah, get a lot more there already. Blabber, Look at Tobio. Oh, Tobio hasn't even finished clearing red buff, and Blabber's Shopify already that bot Blabber side after, for the dive, after thanks full to that clearing. Try bush. And because Tomio is already nice little wave the here. Side of the map, he's still not level four yet. Blabber and Vulcan might bully him off of this Krug, denying him that level up. But the fact that Tomio is wow. here ensures that Cloud9 cannot continue the dive. It does suck for Tomio, thankfully for him. Because he's playing that Maokai, he is playing that utility role this game. And he just needs to be there to make sure Zyra, that his lane... Brand, all these AP junglers behind. hyper yeah, clearing kind of makes it really rough for because you deny the level four these kind of well. more traditional junglers. Uh, stealing away enough of the Krug camp here. So it makes it a very, very dangerous when enemies have bot prio. Nautilus gets to roam along with the, the Zyra having the level advantage. So he's just making a rush for that crab. Doesn't want to get double crabbed. Has his smite and should be able to get <laughs> oh it. Oh my god. Wow. Him They're going to prove. Oh no, no. He has smite. Has the left flame oh, is he dead though? The does he just die here with that crab? Escape, has the CC to he's dead. Up. Wait, he and does. Goes for the jungler. Uh -huh. And first blood goes to Cloud9. Wow, C9 nine. really yeah. invested in it and it worked. Moment. As a jungler, you know, you're like, ah, I don't want to get double crabbed. You just kicked me off my Krugs. But you really got to respect the rest of the team roaming. This that is was Blabber's bread and butter game. I mean, play. honestly, I don't even. Blabber's crabbers are not going to. I don't even think Tomio necessarily they made a mistake that, or maybe did, one. maybe they just underestimated the, the amount of damage that they had. Valkyries away. That does. That was rough. That's so disappointing though for Tomio because you get this flash timer on Jojo Pion in the mid lane, and you imagine. And now, that now you can't do anything about it. Twisted advance to set up the kill for mid lane. He was very insanity is going crazy bullying this Corky. I feel like if you know that you're greening for that crab, I don't know, maybe you you save the flash and try to look for a guaranteed play because now. I mean, they haven't gotten a kill yet, but he's been able to consistently get a little bit of a lead to make that happen. in uh, I mean, CS. A lot of times when you're really frustrated as a jungler when you you're getting oh. kind of pushed out, but you really have to respect the roam time. Anatos wanted and this also matchup, so that top side is gone. He's making it Anatos, work. I mean, he's up in farm by a little bit. River, plenty of time walking all the way down the river 
And so huge punish because Let's yeah, see, Corky the, has tier lone boots and refillable. Early Let's see what mid lane okay, spell advantage boots refillable. now becomes much Okay, that's not bad. To, to actually Sandy's not really that far ahead with just a regroup bow. Value. So we will see get, like, the Cloud9 like that. if they're able to keep this up. If they are able to uh, transition this into some dragons, uh, I assume that they're going to try and use Bot Prowl here to be able to go start this one up. But it looks like they've got Blabber. Look at going that! Berserker is way map. up in farm it's from B Boy. Grubby time. Yep. Grab your grubbies first. They're way easier. Zyra can just annihilate those things. Only takes a few seconds, and then you can head back down to the other half of the map. Okay, both six in mid lane. Just trying to tank up this wave. Zazel forced to roam mid lane since Vulcan is already. I mean, Vulcan's been mid lane a little bit now. Can get the first wave but it's also he's playing Nautilus. Everywhere he is is just an issue. For the grubbies, and now Blabber should get the full rotation. Yeah, yeah. So and Sandy has been playing really well. Trying to answer uh, that it's a mountain drake. Those are pretty tanky and take a lot longer to kill than all the other dragons. It's by <laughs> far the tankiest, and so. They actually don't try and answer the grubs with the objective uh, answer immediately, and they go for deeper vision. Ooh. First. JoJo barely does escape from good the good damage from here, insanity. It's been a very honestly. If Zazel the wasn't there, so then I want to see if Cloud Nine. I mean, because of how low insanity is in mana. I mean, Jojo could have looked to try and turn and do something. The map, but Blabber is running on over. Zazel will block Blabber the entrance sticks. through the line brush. But yeah, they got to be careful. This is a very Oh wait, you're dead. Zyra, if he wants to pop the Strangle Thorns. They walk the into Blabber? Zazel forced the flash. That's so interesting. Insanity. Not needing to pop the summoner spell, B Boy is there first, so he can push Vulcan out of the river. I ah, yeah, never mind, I lied, I totally lied. The dragon that was, tempo. I, yeah, I honestly thought that Zazel and Insanity were dead. Rome because B Boy actually being there was a lot more pressure, and so. Hmm. They do kind of chase him out of the river, and Blabber goes back to the top side to steal the blue buff instead. A lot of uh, health bars exchanged. I was thinking here, with Blabber's uh, like ult and then E and everything the that they were just going to be able to Blabber's get the kill. To... Oh, he smited it nice over the wall. Nice job. <laughs> Barely gets vision. <laughs> puts the ward down. Really, really needed that one because Tomio would be crying. It's almost a full level advantage here for Blabber. Oh, yeah, Blabber this is rough. Been able to finish but I think this happens a lot in uh, Toby did not secure that one. the you know, uh, traditional jungle versus the these hyper clearing uh, AP junglers level. currently. That would have been extreme psychic damage if you don't. Uh, Thanatos is just walking up. Tomio, though, still very close to level six, so maybe he's going to be able to use uh, ultimate here to try and forge a comeback for Shopify. Problem is, it's quickly getting out of reach. Yeah, the gold lead. Just off of one kill is nearing that 2,000 mark. Wait, it's 1.5 thousand in Cloud Nine's, Nine's favor caliber against a team like That's actually disgusting. Still struggling to kind of translate what they're finding in scrims onto the stage. It's even tougher to try and come back from the stage. Oh, look at those! They both oh, dashed in. Actually, from Jojo Pion as he just goes in for the Valkyrie pulling, opened up by Insanity, looking for extra pick. Ooh, that was a little rough. Here. Jojo's just chunked to about 50% HP, but he's got bots. All right, next critical so thing to look Sandy. for is the push this on the This ADC versus ADC in the mid lane. lane Refillable pots and all. Everybody is coming down for possible dragon setup. Blabber here on the Zyra has his ultimate back and available. Cooldown has turned around from that early play. Now that the supports so they are, are ready and willing so much. to use it. Bot Prio achieved so they can move on. Like, look at this. Oh, poor Fake Thanatos God. Just, just getting, getting bullied by Thanatos. by himself. Fake God. Struggling under the tower to hold this Renekton off. That's crazy. Santos is now going to take the timer to back away. No teleports for either of these top laners, so no possible fight for the dragon from them. Yeah, nice job. Santos is just going to clear this and vision get into the, the plate, dude. Here too. It's so he's hard so for far ahead. Check, Look, he's already a th oh, he's over a thousand do, ahead. He's just going to get more ahead right here. Resets once again. And Thanatos gets another turret yeah. plate up here. This Renekton is the biggest gold lead on the whole map off the first kill onto tomio using that first blood oh i guess he did get first blood really, as well really, even without first blood uh, he's up 20 farm right now and getting so right like it, it's just really really hard well. for Sante to do anything I mean, into Thanatos this looking great so far but again he chose this matchup he's making it look amazing as well even though jojo lost that flash early on to insanity the prio gain from bot lane the prio gain from top lane allowed them to always be the first one to collapse into the river Zazel is oh, Zazel, oh, Zazel wasn't able to hop out. Was interrupted and he doesn't Let's have see, have... before the ignite is ticking down. True shot. Oh, he's dead. Berserker, Berserker, you're insane. <laughs> the sniper from downtown. 
Berserker's been off camera for the majority of this. Yeah, game. but he keeps throwing <laughs> ults into it's camera. Been roaming and uh, Berserker's just been farming and throwing his ultimate out to these little skirmishes. But the Ezreal's gonna be a problem. You know, this this thing, the reason it started to get so much more. Oh yeah, he's up in form right now. He's got a kill. Extra buffs in the, the last few patches, the ultimate doing more damage is really relevant. And so uh Dragon easily picked up here by Cloud9. It does seem like this one is gonna be pretty smooth sailing for them. Already over two and a half K the gold lead. Jojo teleports right back out. Yeah, I mean insanity has been playing well, but even now he's, he's now down in farm from Jojo. Jojo's up in gold and everything. It's gonna be really, really hard for uh insanity to be like the reason you win this game. They kind of have to now start to pray that B Boy is gonna be able to get some extra money. Oh, okay, Thanatos was just bringing Thanatos oh. under the tower. Thanatos was a little bit engine, too cocky there. there. Almost got really punished for it. Top lane side again. Yeah, and it, it is gonna still cost them the full six grubs. Cloud9 still have full supremacy over all of the neutral I mean, objectives. Shopify has game, that idea of like maybe stacking. No way, actually Cloud9 so, uh, got the first streak as well. The What's the Shopify? wink on here for Shopify? Get some money on Zeri, cause if they're going to be I mean, yes, Zeri the, scaling uh, is, is always here, uh, an out, but are you really going to outscale the gonna whole team to do from it. C9? And right now, we might need a little Especially because you're up against people like, uh, you know, Nautilus. Tomio just is hovering right below you and you in, a, in a team fight. You have to be really, really careful. Available. Positioning Jojo's has to be on point. Flash. Pushing out this wave, Zazel now arrived. Jojo has flash. Yeah. So, not going to be able to get anything here. He's just hovering up to his top side. You always want to play to your wards that you see right up there. So pretty easy stuff for JoJo positioning top half of the map. Uh, that's where Blabber is. That's yeah, where it's also are. sometimes no just hard to get Corky, I feel like, with this Valkyrie. That pass. But they got to keep trying. Got to keep looking look at, for the Look at this Ezreal. Surprise plays. Oh, he didn't stay to get any plates either. looking very tough for Shopify right now. You can I actually see really thought he would. There are moments when they want to make proactive plays, but either they don't have enough information on where everyone else is on the map, so they're too scared to go forward and actually just take a risk on that. But at some point, I mean, when does Shopify need to start gambling? They need to lower the risk tolerance and just say, hey, if we don't do anything proactive now, Cloud9 are just going to run away with the game. Yeah, probably, probably wait That's for a fair one thought. I wonder how, how much you um, notice that, like, in the game. a single item there for Zeri. Um, go for something like because they don't they don't uh, they're not able to see like that they're down 3k gold that, specifically that you know what I mean um, they do know that they're down so objectives for sure they know they're down some early kills like for this. sure yeah. if you aim for your first item even see so yeah, like they, they know some of these numbers I'm just wondering enemies don't have a full you know are they feeling pressured right now first one then you can hope for like your first little window for comeback plays there and play off your single item power spikes while your opponents are on one plus pieces yeah, well, Tomio has completed the Liangi's Torment, so he can now start setting up those saplings. And that's really strong objective control, at least making sure that Cloud9 are going to have a more difficult time of trying to get into these choke points, setting up for objective. As long as Tomio is the first one there, Insanity also with the Kraken Slayer. Ooh. It's pretty much oh, okay. up to these two guys if they can find a 2v1 pick, maybe a 2v2 on some of the squishier members of Cloud9, maybe there's a chance, but still. The wallet diff already has climbed to 3,000. The plates are about to end here minutes. in about 20 seconds. Yeah, putting up some uh, nice defensive wards around the map can can help sometimes because Zyra is oh, definitely... Oh, look at Blabber! ...can pop very quickly, but... Zyra oh, so far that was actually kind of spicy really uh, from Tomio. Uh, especially with Eing the in to dodge the Tomio W. Uh, at least Tomio does secure that one, I believe. Yep. Securing the grunt for himself, but it, it does seem like it's going to be really hard to fight the Rift Herald. For what it's worth, Tomio's not even that far behind in gold. It's yeah. it looks a lot just from the the CS numbers. He's only down 800 gold. Oh, gonna pull the trigger. The Ingrid by Zazel. I think that was actually he's amazing. Oh, Tomio almost down. got hit by that ult from Ezreal. Is B Boy able to do anything here? B Boy popping the barrier, front lining. Berserker's now the first one in as well. And Shopify. You know that was a great engage from Shopify, and they still lost. Health bars are too low, so now fighting the Rift Herald is zero percent so chance for them. Cloud Nine will secure another objective, also securing the double push on mid, here mid with the six void grubs. The mid turret is toast. First brick hmm. going over to Cloud Nine, accelerating that gold lead to almost 
just shy of 4,000 for them. And Thanatos has the pressure of his comrades in the river. They can look for a second. Thanatos has been disrespecting Fake God all game. I don't think he cared about the pressure from the comrades in the river. I think I think he would have done it anyway. Yeah, I mean, Thanatos with the uh, Black Cleaver rush here, too, trying to shred through this thorn mail of Fake God, not having any problems so far this game. The whole top tower so, is just gone now. Cloud9 has double um, Infinity honestly, Edge. Funnily enough, Shopify have He's no got his teleport or, uh, uh, up as well, so he can just head on down to the Dragon, secure the objective for the team, and Shopify, still have Cloud9 has two Triforce, and Shopify has none. Which is funny, I feel like you see so many Triforces in this, this current meta. Of three of these members, Four, if you include the coach as well for Shopify, yep. of being former Cloud9 challenger, uh, you know, players slash coach for themselves, oh, interesting. including Revan. And um, it really does feel like this game is kind of that, like, older brother, younger brother situation <laughs> so far uh, with the, uh, the Shopify former challenger uh, members on their side having a rough start to this one and Cloud9 really I get, yeah it, like it is kind of rough because i don't even know if a clean one you know we've had cloud nine victories it's not like cloud yeah, nine has they, been they just outplaying them ever series, they've been making uh, tons and tons and tons of great plays or shot has just been just making huge mistakes moments, you know, a you know what i mean it's really like one or two instances where i was like ah you know you probably could have done this better but this is going to be a clean finish because to me no shelly Full clean finish, almost a sweep. Yeah, I mean, I think the the goal for Cloud9 at this point, with how clean the first 16 minutes of the game has gone so far, I want to see how well Cloud9 can aim towards a perfect game. Not giving up a single turret, not giving up a single objective, not giving up a single death, because then Cloud9 can join the ranks of Team Liquid, who are well, that the top best team tower. In the I'm eyeballing the top tower objective bounty. He's TPing back it, to it. Thanatos is like, no. Keep your wow. hands off that tower. They're, they're actually like, they're, they're actually thinking about that idea. They're, they're like, oh, you know, we don't want to give defend, up this uh, perfect defend, game defend. right now. I mean, it's, it's also important oh. about the extra. Oh, wow. He's going he's in on insanity. Thanatos has the flash advantage over on top of him. He oh. flashes in place. He got him. Thanatos with the slice and dice takes out insanity. <laughs> At first, it seemed almost like a meme, yeah, like he was trying to stop the perfect game, but uh, he actually kills the sanity there. Thanatos with the teleport and flash invested. Put insanity back in the fountain. All right, that's rough. Steps here it was beautifully be played for Cloud9 because they just got a bunch of money, so you need to spend your money and then come back out uh, to continue to deny Shopify. We don't need to go over this replay uh, because it yeah, is pretty straightforward. Clean. As you mentioned, the only key part there that possibly would have given him an out would have been if he still had Flash, but yep. uh, yeah, of course he did not. So yeah, Dead I mean with dusted. Flash. Or if Thanatos didn't have Flash or something Cloud like that, maybe, but... Full stock of where everyone's yeah, spells are. Thanatos yep, is playing right. disgustingly yep. on this uh, Renekton. <laughs> I, I'm with you Where's on that chat? one. Let me, I, I know exactly. <laughs> I can picture the chat now. <laughs> I mean, Thanatos has been completely steamrolling the top side of the map since... You know, and, and one, not to... Not to all five plates really by himself. Try and bring this up again, but I feel like just Fake God in general has Blabber really struggled to the into a lot of, of these map, top matchups in the last couple of weeks. It has been a self-sufficient event Advantage that he's built up and when a Renekton starts snowballing like, like you this, could you could argue like against like impact where it's like yeah impact could you could argue is like the best LCS yeah. uh, top laner right now, right now. Let's, let's I mean Dentos is good uh, but I don't know if you're put, 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 Kobe. put a number put a number in chat um, and which is gonna be the percentage chance that you think Shopify have to come back in this game zero <laughs> let's, let's take a yeah, we'll calculate that and then we'll get back because we're almost 20 minutes, Rob. You know what I mean? Like that in a negative way, but really, with that, Cloud9 is so do dominant. Oh, like errands, up 5.5 thousand gold. Ahead, like Shopify. Yeah, if your opponents do co not come check because I don't know, Cloud9, somebody could disconnect and I, I would still plans, think that they have a chance. Them, uh, allows for some Everyone's just so fed. Quick Baron takes and double uh, Trinity Force users here on the side of Cloud9. They should be able to burn it down very quickly. So I'm assuming here for Cloud9. You should get some nice resets and honestly, hey, like their win con here is probably it, getting Siri a little bit more fed the blue quadrant and then Shopify's hoping that the cloud baron, nine the like obsesses oh, no, over something still silly like these ahead. perfect so game ideas and first before going for the reset so shopify will deny the perfect game from cloud nine jojo was defending the tier one on the top side of the map but he saw the rotation and the collapse from the rest of shopify squad teleporting the mid lane so we could yeah and i think uh, yeah we see we're so you see and i just playing like safe and smart life. like but they're gonna get this push in the mid lane and this will you can do. the priority necessary for that baron so i'm not gonna say i'm surprised but looking at chat the most common answers are zero damn and can you guess the other 
One. 69. Ah, <laughs> uh, fair, fair, fair. So Get your luck. mind out of the gutter, chat. Good luck, Shopify. They've got a 69% chance to win this game. And they denied the perfect game as well. They yep. got the top tower. Yep, 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 yep. Three. Shopify at least will have taken one turn for themselves. Yeah, and at this point I mean, that's good, I guess. To not, because so nice I'm sure it sucks to, to feel like them, you literally could do nothing. But still a 6,000 gold advantage from Cloud9. And you really, that we there's not a lot you can do, I guess. From their I mean, they have like the Rickard the hope well, of yes, like as Reaper Zazel with like a super spicy Rakan old W in around. And making sure that but do they even have the damage afterwards? Right with Insanity so and B-Boy. I mean, you know, if, certainly if you not yet. One of the bottom teams in the league, but late, later on, the performance maybe. You need to be showing and and aiming for. Yeah, it definitely is disheartening for for Shopify, but. Uh, same token, like you're talking about, you then turn your eyes towards how cleanly can Cloud9 finish a game. Yep. Because there has been some scrutiny as far as, uh, you know, some of the generous plays that they have uh, made towards their uh, towards their opponents and uh, some of the generous oh, plays. That hook barely misses, so Tomio does get the. That could have been now. rough. And, and that would have been Baron too if they got that hook. Moments here Actually, it might be Baron nine. anyway, just because of possibilities of turning. But you know, they're, they're, they're so far ahead. Board, and then they've got the possibilities. Wait a second, Dragon is also up. Do they re do they care at all about playing it safer and going to get Dragon first, or do they want to just keep forcing? That, that's a good like question. I, I don't know. Around. I feel like I would just Baron force Baron here line, with Thanatos like pushing bot and having TP. I mean, they, they like, I, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Get Soul to win this game, I think, for Cloud9. They're yeah. like, our timeline does not include a Dragon Soul. Uh, they're just going to keep the split push for Thanatos. Look at all these plants. Side. Blabber's been able to stock it up. Baron. I mean, for Cloud9, they, just, you know, they really need to just pull the trigger. The game before Dragon Soul is even an option for either team. And now the cloud I think they just do it, right? Yeah, look at this. And bullied Shopify from the entrance. Garden. They're going to now turn towards the Baron. And look at the force, as you already mentioned. Turbo juice. They just keep the Tomio out. The and then they got it. Yep. Down. There's just too, too gross, too disgusting. Here comes the engage. Tomio is in trouble. So Honestly, really well done by Fake God. Okay. That was really well done. Good little poke from Sanity. I don't think they're going to be able to follow up with anything more, but I mean, that was really well done. Any more kills. But they only get the one. One is better than none, though. So they're happy to get a tiny bit of gold, even though Cloud9 do get and the And now they could probably just go get, get drag, dragon yeah. As well. And Another soon they will be them. marching towards Flabber's still alive. Uh, at least Shopify were able to get uh, the one kill. And Flabber's smite, too. A tiny bit of cash for themselves. But yeah. Uh, it's not like that hope of, like, well, they just got Baron. Maybe there's no smite or something. The no, they definitely game. have it. This is a best of three. This is a full series here. Uh, you know, really trying to focus on what we can do to make this one competitive. Oh. Uh, Muramana transformations as well had come in. I don't know. I think Insanity played really, really good so laning phase. Nine will come uh, with the Baron. Start knocking on the Shopify door. Maybe have Tomio play anyone besides Maokai. That might, side, <laughs> that might help a little bit. And the rest of the squad here I suppose I've been unimpressed with the Maokai lately. Yeah. Ooh, good little plug there. And that's just this game, game, actually. I, again, it was like last week where it was like there was yeah, a lot of questionable ults. Number. I'll give them that. Cloud9, I mean, they have the tools necessary still with Baron buff on multiple members to push in through multiple lanes. Thanatos, because he doesn't have teleport anymore, will be joining the ranks of the team on this top push. And it's just Jojo and Thanatos curating the waves see, so Jojo has the TP. side lanes here and Blaver and Berserker and Vulcan have the option of shifting Oh look at the damage the Berserker just poking that down with the W. Yeah it's really hard for Shopify because not only are they so far behind but they're also outranged due to the poke that we talked oh. about in uh, Champ Select. Looking for a pick. I mean Tomio pulls the trigger it gets flash out of Jojo. I mean yeah you got the flash. Away to be jumped on. Now you're in an awkward spot so you can't hope for this bot side turret or this top side turret. Alright. Inhibitor is going to go down probably for sure here as yeah. uh, Jojo comes to support the rest of the team. Great hook by Vulcan! And Zazel's dead! Wait, that's insane! That hook looked like it went so far. Oh, that is disgusting. Is this just game? Yeah, Thanatos going in there, stunning B-Boy. Wait. Wait, what was Tomio doing? Was he trying to do some kind of push mid? And the rest of Cloud oh, what was that? Will continue the pain. Game one yeah, that was pretty dominant for Cloud9. Cloud 
Oh, not a lot of hope there for uh, Shopify. Wowie, uh, you can't take away any points from Cloud9 for that one. That one. I mean, guess it wasn't a perfect game, but real mid instead of the it was mid. pretty dominant, well, that's for sure. Let's just check for out the draft really quick. Fans, the expectation should be so now Fake God is on Renekton. Fake God was on Renekton. Really Insanity. Do wow, they're going to try the uh, the see, quid uh, special with Ezreal mid. B-Boy back on Zeri. Zerka's on Ash. Zerka's on Ash. Oh, C9's draft is so good. And Tomio's back on Maokai. I get it. I really do. But And we've already seen how well Blabber has adapted mm. to this meta. The so those champs okay, have Berserker, I see you. Try and go for, uh, you know, champs. I know, I feel like him down, uh, but we'll see Tomio's once again is going to kind of get bullied in by this Karthus. The super on fast the clear side, actually, AP jungler. And, deep ward and I know Fake God's on Renekton, but I don't know if he's going to have the same success that Thanatos did. Very, very aggressively. And Rek'Sai is so strong, guys. Well, they're going to retake here with everybody, it looks like. They haven't left yet. I mean, they, they see Zazel and Bevoy on the blue buff, but now that Tomio has joined, go. the Zerker and Vulcan wrap around, but they were spotted on this, so Shopify have full knowledge that the duo lane is going to try to harass them off the blue buff, but if it comes to it, Tomio can use the smite and secure it, but it does slow down the clear, and it slows down Zazel and Bevoy's approach to the bottom lane. Yeah, that's... With those do they, do they want that blue buff that badly? Try to answer on the top side. Yeah, and it, it, it's really annoying because... Uh, well, they're you know, they're just trying to match Blabber as much as possible. take a little bit, but it also makes you go over to Wolves instead of immediately over to Gromp. And like you're saying, Blabber this whole time while you're... And now you're going to yeah, you're gonna lose your entire top side. Him, Karthus clears faster to than you. Take your quadrant, and you run into this problem as a Maokai where... You are behind a jungler that clears faster than you yeah. and beats you, so, uh, you know, one for one, one versus one. So like, your options are so limited that you yeah, have to. Rely I just don't on love the Maokai pick. We'll see though. Like, again, I, I don't and know what I'm your talking laners about. Your have to be winning in order to do that. So we'll see what he does because uh, right now it's tough for Tomio. Uh, the defensive ward I want to point out on the mini map right now as he crosses. Okay, so this time JoJo's right forcing here, we'll insanity in the back. You're playing into cloud Nine's hands. And so he throws the sapling, smart for him. He doesn't just start them up because he, he's well aware. And Blabber's gonna be able to defend his Raptors and take the other side now. Yeah. Tomio gonna have to kind of wander hoping, around. Hoping to get this Krug as soon as it spawns and you that Blabber goes for the bot one or something. Batching because he has nowhere to go. So Blabber goes back over. He knows that Tomio's <laughs> going to this side now to take his wolves. And Tomio has to rely on Renekton to try and wow. help him get a single extra camp in the game, and that camp will be the Cloud9 Gromp. Gromp. Yeah, because yeah. that's the only lane that he was able to get Pryo through. Jojo Pion took a massive trade, that's forcing insane. Insanity to recall and teleport back to lane, so he cannot actually invade through bottom Bla side. Yeah, yeah, Blabber is, is absolutely stomping on Tomio right now. So I don't Tomio, think it's all I mean, Tomio's fault. Thankfully um, for him, he's able to get the Gromp back. But this hmm. still puts him behind in terms of the pace, and Blabber is still accelerated. Yeah, you basically, you get your Gromp plus Crab plus your own Krugs there, but your camps are so out of order. That's actually really uh, good uh, map movement too. by it's, Blabber. Uh, it's definitely hard for him to Like, I know it's, it's pretty much over now, but like, even in the er Blabber earlier on, like, going up and grabbing the enemy and, uh, uh, does have his nice Raptors in red and then going the back down so to clear your own stuff. Like, I think that was really well done. Bottom side, doing a lot of work for him too. You know, Vulcan and Berserker were able to shove in and get the early recall here. This is your quote-unquote Let's see, Fake God's gonna have prior early on against Thanatos just because it's And Vulcan even pulls the wave, so Shopify now, they know that if they left it alone, their wave was going to push out and away for them, so they have to annihilate this cannon wave. And this is plenty of time for Berserker to get back with his nice little buy, the recurve bow already in his pockets. Uh, it is a cannon wave, so he's at most gonna lose like one melee minion, and Vulcan <laughs> actually going in here. Try and mess with them, and then he should be in range for the volley even to get his cannon. Ah, uh, even job, gets Vulcan. the execute from Vulcan. So nice, nice little team. Yeah, work yeah. yeah you, all that matters is getting those cannons. Where you come back with your recurve bow ready. <laughs> all right, and Sandy, let's see what you got here on the top side to play for the second rotation of Raptors, making Ooh, sure that Tomio that's a is just blabber. bled and choked out of this game through economy. I mean, we know that thankfully for Shopify fans, that, that Tomio is on the right jungler now. again this game, but still giving over free gold over to the Karthus, who is just going to continue accelerating, and if you don't have a chance to make any I mean, they're actually the map, even with CC, and it looks like uh, Tommy was about to get ahead. Well, at least it is better. Uh, it seems weird that they did, like, the the, it was so, this huge sure, thing, and now nice. <laughs> it was ahead in gold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no first blood given up. 
Uh, although with the Ezreal pick instead of the Lucian pick, like, I don't know how long that's gonna be. Look, right? Maybe uh, Flabber's just gonna uh, get like a big you know, clear right here, fine, and it'll, but it'll it's look like not nearly uh, as aggressive ooh, as the Lucian being able annoying. to jump uh, in and make such great job, JoJo or Vulcan. Lights. Great job, Vulcan. And well, nice little job here. JoJo's gonna collect this wave and have it pushing back towards him. What a huge wave! Melee, so small minus point here. <laughs> but is going to have a, a really nice Wait, that's situation. actually such a huge Sandy's wave. got no teleport, so you're just like, all right. We keep our wave in mid. It, it, it just evaporates your cannon wave that was sitting there. Yeah. And uh, JoJo's going to have a nice wow. little advantage for himself. Plus, he already had his tier stacking, had his tier buy. So he's got the lead on the tier stacking. And then C9 he's getting got the dragged. Lead yes, he's got the lead in the jungle. And they're going to trade it for Tomer getting grubbed. Everything grubs. is looking great. Yep. Blabber went for the first dragon on the bottom side of the map. Tomio, because he has Pryo from Fake Gods Renekton, can look for the first rotation. Oh, Jojo's going to be able to push out of Sandy so bad here. Jojo 6. Nine. Even though this is against one of the bottom teams in the league, the evolution that we wanted to see from Cloud9 from Spring Split is just having these players play more together. You're seeing the evolution already come through in the Summer Split. Vulcan is taking more roam timers. Berserker confident that he can handle himself in the 1v2, doing it well in sync so that Berserker's never under threat for too long. Blabber and Vulcan also playing more around Jojo Pion's laning phase uh, has allowed really Cloud9 to hopefully translate a lot of those advantages. Oh, wait, it's going on bot. Game. Well, this is nice. Okay, There's Vulcan, I see you. Here, so oh, I wow, okay, Berserker. Blabber's coming. And Berserker is level six, a huge chunk. The flash for oh. the is sinking down. That should be first Vulcan, blood Vulcan first blood. Oh, and Vulcan is so low. Well. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, pop your pots. Now Blabber is here, level six. B-Boy, good luck over oh, there. Oh, Vulcan, Blabber I don't know about this one, G. Stop off and take the blue first. Ooh, that'd be quite nice. Get a little bit of uh, extra cooldown reduction before you do your first ultimate. Grab the blue. B-Boy giving nice respect. Kind of backed off a little bit there. <gasps> Whoa! Good, oh, good move, good move. Insane. We'll see Vulcan's actually insane. Crab vision. I absolutely would have got stopped right there. JoJo's coming for some hide and seek. Tomio's level 6, though, uh, and has flash, so... And a blast going to play with. Does Tomi want to play for this? He has collapsed from insanity. Jojo Pyeon might have gone too deep. Oh, it's Jojo too deep. Lock him down. Nature's grass for the no, further room. He's never too he deep. Gets the flash I mean, to be fair, that's their own jungle. It's hard to be too deep in your own jungle, See, but good. Trade good job by Blabber right walking there. up. Getting no flash on Jojo again. This is something they achieved in the first game, but we're unable. Are they going to be able to now punish Jojo for not having flash? Kill, right, that's the question. Uh, later, but maybe this time around they can actually get to a be kill or not to be. That's the evolution we want to see from Shopify this game. Exactly, exactly. Rest of the Cloud9 team does come mid though. Jojo does not go for the recall. Cloud9 is about one chaos. Wait a minute. Looking for Jojo Pion. Puns Vulcan right back. He still has flash available, so he's oh, gonna be in danger. Great job by Zazel. The first battle dance cast, but still Vulcan has enough mobility to escape. And these wards too, they left behind. Do see you know, Rakan has not been looking so like Lacron looked a little bit rough last game. Looking a little bit better this Vulcan. game, but still kind of just looking it's rough. Zombie ward for himself, and should be a arrow. Oh. Nice. Right on nice little catch there. No oh, he's, he's Here dead. Here comes the Requiem for a little bit of extra damage. No, wait, let's see. Is he going to be able to walk it out? Range. Vulcan leading for another grand entrance Keep from going, the Nazo, potentially. Just the auto attack. Oh, and your ground beef. That's the rough. Kill over to Berserker. Berserker the Sniper. He has had a pretty strong career in North American LCS on Ash specifically. That was, a, that was like an uh, instant uh, ult by Blabber really too. That was heads up. Uh, arrows as well as All right, Tommy, let's see. Oh, good so flash by Thanatos. Cloud9 pretty happy with this one. Bottom lane doing a lot of work. You mentioned they're roaming, uh, but it's not it's not even just Vulcan. Berserker getting in there too. Getting his hands dirty. The closer uh, Ash arrows. Look at the difference in farm right and here from Fake God and Thanatos. Nice. I think it's going to be nice reduced here, but too. it's still... They had Jojo go bottom I mean, 25, since Berserker 20? spent his time roaming up to mid. It's currently uh, 20. I think it's going to be a little the, less. Uh, little it's going to be close to like 17, here. 16. Yeah. During that time, Tomio showed on the top side of the map, and as soon as he was in vision of Thanatos, immediately respect Flash, did not want to fall prey and give Fake God a larger advantage than need be. Definitely do not. The Renekton with the CS advantage and trying to make the most of the pick. Remember, we should also include the Gromp take. Uh, the Blabber's the still up a little bit in gold. Renekton was the whole reason. Yeah, Vogue, well, can you get that ward? Gromp, so. we'll give you him tell B-Boy. Uh, on that CS leap. I mean, Shopify just... The fact that they uh, up in 30 gave seconds, the Skarner over up in so a that minute. they can guarantee some priority with the Renekton counter pick in the top lane is one of the only saving graces for Shopify Rebellion so far this game. They haven't been able to make a huge advantage off of it, but it's not 
They're not bleeding gold like they were at this point in the game. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's definitely they better. I feel like every game side, two has been so a little bit better though. I mean, that there's that exceptions, the but Tell me I feel like in general, around, game two ends up being closer than game one. A little under 40 of these styles. As they try and oh. saplings and as many brush as so they can. three bot. Great oh, engage by Tomio. All of all Jojo. Jojo just got out. And I don't think Jojo Pyun was respecting the all in. Yeah, that was really good by Tomio. Punish there from Tomio. Flashes on him. They do. Improve on the and Sandy's game. gonna get some plates and here as well. Actual kill scored Great cross map Jojo by Blabber. Earlier, nicely done there for Shopify, getting the gold into the hands of Insanity. Plus, he's able to get turret plates afterwards. This is exactly so no mites the for anyone. They, they need to get some more money in him and B Boy. See if they can Sandy's turn this one into the dragon. Some, uh, used all of his mana up on gold those here. So should be able to get themselves a dragon too here. Oh, Shopify. they're gonna grab the drag. Shopify. Hi, right, Shopify. I see you. A bit more signs of life in the so no mites for either team, but series. it's also going to be one one drags. Cloud9 are going to try to challenge. Gonna have the uh, Cloud9 Cloud stacking of drags. Going to be a little bit less. While the rest oh, of Cloud9 nice. follows up, but Shopify escort themselves safely back into the jungle. Yeah, nice little slide over the wall there for uh, for B Boy as Ash Arrow is coming in. Good improvements here from Shopify to make the game much more competitive than number one. There All right, Thanatos, what you got? Uh, gold deficit. You can get play here. The Skarner here is going to provide a lot of leave. CC right? uh, and control for these dual carries of Blabber and Jojo later oh, on. Oh, that's rough. So definitely they were able to pull still some more back danger so much. here for Shopify to have to deal with. Despite Jojo getting caught out, he's just such a menace right here. 12 minutes into the game, two minutes away from these rift or these tower plates from falling. Shopify, the fact that they were able to get three grubs this game, a dragon apiece as well. They're in a much more competitive state and still playing off of the oh, fact that Jojo Kyun for, well, actually only for a few more seconds before his flash comes up. But those are the type of plays where Shopify, as soon as you know that timer is available to you, you cannot hesitate. You have to be proactive and be the first ones making those plays in the first place. Yeah, I think the next thing we're going to look at as we head into the mid game here is that the difference in composition. Blabber hasn't really been ulting a whole bunch. the ease of getting picks. But he does Pop already have the. Uh, very, very easy. The since they have super English, long range so... and versatile ways to get picks with Ash Arrow plus Recon and Scarlet. Oh, I'd be so annoyed about his B Boy. Shopify it's much more dangerous. Oh, I'd be um, heartbroken. When Zazel goes in for flank possibilities on an Alstar, every time it is extremely dangerous because you have to be so sneaky. You have to be very diligent about tracking enemy wards. If they see you, then you become the prey. Uh, and if you don't have a flank, then you're just not going to have oh, the just getting more free to plates down here. get your engage since Cloud9 do again have their little bit of a range advantage. Oh, so, no. Uh, the next difficult not quite able to get the plate. Uh, thing for Shopify to overcome is going to be that. And so it's very Actually, critical they, they that they the try plate. and get some vision Dude, advantages. Dude, he's got a free play bot side. Try and get those surprise angles so you can get a Ooh, good Malachi ultimate. what a melt right there by Blabber. Get a good Alstar, um, you know, snap engage, Ooh, oh, flank oh, combination. Those smelling good. Because otherwise, Cloud9, they get the choices, right? You know, yeah. they get to say, all right, Berserker, you've got your Fog of War. It's a great time to fire some Ash Arrows. Or Skarner comes at you through the walls. So I shall be munching a little bit. But away we go. Surprise, or Rakan comes at you from two screens away. Yep. Surprise. Look at Blabber just clearing everything. And Blabber's got the insistence. Big God's in a little bit of Thanatos trouble here. Oh, with an old. Interesting old. He pops a Requiem. I wonder if he was just trying to farm a Dark Harvest stack or something. Mm, yeah, it doesn't oh. look like anyone's very low, but they're a little early ultimate sometimes here to prep for a dive. Uh, getting a harvest. decent amount of damage. Fake God forced to pop the Dominus and spaces out the Cole of the Meek. So, uh, nicely done. Just that enough chunk damage to force the Renekton off the tower. True Shot Barrage will attempt to kill the wave, but Thanatos and Jojo Pion have enough damage to take out the tier one. There you go. The pressure early. He's under tower. Lay on the ult first. You got your Leandri's burn started. Chase him down and. He hit enough cues to grab a Dark Harvest on so the way out, so you get your talent, you get your Rift Herald, try and, and Cloud9 doing a good job of like, pushing the game fake state forward here. Even though they will the, sacrifice uh, the bottom follow -up game. Uh, outer tower, the fact that they got the Rift Herald means you then get the advantage on okay, getting Okay, and Sandy's going to get a tower, tower down here, though. Much more and it's going here to be uh, mid-Ezreal, so that's mid really good. So they'll be able to have that Rift Herald push for a mid-take. Yeah, and Shopify. Answering on the bottom side of the map, making sure that they are not falling too far behind in gold and objective advantages. The next dragon is going to be spawned 20. Baron's still not going to be on the table for some time. 
we're at only 15 minutes into the game. Cloud9 getting resets off of their duo lane at the moment, and that should be first items coming in as well. So everyone on the side of Cloud9, so very strong up. point. One item spikes. I imagine this is the Cloud9 time where they're going to start pushing that vision though. line deeper into Shopify's. Wow, look at that! It's all blue down there. Pushing them off the dragon. Look at this. All right, so Shopify this now. You've got disgusting. both your teleports ready for a counterplay. No so one's down. They're looking at bottom side currently, since dragon is coming up uh, shortly and trying to make use of that bottom tower being down, maybe get some deeper vision through the jungle. Then you can get those surprise plays we were talking about for the Maokai, for the Alistar. If they can get a good, uh, you know, setup, a good angle on the fight, then maybe you get your snap engaged. B-Boy here though, still looking for his level 11. There you go. Got the rank two ultimate. Oh wow, what an engage by Zazel. Blabber's there as well. Anyway, the lightning crashes popped by B Boy and Vulcan dashes back over to Blabber for safety. Berserker was taken low, true shot. Good little ult from Insanity. That was really aggressive from Zazel. I'm guessing they didn't see Blabber. Even Blabber looked confused. Blabber, like, at first continued to go to Raptor. They have vision on the bottom side of the jungle. They might still be able to play for this. Interesting, Berserker does not back. They wanted to do the Rift Herald mid play. Uh, immediately, so Berserker. They go Vulcan. He did save his flash. On okay, the so they got the mid turret. Though, so still had that to survive with. And then the Thanatos is going to get bought. Over. It looks like He's it. Join the squad yeah, they should. Burn to teleport, but Thanatos is working on the bomb really well the played well. by so Cloud9, Cloud Nine, just absolutely the dominating. They still get two for themselves, and they're going to just grab Drake. Control of the, the the river and the dragon. They certainly do. They can easily push up mid Really, and really well bottom. played. And, and Blabber has ult, doesn't he? Away, yeah, he has Requiem. Huh? Uh, so I feel like Shopify can't even setup. take a step forward. Shopify, are they going to go for it? Tomio ultimate. Oh, wow. The so the ult comes out. Tomio ult, though. For the initial burst of damage. Does get some people. Two shot barrage going in. Zazel's engage. All right. Great job by Fake Up, but he's just melted. Oh, the Rek Sai! Oh, and, and they happen to get B-Boy of all people. Just wasn't good enough. Great Clean job by Thanatos. Here. Comes in on the side he the was getting bullied in lane by the counter of uh, Renekton. <laughs> Thank you, Flowers. <laughs> flowers, flowers ganks us uh, from the left side. Thanatos oh. ganked them from Captain the right Captain Flowers side. always right. Uh, but it is, you know, the, looking the, strong. The, the attempt. Zazel, you see him on Let's the see, how does he get B-Boy here? Great engage by Zazel. So the rest of, of Shopify try to follow up, flashing Actually, forward, it doesn't even look like Thanatos aimed for B-Boy. It looks like B-Boy just... Oh, wait, the flash! So Never mind, I was wrong! That was perfect timing. I didn't see the flash. One into the wall and then is able to ultimate to grab Really well done. For the extra kills and Cloud9 right back to pushing on both sides of the map. Kobe, this is very tough for Shopify. And at Cloud9, I mean, being able to show their dominance once again, that seems so good for Shopify the way the engage started off, but just quick reactions from the back line of Cloud9 being able to dodge up on the follow up from frontline members of Shopify. We now have a 5,000 5, gold advantage 5, heading into gold. the 19th minute Sub of the 20 game. Minutes. Two dragons to Cloud9, and they have full control it of the top It looked close a little bit, but now yeah, it's... it's a couple small things. Again, where it's we're, really we're early game, things but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like Cloud9 is just with, uh, dominating this whole time. You know, all of them rotate to the Ooh, bottom good side. exhaust by uh, B-Boy. Good ash ult from uh, Berserker. Dragon fight, they, they hug the bottom side where... Engage! Okay, with the TP! They're really going all in here! They feel like they need to get something here. The Tomio's immediately melted. Oh, and Thanatos is just looking so strong. Jojo Pion finding the kill Oh, Rek'Sai's looking disgusting. And I think they just lose mid here. He didn't pop out this time. They're Not quite. Okay, they didn't have the wave for it. <laughs> but then it does have a nice little uh, ultimate first there. And the E is always so nice and easy to use if you're just right next to them. Uh, quick little insta E into the wall. But yeah, it's uh, it's just desperation times for uh, for Shopify. So they're like, you know what? If we ever see an angle, we're just going to full send and, and, and hope for the best at this point because completely bleeding out the game. And a full credit to Cloud9 for bleeding them out this way. Yeah. They keep on removing the options here. They're really doing a good job with uh, honestly, even know, though early picks it didn't work out. I don't blame Tomio's engage at all. I think Starter, that was a really, really uh, good thought out and thing again, to do. To say, Twelve even though it is later in the draft, but uh, having I mean, we down six k gold or five k gold. And Vulcan it's hard. on the Rakan has just been uh, 
quite a godsend for them. I mean, the, the early roaming and uh, map influence that these two had, really allowing for such a smooth uh, scaling game here for the other two carries is set themselves up so that at 20 minutes, we again are looking towards the barren area of the map as objective bounties have spawned here for the side of Shopify since they are so far behind in the game. And yeah. Cloud9 once again looking for their own moves. Shopify committing the Sanity teleport of Insanity to join on the top side of the jungle. Cloud9 don't have Blabber on the top side quite yet. They're going to look for a pick on him, but he has flash and he flashes wow. just to get more distance so that Shopify could not follow Thanatos up on the play. Flanking. They might want a little piece, but Blabber's so far away, yeah. I uh, don't want to complete on that flank, you know, but he did a good job pushing in and then uh, Karthus the and Zyra, they don't have the same kind said, of hey, we're gonna head over you know, towards ability to melt Baron. We know they have but no they, they do still melt it just being up with Maokai so much gold. Is like the main thing that yeah, Shopify they just grab really it. Banking on to, to make that comeback team Shopify doesn't now know what's going on. Four. Oh wait, they do, they have a control ward. They're just not able to, they're just not getting there. First damage to start off the fight, 3k HP on the Baron and the So they had full vision and they just grabbed it right under him. Great job by Vulcan. To take him down. Cloud nine will be able to Maybe they just thought that they weren't able to compete three. anyway. That was super early for uh, Ezreal and everything Shopify. too. Interesting. Like I wonder what the Shopify thought was there. Shopify cannot do anything, Rafa. Cloud nine taking away all their options. Baron buff again, and we're saying uh -oh. it's only 21 and a half minutes in. Okay, Thanatos, I see you. turns that crocodile into boots and a bell for Cloud nine. And I see take you. Money back to the bank. But they're content continuing the siege against only three members of Shopify. The only frontliner is Zazel. And on this count, I don't know how much he's going to be able to achieve. Tomio has respawned, but the tier three is already destroyed, and Cloud9 will take the prize. Yeah. Uh, they want to go back to the bank, as you said. <laughs> they they got to spend that money. They've got so much cash. They're like, what do I do with all this cash, Rafa? <laughs> I go get some more luxury items. Uh, maybe Jojo here gets a little fancy. He's got his flash, though, so. Yeah. Uh, probably at best, they would be able to get a summoner spell. Not even 10k get that. gold right no now. Look at C9 up 10k Antonio, so. gold. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It is now over 10,000 gold mm -hmm. for the side of Cloud9. And at this point in the game, you know, Shopify from game one had tried to take the game slower. And but this you is one of those situations. I feel two, like, the uh, were, guys, you know, at a pro level, if we Shopify just moves, loses, right? There's nothing anyone can do. Anyway. This is a situation and where, I, like, solo Q is just over, right? Like, you can't do Shopify anything. That they at tried a pro to level? Plays on the right timers. What Berserker you do? didn't have sums in that red jungle fight. Unfortunately right. for them, I mean, Karthus ult is just going to melt your team. And so... He has the malignance, he has the, uh, so you know, he has a burn with the I'm just anguish. really worried for this. He doesn't quite have the, uh, cap yet, but zero three and then going into a long it's almost break. like he doesn't need it. Plus, Again, this is only 23 minutes into the game. Maybe the most brutal, this is not like a 35 a minute game. Brutal, but, uh, these ones truly, um, are, have been, right, see this ult. have been that way. Here we go with the ultimate oh, again to soften them so much damage. the actual confrontation. Everyone's just down 25% besides Basil. Crashing the and even he's down like 10 percent looking for the inhibitor both in the mid lane and the bottom lane shopify they are on their last oh defense. so they have they got One bought and mid like, i don't know from this rough from letting so cloud is looking really series. good but more than but anything shopify is looking really rough oh two every look single like week great engage by zazel doesn't matter can follow up on the engage Zazel is burned down. Even though it sounds rough, it, it Thanatos, really doesn't matter. Lead the charge once Fake out again, almost died. Throws a big rock to soften Shopify, even in the safety of their fountain. And Tomia was looking for the flank on the left side. Oh, good true shot away. barrage on Jojo, but. The does deal decent damage to Jojo, but both of the Nexus Towers are gone. Cloud9 can now oh, look to just pull him and step up forward. Shopify, one last chance. It's not going to All right, well, Cloud9 I mean, it was a good game. It was enjoyable, right? Like, I enjoy it. Rebellion. But it was definitely one-sided at every single situation. Complete and utter domination. Shopify did a lot better early Quick game here, but again, game was over in like less than 25 minutes. At the top I mean, of the it, they barely got out of mid-game. If they got out of mid-game. I'm definitely worried. Uh, and, and really hope That's that they rough. can make a turnaround in the break that we're about to have here. Maybe some, uh, some intense hmm. practice. It's dig versus fly. Oh, I'm just excited to see what happens.
Dignitas looks, looks really, split, really good now, last week against 100 Thieves. Just, and FlyQuest like, looked pretty good as well. Like, the pretty tankiest good as well. in the world, engaging for you, doing everything. So All right, let's I'm see. Oh, I'm Poppy. loving seeing uh, the Poppy. I'm I'm I think Poppy's like, really, really strong. I feel like I... I don't know if I've seen Poppy lose. Uh, it's okay matchup. I'm just curious. Oh yes, please, Vayne. Oh, uh, whatever. Out on the lane because the closer lane. I, I, Vayne doesn't actually make any sense looking at the comp, but I would love to see Vayne. I feel like Renata is. Yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm really, I'm really hyped for this. Going on there. Uh, would be good exciting, but so far, nice to meet just some Jensen. pleasantries good in the chat. Yeah. This is, good luck. That's actually really Very cute from polite. Quad. Nice gotta, to meet you. You gotta make sure that you lull them into a false sense of security. Uh, that way nice you can... people right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, I don't know if Quad's nice. I, I know you replaced yeah, him, but... Once that scoreboard doesn't have the, zeros at the top, Quad's that's fault, when you can start typing a little bit more. But doesn't look like we're going to get anything super interesting here at level one. Maybe a potential delayed invade. Looks like potentially looking for a lane swap there. Uh, that's what I was keeping my eye out from the draft alone, and then, like, yeah, it just looks like they're opting into it. Yeah, I mean, Kaisa Leona mm -hmm. sounds absolutely miserable. The main first few into, levels, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. The first couple levels, you definitely need uh, to get something going. And it's going to be nice because they're also going to have Poppy with this leash. Poppy Q, obviously, very good on the Raptors. Brand starts W, going to be clearing this out really, really fast. And Poppy's just going to walk along with him uh, and be able to get this clear going very, very quickly. Where on the other side, Inspired obviously has no leash, so his first camp is yeah. going to go a lot more slowly. So we'll see what Spika can actually get done on this first clear. And if he can maybe cross back down towards bot side and get some extra camps. Into the red buff, seeing potentially what he can do. I don't know if he knows. Now he knows. So now he's going to oh. probably try to go into vertical jungly, but we'll see uh, if Spika is ahead enough that he can actually maybe go down and cross over to his red after this or something along those lines. Depending um, on how this still mid lane goes, it's actually quite hard for Inspire to get into the, the red side jungle. I guess you do have massive bot gap, but yeah. like really like interesting that Whip Whipple walks up there. A little bit tricky with Jensen. Yeah, absolutely. So just going to have to keep their eyes on Spika and see where he wants to go. He is pinging that he's going over towards Wolves. Um, there's question mark things kind of over on Raptors. So they don't have exact info on where um, Inspire is, but they do have a ward over by their own Raptors. So yeah. uh, be Inspire interesting walks to watch. in through that area. Uh, they would have known, but it did not Inspire. Licorice living the, the top so lane dream here in the lane swap. I think they're going to be in a rough spot zero, here. Zero, zero, yes, yes. <laughs> Hanging out in the brush. The top lane matchup of Kings. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's still having a better time than Whippo, though. But he leashed, so it's yeah, not gap. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he at least had a slightly more entertaining yeah, side yeah. quest to participate in. I don't know. Give me Callista and Booster with so much gold here. Right it feels really rough. <laughs> Love and life up here. All these CS plates as for well. He's on the board, baby. Wow. All right. That's more than top leaners usually get. This is top cap. Yeah, this is crazy top cap. But we need to take some notes. <laughs> you can see it right there on the scoreboard. Plus 14 gold from that caster minion. That's uh... they canceled their recalls. Whippo knows that they're there. I wonder if he's gonna walk up and try to just like make them. Uh, cancel again would be pretty risky to do so. So it is just going to be completed recalls. Yep. Quipo now gets to walk back. He's going to be able to get a lot of this XP and will be able to pick up uh, a fair bit of Yeah, that's really interesting. Like there's about six minions. A very short up, so. uh, lane swap compared top to what I feel like go the other way now. seen yeah. in the While past. While we are watching that top lane play, though, um, mid lane, but I mean, still, Masu's, you can see both I mean, Masu's just ahead now. HP. Got two so, plates down um, there up in farm. If Jensen to choose to take a reset. Now you have to deal with a really not a bad, but... Yeah, meanwhile, uh, inspired further ahead the than you, Callista. For FlyQuest, pathing back up. I don't know, that's, that is rough. Now. Jensen has this lane pushed up in mid, but it's not like Inspired has any sort of an opportunity to make a play on him here. As you can see, Spika clearing out the top side scuttle himself now on the brand. Both these guys at about the same pace, but Spika's going to go for the invade here yet again, recognizing that Jensen has control over mid. He has the push there. Spika wants wow. to go test, at least for the big chicken. And it looks like that one will be stolen away. Nicely the done there from the Dignitas jungler. That, that's big. On the second Raptor respawn, that's always like a big priority from when you do land swaps. And for Spika to be able to get the big one, I don't, I don't know how many small wins he got, but I think he got at least one. It, it's pretty big for him. Yeah, so far though, Why is the second Raptor a camp gold so lead, for it? Across is there the like more gold they there than I understand? Little edges in or like a lot of EXP right now, and of course Masu, uh, as well as Busio, they got the two blade spot, so they have a decent little advantage for themselves. But Zen and Isles, I think, are going to be pretty happy with how this game is going. You can actually get through. All right, Spika, let's see what you got. Riff. Spika's behind them though. About Spika. They don't know. They yeah, they don't. They have no idea. Zen got poked there, but look at Spika just there, just chilling. Masu and Busio, and they then just took a lot of damage, and then just Spika now having a flash away at the re-engage wow. from Isles, but now he has to. The flag was bottling and played that beautifully. Oh, he's dead. Isles is dead. Dignitas is getting oh. styled. And four.
my quest make him look silly. That was that, that was, was really silly. Well played. Busio just charged straight back towards the brand, forced him to use abilities on him, then stayed in the wave. So even though he got the E, he could never actually hit him with the, the C or the stun. Q to get the stun. And then once you've spent the spell there, there's no way to actually fight back. At the start, you see Leona missed her. Zeno so yeah, fight. Leona missed so the E. So I get that. Engage. And if Brian has Big no poke setup, there how does from Masu. Damage, you know? yeah. Like you said, it's so hard to land this Q on Busio when he plays in the wave. Exactly, just playing right in the wave. They got the early chunk as well, so they try to step forward. Kyle did go out. in there. Kyle goes back in, but Cleanse was always available, so this is just really Flash good a little bit stuff too early, here I think. from FlyQuest, even with the lane swap of early levels. Flash a little bit too Masu early. and Busio playing shake. very confident. Yeah. Very, very well played by them. Maybe this is also massive for the jungle. So <laughs> Masu's just so far ahead right now. The lane swap, multiple the plays, it, uh, and they got a kill. And Tush should have avoided a couple more levels here in the bottom lane yeah. because that was not ideal. FlyQuest uh -oh. up over 1,000 gold. Now as Busio's coming around mid lane. Jensen going to try to get away from this one. The handshake. So close. Forcing the flash out from Jensen. Beautiful play by Busio. I thought he skill. grabbed him. I was thinking this is unbelievable thing, right here. Is just that, since oh, wow. He look at Whippo. He's now down two camps and then inspires. How did he end up? So how is he just absolutely bullying this poppy now? Up upside. and farm and everything. Yeah, that is really big. And Licorice, you know, is going to take his first base now on top side. Uh, he will have to TP back and catch this wave. Whippo, of course, does still have his TP. Uh, but Dinkasa, at the very least, will take one grub away, which is actually quite big. You get a yeah. lot of bonus XP on that first grub. Uh, and of course, it is you know denying any potential six grub take or anything like that. Essentially, they look for a third raptor invade of the game. <laughs> well, also very close to level six here for Inspired on the Talia big playmaking okay, potential. Bucio. Once that okay, ultimate Bucio. comes online, as Bucio just going to encounter Bucio Ben walk. a little bit as they make their way back towards. The bottom What's lane, top Jensen lane? still has his ultimate to be able to escape there. if FlyQuest tries to make another move onto him. Dead even farm here. Oh uh, yeah, this is so rough for Sven being down so much from this going blow for blow so far. I think Blizz this already is has actually one of the quirky matchups. Starts to become a little bit more favorable for him. Tier two Once he gets tier two shoes and some levels in his queue, you can actually start to like win the trades like you can see here. So talk to me a little bit about, about the Tavage Rush. Obviously, this is becoming really popular. We're seeing even Merc Chad's Rush. Obviously, it's strong for the 1v1, but you know, do you think you know it is worth the trade-off of having that Great. later one-item power Killing spike? that you minion to get a little poke so on Claude from Jensen? I feel like that was so spicy. I think it's spicy. definitely situational, but when the lane is so close like this, the Tavage will end up just winning you now. And now, every time Quad can take like a cute chunk, you're always going to win these small trades out, like you can see here. Like just, you can keep poking and poking and poking, and if he end up sniping him with a big rocket or a Q, he's gonna just get such a big HP advantage where Tristana actually can't no even boots. win the one v one anymore. So, so when you're playing from the Tristana side, though, now that Tabby's are actually completed, what should quad. Jensen be looking to and do, Jensen knowing he's no gonna boots. lose some of these trades? Are you just trying to mostly avoid trading, focus on pushing the wave, farm it out, and wait until you have that actually that crack and spike when Corky's not gonna have an item completed? You don't have to like fully wait it out, but you definitely lose if you have some like finesse to the fights and you you can dodge his Q, you can dodge his ulti, mm -hmm. you can definitely win. But you're just not doing a whole lot of damage because. You just, yeah, like he just has tabbies. It's not a whole lot you can do into that. Hmm. Up top side, let's check in and how things are going. Interesting how important tabbies are in that matchup. Match it was really interesting listening to the APA there. I don't play a lot of poppy, mid, but uh, recognizing the fact that this guy is one of the experienced play a poppy bit of players top. here in the LCS, things are pretty stock standard up there right oh, now. Oh One v one back in mid lane. Jensen's oh. in danger. Has to use that Buster Actually, shot. Actually, quads really low there too. Away. The power of that Corky so threatening right now. Yeah, that got a little bit risky. It looked like Jensen was just focusing on trying to push in that wave, wanted to kill off the last cannon, yeah, and quad is hitting him exactly. Yeah. And with that pressure, oh, yeah. the Spire was just around, able to grab like Drag seven with this power for free, too, by himself, so no rotation, dicey, so and no one Once you see two times and losing those matchups, like, you start him. to panic a little bit. You know, he's already lost TP, he's lost but They know that he's likely around mid, there. So you're like, you're not in the best spot, and then you can't really get help. Yeah. So he just needs any Look at Look at Speak and Aspire is there, but the both of them is but it's not the biggest Oh, wait, Aspire stayed. So if you're Dignitas, you know, put yourself in the shoes of Jensen. as What a great poke from Aspire. in the dive, but... We'll be okay for now. You know, oh. how are you thinking about actually playing that back took in this game? So much you are miles. Out in this game. Your bot lane is, is very far behind. You don't have a ton of playmaking oh, on the Tristana. Are you way, just trying to slow it down so and be play your sides, or what would be the plan? I mean, the, oh, look at all these really plates on Masu, though. Until you get the He's got 99 Once you get the Kraken Slayer, actually, do you, think you can you start to become very aggressive. No, no, he should be able to build the Kraken Slayer. Extended trades with with the ramp up of Kraken Slayer. You can just trade up 1v1 kill him. But right now, it's looking just a bit rough. The bot lane's looking rough. Mid lane's, you know, just in a bad spot for the matchup itself. Um, 
So yeah, everyone else is just in a stalemate. Like the top lane counter pick, even though you do have counter pick, you're Wait, just do they even get this, in CS. They don't get this turret. Yeah, okay. I mean, this whole game has basically just been about that 2v3 bot. Right? Wait, they you do. Yeah. Lane swap. They get first so plate, they get first turret 10 minutes into the game. Them. Then you lose the 2v3, all of a sudden, the matchup becomes unplayable. You're stuck under your tower, you're not yeah, going to Yeah, I don't know, I don't think this lane no swap was the move. Miles finds, you're going to lose it. So I guess we'll see what happens really later into the game. But it's a 3.5 right now, gold lead, not even 11 yeah, minutes into the game. Looking and you can see favor. the Grey Hourglass there in the grub pit for that second set of those that's about to be ready to spawn now. And it's perfectly synced up with taking out that tier 1 turret in the bottom lane from FlyQuest's side. So now they can bring up that powerhouse Callista and Renata. You've got the first item fully completed Yeah, they're just going to try and grab there one. With the opportunity. And Dignitas is going to try to at least take something here. But FlyQuest yeah, are making their way the one. first grub. Yeah, that is so Dig. scared. This fight is so scared. Kliss is the only person in the map with the item. So she's yeah, so strong inspired, coming into this fight. Great 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 ult. Inspired. Licorice misses his ult! Oh, he's dead. He's looks like uber dead. Is the sacrifice. Fly quest uber, are uber dead. Are going to pick up a kill. They're going to have control over the top side. Flash too. They're going to get these last two grubs. Honestly, that wall from Inspired was just insane. It trapped yeah. like four people in that little like, corner there mm -hmm. and just either forces them to die like Licorice did or like use your flash out. Yeah, that was a really nice angle on the wall. It was um, a great They ult. clearly just wanted to try to get one grub, and so they did get the one grub. They tried to get out, but they weren't able to do so in time uh, because of Inspired coming in. Beautifully and they played by a flight quest, though. Anything. And this gold lead is just going to get worse and maybe, and maybe worse. I think that might have so been a little bit too much for Dig. Maybe Dig should have known. I mean, they knew that Callista was yeah, coming up. Maybe they should have so said, like, hey, we know we can't fight this anyway. Not at the risk of being an insane angle. The idea of doing that. I think Spica ends up flashing out. Oh, they dodged the licorice. And then Licorice ends up being caught by the handshake and just, you know, sacrificial lamb. Yeah, Jensen waiting on the rocket jump just to make sure that he doesn't get caught by any CC. Let's that hostile takeover get out of the way first. But man, it is rough right now for Dignitas. Total gold on the left side of your screen. Masu so far <laughs> out in front of everybody else. Man, yeah, I don't know. Kalista the Lynx, uh, I don't know. Problem. I have not and been convinced of Lynx swaps lately. Lately, this hard, At least in the LCS. The game, you can now just swap in the there were times where it looked really, really good in MSI. Like, so far ahead, and I think that might have partially been to the teams who were doing it. So how do we uh, how do we stop this, boys? If you're wearing Dignitas jerseys right now, what is uh, what are we scaling. doing? We're going late. <laughs> well, I did talk about when Tristana it does get cracked. We're still so early. I think this is when the you're down to shift a little bit gold. in oh. favor of uh, the Tristana side. So I think now she can start to get proud, potentially even fight very aggressively because she does have the item advantage over the Corky. But the, the bot lane matchup is looking quite tough right now. I don't know if there's any salvaging that. No, I don't think there is. I mean, I, I think you're having to look towards playmaking in 5v5s, right? Anytime you're playing against a Renata, single target burst is not really going to do it in general. Right. So you're, I think you're relying on the brand, and you're also relying on things like the Poppy ult. If you can eject someone out of the fight, if you can hit a Masu or a Quad or an Inspired out of the fight, you can maybe take it uh, with an odd-numbered matchup there. Ooh, nice handshake again there from Busio. Been hitting these really reliably so far on the Renata. Busio Causes on this so Renata has been looking for disgusting. For down the bottom lane and now even making his passes up through mid. His rotations have been gross. His lanes have been gross. His CC has been gross. With all the vision they've been able to establish. And they end up just putting Masu it's out It's almost mid looking like maybe don't lane. let so Busio have Renata, maybe? The next, like, few minutes, they're just going to have guaranteed... Oh, Licorice had the flash and out of that, too. from the Dignitas top laner as well. Licorice having to escape as Inspired once again, being so threatening here on the Talia with that Blackfire Torch already completed. This mm. dude is scary. Everybody on FlyQuest is pretty scary yeah. right now for Dig. It is a threatening game state. Monster just continuing to push up in mid lane here. The damage on these spears, Yeah, I don't know. Man, just everyone on FlyQuest side is ahead. Kalista, it hurts so bad. Again, like, look at the Even bottom. Kupo, it's just, who's been having, like, it's a all FlyQuest. Fly game. Nothing happening top lane. He's already at his white iron power spike. So Lick Rush is I mean, you could component. argue that, like, Even he is Dignitas is really good wave right clear now. if you want to try and do like that late game. Like, that's your win con. It's just whatsoever. Always the having the wave so super quick score to try and like, grab a two, pick. Two but... kills to nothing, one turret to nothing, and they're up the first two drakes as well. Mm. Pretty much everything in these first 14 and a half minutes of gameplay has gone their way, and it seems like they came into this game with a plan, and it's paying off. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it just really has been all about the bot lane so far for FlyQuest. You know, they created that massive advantage. That's going to get them pretty much every objective because no one can fight as long as Masu is there. So... Uh, Dig is going to have to kind of choose their moment. Uh, it is also going to be Hextech Dragon, which is really unfortunate when you lose the early ones. You're kind of hoping that Great maybe it's like a Hextech Soul or something that's a little bit less yeah. desirable. 
Um, but Hextech going to make that even worse. So Dignitas are going to have to decide, do they actually want to try to wait and challenge at the fourth dragon and risk a potential soul off a flip? Or are you going to try to challenge actually at this next dragon to prevent them from getting to soul point? Because FlyQuest are just going to keep snowballing objectives. Even before the dragon spawned, like, FlyQuest just has so much control wherever Inspired and Bucio mm -hmm. end up walking. Like, they're bot side, they have so much control bot side, now they're top side, they're just taking Rift Toe, they take dragon. Like, it becomes a point, when do they start to let, or when does Dignitas start to play? <laughs> <laughs> I agree with this. Honestly, they just absolutely let a, APA a do this. Feature. If we could have spectator all chat, I, we I can could ask... actually have spectator all chat. <laughs> <laughs> do I get fined if I type? <laughs> but we're not yes. going to do it. <laughs> All right, all right. Maybe, maybe in the future. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe we will get the in there for a show match or something. <laughs> maybe we save that for playoffs. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, cook, okay. cook a little Let's bit. Get confirmation from Ryan. The, uh, that, that would actually also going to be picked up side, That would make it Flyquest. so you enjoyable. You can see the golden outlines alongside that here, but alongside those turrets, Dignitas is so far behind. They already have objective bounties. If they can manage, to I thought Quad was going to get there. But there's I was like, hold on, let me not take this bite just in case Quad solo kills Jensen. You can see Jensen forced out of this top side matchup as soon as he runs into Quad in the river. The Corky's having none of it. I mean, you can just look at the vision, right? Like, you, you look at the vision on the map, and it's just all... Look at the farm difference from Quad and... Uh, oh, you can't right now, but in a minute, look at the farm They're difference from Quad and, and Jensen. It's so hard to go anywhere on the map, because you know... 20 into Quad's favor. Any sort of even fight, like even numbers fight, Almost you lose, 30 and you don't know where anyone is. They've got Sven. no info. And it makes it so the difficult. The only lane that from looks close is you Licorice and the Whippo. And I think it's because the lane swap, they're both just really far to, behind. Keep that gold income coming. Or 30 farm up, and I like the fact uh, inspired you're from Speaker. Because you're also up against Talia, who can instantly change it's insane. in a fair fight uh, to an unfair oh. one. As Jensen's jumping in after Quad. Ooh, Jensen quad, jumped into Quad, but there's just right so many people up there. He's going to get punished here. his way up through the Tri-Brush, looking for the dive. Oh, wait, does he get out? No, no, no. Okay, he does get punished. Oh, they got into Masu! They're Wait, great Jumping job, Isles. Beautifully done, Isles. Let's see, Sven, are you able to do anything here? Licorice dies to Quad and Whippo of Topside. But at least you're able to get Masu. Oh, Sven goes right into Whippo. Yeah. I think Sven should have just kept running away on foot. might be the nail in the coffin for this game for Dignitas. 7k gold lead, 17 minutes in. FlyQuest slammed the door shut on Dig. Jensen TP'd back in. He had the tier 2 boots. He obviously had the Kraken for a while, and he felt like he could take Quad. He might have been he able to take forward, Quad. The issue is that there was... Getting blasted had, in that I mean, 1v1. he sees so very far behind Leona. Early on here. Look at a couple canceled autos as well. Oh, I'm sorry, Whippo. He and sees then, Whippo. You're in this spot where you can't and he still goes in. That's so such an interesting run, choice. But the flash Bucio's is there to follow, you. and Bucio is behind him. Inspired's in the area. Oh, great flash from Whippo. Oh, immediately kills Licorice after that. are both losing. Everyone else is so strong. Exactly. And I think the terrible thing about this fight for Dig is they lost quite literally, I think, every single flash in the game. I don't think any of them have flash up, so now, like, going into this, like, I mean, you can see it here. Jensen just doesn't have flash. How does he live? I don't think he does, buddy. This is a pretty bad spot. Oh, here comes Inspired. Oh. <laughs> Inspired is just sitting in the bush. Inspired is gonna find him, sets it up for Quad. Easy peasy for FlyQuest. This game just feels totally hopeless now. That for was Dignitas. unbelievable. There's no room to move. Inspired There's is just no chilling. He's like, he'll come. Yeah, I, I mean, do, 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 if do, I'm do. in Dignitas shoes right now, I don't know what to do. You can't win Silent. You can't win team fights. You can't do anything. Like, I just don't know what to do. Yeah, Inspired gets uh, first blood in the Jensen versus Inspired matchup. Yep. <laughs> Perhaps more important than the FlyQuest versus Dignitas matchup. <laughs> there we go! One ding. ding! One takedown on Jensen for Inspired. All right, Inspired. Honestly, man, there's still only that one kill this whole game for Dignitas. Yes, it was the kill on Masu, like you pointed out in the replay, Azale. But yeah. when the kill on the Callista comes at the cost of your whole team, uh, and everyone's that ahead now, right? Like, that's the problem is yeah. that they committed everything to trying to kill off Masu, but Quad and Inspired are just as fed at this point. You know, you're looking across the board. It's almost an entire item ahead for Inspired. Yeah, he, he well, he just actually now has his tier two boots as well. So pretty much a full item. Uh, FlyQuest also speaker, stacks the third break. Monstrously ahead yeah, as well, Dig is no a lot of real kind of one-sided games, it feels like this week. One, bot lane tier one, I believe. It, or no, or no there's still two, two games so left in the series. Like, I get that, but this game is not... He himself has not Close. been the one in a lot of these plays. 
And there's the answer for the question that we posed earlier. Will Dignitross try to challenge for an earlier Drake, or will it all come down to the soul? Well, there was no way for them to even get to this third Drake on time. FlyQuest now Ooh. at soul point. As Isle yeah, Lucio's looking so there, strong Lucio on this. They ain't gonna find it. As Dignitas again, just returning back to their own side of the map. They like, have this no Renata's vision, looking even up in the river, just menacing. Man, just Everywhere she walks, she's an brush. issue. Everything you have to respect trying to with defend, our hold on to whatever so, scraps so of much. Summoner's Rift they still have because also, the map so is getting smaller clear. and smaller for them. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult. I mean, I think you're at the point in the game where they know they're insanely far behind. You just overload one side of the map, pray you get a pick, pray someone is playing a little bit disrespectfully, and keep looking for these 3v1s, these yep. 4v2s, these kind of plays. Uh, that's, the bounties, yeah. Exactly. That's all you can really do is you play towards bounties, you play towards maybe overloading a side and trading for a turret, try to get the objective bounty there, uh, and then you fight for soul, you fight for Baron, nothing else. Oh, Great engage quad on quad, but he just on, gets out, and now Isles is dead. Back away. Isles is on the front line, and he immediately falls. Quad's going to take another kill. Dignitas now down that's a man, much. and they're about to be down another. Sven trying to escape from Inspired, but it ain't going to work. Inspired goes on a killing spree. So FlyQuest just killed. Two. That and was Barra disgusting. That sights. opportunity edge yeah, of night on Masu with that no Q problem. rend. They disgusting. Just, they just decide, All right, Unacceptable. Quad, let's send it. You know, you have to take a. a you really? I think people need to start getting rid of Callista. Exactly. So, so far behind. Like when I do see Callista, you know, it's disgusting. Like I, people need to continue to ban this as often as it has been, if not more. Ten thousand gold and Busio decided that another ten thousand gold lead. This this when the only chance they have is making a pick with the Leona. I mean, eleven K now. Absolutely no contest. It's disgusting. Oh, the speaker's dead. Speaker's gonna face check into the brush. That is not. Oh, never mind. He wanted to go. He luckily gets Spica to knew what he was doing. Spika wasn't worried about it. Yeah, I think Bubba could have stayed on him and killed both of them, so but yeah. don't worry about it. Spika didn't want to ruin his PDA it. that much. It's, it's he just showed he could beat him, and then he backed up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this knowing, is what I could knowing, do to you. Exactly. Knowing what we know is just Isles, he probably could have easily uh, taken him down, but he doesn't know, of course, who else is in the area, and if Kaisa is maybe trailing or something like that. Uh, then I think that's kind of what he was worried about. But either way, FlyQuest, 11,000 gold lead. They're at Soul Point. They have Baron. And Dignitas, I think they're just thinking about game number two after this one, where it, it's it's tough because it is a very stompy game, but at the same time, I think you do have a little Look bit of the cope of just saying, Bucio. well, the gank went that bad, and that was kind of the game. To be fair, yeah. Inspired on Talia has been really playing. I don't think I've given him enough credit, to I'm be entirely honest. Fan, His ult have been really, really good. He's had great knockbacks. His map movement has actually just been insane. He's always where... He so do you think then the mistake be, was letting, feels like, letting you know the following picks fall to the second round, right? Because there was just so really, really well played by FlyQuest. Or was there a specific pick you would have still preferred them go, even with everything that had been banned out? Um, well, I think it differs from team to team, but I think like to me, Ezreal and Varus are like two big components to match with the Leona once Callisto's gone. And then since you drop your ADC to 4-5, they just get banned out. And then it's like, how much damage not, what do you do? Yeah. No, you have to go Kai'Sa, but then Kai'Sa's just not that good into Callista. And you could see the damage up there in that top lane. Sven losing half HP to an auto attack and a rocket from Quad right now, who does have the Trinity Force, plus the Muramana fully evolved, ready to go. Zeal and inventory halfway there to the third completed item. Now just have to back up a little bit as Licorice can at least hold on to the tier two here in the mid lane. FlyQuest still commanding the Baron for a little bit more you know, than Poppy's one still additional looking okay. minute. Honestly, like, even though Liquid is kind of getting bullied, right down he, one of the lanes and break still right into the base from this one. Well, Soul does come up in a minute and ten seconds. So if you're flight quest side, you can say the engine you get Soul. It's such a broken Soul hex Soul. There's not even Once a weak you win the game, side so for flight quest. Right, it's not like they could say like, oh, we really want to catch like the top laner, or bot laner, or something like that. Out. Here in the bottom side, it's like Inspired just gonna pick up the camps. Maybe you're hoping that Busio just makes a huge mistake and makes it a four v five or something like that. Like that's all you can even hope for. It looks like FlyQuest know exactly what they're going for. Oh, but FlyQuest for. is a better team fighting Isles, to team, right? Like... Shove just to get away. The Weaver's Wall will collapse in time for him to complete his escape. But what about Jensen? He's now the guy who's Oh, okay. Down. Good engage on Quad. Sven was able to follow up. up. Let's see. All right. Grab Quad. Now he's able to leave. So it's it is gonna be is a one for one there. Quad died. Jensen died. Let's see if Spika and Licorice and everyone's able to get out. Okay. Spika's dead. But Licorice and everyone else should get out. Set it up. Licorice, Sven, and Isles all still oh, the drag's up they have in no 10 way seconds, though. They, they just lost soul. Drake here in about 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. Sven's wait, wait. Why'd you turn around? P, trying to get away from Wimpo. He escapes for now. They're trying to turn their attention back over to the fly quest. Okay, Licorice 
died in Isles is probably Lincoln dead. Knocks. Send him straight back away. to Jerk to spend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and you died anyway! Doesn't even live. Licorice, that was so troll! <laughs> oh, wait, that was so troll! You should have, you should have, if you were gonna run, oh, whatever, 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 whatever. You could run in the mid lane, though, you should have at least let Whippo kill you and let Ben go. It's an alley oop for your top lane, bro, you know? Just give him one up there to Whippo. Don't kill me, you can kill this guy. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, at the very least, he does get the execute. And they get the soul? Pretty much all done, but the cry and they're gonna grab the soul as well. There's clearly no chance for Dignitas in yeah, this game. I don't know. Game, they could probably. They, are they could actually to ace find Fly Quest trying to find windows. Work. But it just doesn't matter. Even if you get the one kill, when you're this far behind, you have to commit so many resources to yeah. that one kill that yeah. you have no ults, you have no summoners, you have nothing left, and you're chunked. And then all of a sudden, you have to deal with four, four other, other people. guys who are also gone. Uh oh. Yep. We, uh, looks like we got even more problems. Another beautiful handshake from Busio uses the flash to guarantee another death for Jensen. See, I thought I, I said I thought the series was going to be close, but honestly, after watching game one, I'm not so convinced. Yeah, this is not a good <laughs> showing from Dig. FlyQuest are just stomping them yeah. 16 to 2. And now, with the enemy mid laner and AD carry both dead for the next 25 seconds, it should be real easy for FlyQuest to wrap up this first game. First this might be the push here. Yeah, first inhibitor turret's already gone. Inhibitor's going to follow. Here comes the Weaver's Wall just game. to make defending that much more impossible. Spika again going to be forced to flash just to That's try great. to stay game by Flyquest. Really, really in, dominant. I think you cannot it's let Busio have Renata anymore, though. It's a 19 to two game. That was disgusting. Even close. I mean, I'm not... Like, everyone else played really good, right? Extra statement here. They're still looking but, to prove their point and rub Dignitas's face. Unbelievable. Look at this. Are taking it slow and steady because they already won the race. Sven at least gets a kill on Busio. That but is insane. And FlyQuest absolutely stopped him. Oh, wow, I was so much looking forward, looking forward to the series here. Let's see how Flyquest game two goes. Absolutely. Because that was not close. That was not like a... Uh, it was almost as many thousands of gold ahead as for minutes that were played yeah. in the game. Like, this was like Ooh. a 20k gold lead <laughs> at yeah, 27 minutes. Yeah, that was gross. Minutes. The minions don't even spawn. Let's see. Let's see how game two goes. I saw them play. They lost. Quick well, counter so, pack or uh, counter pick really into licorice. Been something that has been really yes. And, and kind of really yes, Mar Ezreal. Wow, has been back on Kaisa, Leona. The they really this like this bot lane. I see by from them the most. Maybe uh, causing the Nidalee to be able. To Actually, I feel like I don't see Kaisa almost anywhere. But especially Obviously against support, Karthus, kind of gross. Like you don't really even outpace the Karthus as far as farming at all. And there's a lot of pressure on you to get things done early. Yeah, Nidalee has not been looking very impressive, specifically in the LCS. If you're I'm not gonna. Why this I'm not gonna reference kind of all the other spicy. regions a where it kind of does look back good. And it kind of started uh, with this Minions inspired interview so after finals, where he's kind of putting a lot of the blame onto Jensen. You know, and Jensen, this was his quote in an interview talking about how. Yeah, I didn't know, hear about he, this, and he again. Felt like FlyQuest had already made the decision to get rid of him, but just really I don't, weren't being It's hard to ever know really exactly what's him. going on. And there was also another kind of similar situation for Spika, where he had a lot of frustrations, where he had actually found out that he was officially off of the org through Twitter. You know, didn't actually uh, feel that he had been communicated with. So there's a little bit of heat with that. There's also yeah. some heat between these players, because Jensen and Inspired have been kind of going back and forth on some content now. Yeah, you yeah. Know, Whippo is obviously a very big kind of boisterous personality, and he's going to talk his split whenever, uh, whenever he feels... Like he should, you know, these guys mm. are, are really confident. And I don't think they're necessarily... So they, no lane swap off. from just, Dignitas you know, like, hey, this game, even though they I feel. You realistically know, have I'm a rough top you. lane again. Uh, but it has created some pretty some pretty cool stories and some pretty cool content, and it's created a bit of a rival. Wow, here okay, Quad, it's I see so you. More fun Thousand damage a minute. Like that, you know, when you have just that extra little bit of sauce, that extra little bit of spice behind it. Okay, so this time, old, uh, Quad's on to Sana. TSM days, right? Hotshot and Reggie going at it with who's going to win, having those matchups with so much on the line that everybody got so invested in. But we're zooming out here, taking a look at all three lanes. Licorice on that Cassante does have to deal with the terror that is TF Top. This guy is such a pain One of my to least favorite part about so top lane is getting kind of counterpicked. Yeah, absolutely. It really does make and the whole game to wonder, almost you know, Did he think it was just going to be unplayable that he was going to be laning against? You yeah. know, you know, was that a little bit of a curveball? Uh, this is going to be the fifth game in major regions this split that Poppy has been played support. Mickey obviously got a lot of attention playing it uh, internationally um, and has been really good on it for G2. Actually, Poppy support and, has you know, not been bad for my... Been played, you know, with the Halo Blades. So obviously, Halo Blades going to be really aggressive for the laning phase. As Quad is jumping in on there, from Quad there. Oh, look at him! And did reset the rocket jump, so it could potentially go forward even further. 
but has to be careful about that cannon that is just pelting him right now and kind of evening out that trade. Um, but it's also just kind of playing, you know, with um, this really aggressive mindset. I think when you're on Poppy, you have to really be in their face and have to be looking for these plays. Because if you play passively, you just don't get a lot. Wow. Of right. You're just kind so of much damage from like, Quad. I guess I can soak skill shots for you. Or uh -huh. yeah. Inspired. Let's see what you got on the Garthus. Inspired. Making his way down into the bottom lane. He knows. Oh, they know where Fog of War is so much. It's so impressive. The turret. He wants to make sure that he's here in case Spika was going to try to make any sort of a move on them. But Spika still just uh, pathing back up towards the top side of the map. It's Inspired who will secure this bottom river scuttle crab. Spika is going to do the same thing up on the other side of things. And honestly, everything's just pretty quiet here in the mm -hmm. early game. Yeah, very, very even across the board. Except for the top lane, after just uh, where it is a you know, pretty decent gold lead opening up there. No, you don't. We have to see how many minions are still left to farm for Licorice, of course, as he may just have more. Because that is actually a, a TF huge. Expected to get an advantage it makes your player so much better on a lot of these AP junglers. Uh, you are just kind of cheating and printing extra gold with that passive. So, and it's going to be difficult for Licorice, and it's just going to be about him kind of surviving. I do think that Bobo is someone that they potentially want to target with some of these ganks, and also playing alongside Isles is going to be really important for Spika. They have got to be successful as a duo moving around, landing the stun on Leona, guaranteeing the spear, having that follow-up to really accelerate Spika and get him into a position where he can play aggressive. Okay, squad now, a little bit too far forward. Wrap around potentially here on quad. Nope, just no, wow, Spika just lets it be. A jungler's best friend. <laughs> Gotta make sure you keep tabs on those as inspired. Now just going to continue his own farming, picking up the last little tiny Kruggy. And right back onto the chickens he goes. Kruggy. So Spika's gonna at least be aware of where his enemy is. But Licorice stuck underneath this turret, man. Yeah. Low, health, low mana. I don't even feel like this would be a good gank from uh, right now, Spika. He's up plus 18. Even if Licorice farms right, like can you can you even kill Whippo? Licorice has no, no priority here. Still gonna be down a good negative CS, priority. Much, no matter what happens here, uh, which is a pretty difficult situation, but that is kind of the situation you often find yourselves in, especially when it is double combat summoners on the TF. Yeah. It even reduces the options of like, oh, he messed up. Maybe I can look for an all-in. Well, no, you Yeah, really Licorice can't. is actually it's down very, 10 very gold hard. already. And, and I think it's just going to get worse. Flash TF, uh, because if you overcommit to that all-in, you could just get chased down as well, right? So uh, it really limits the options for the Cassante, and it just becomes about loss mitigation and being more valuable later on in the 5v5. And especially for Cassante, so many times when you see Cassante catch somebody off guard in top lane, it's because they step just a little bit too far forward. They get Cassante under the turret and he just displaces you so far. TF never really has to step close enough that Cassante can even do that. All right, what you got? Guys what you got, Busio? Really ruins oh, so much of that okay. setup that Cassante would look for that. I think he's going to try and win. EN. Back in the bottom lane. Dignitas' duo is so much happier with the way things are right now and the way that they are. We'll see Speak if he tries to come out. Absolutely. I mean, and we're just going to have to see, you know, when these opportunities present themselves, can Busio find the angles? Because when you're playing this Halo Bellies Poppy, when you're playing Poppy support, he's going to be going Bloodsong, almost guaranteed. Uh, and it's just about finding that angle they I didn't notice it was Halo Blades second. Poppy that's so Actually, interesting you him against the wall you knock him up you set up those hundred to really plays. good post that's really Jensen. what it is all about it's still really you even know, mid. X factor being able to reject people uh, with this FF presence, with that W, as they're going in on these dashes as well. He's okay, really, really inspired. Big and gonna make clear Spika's that job quickly. That I love too, it. Because even if the Nidalee gets to a strong point, if you hit a spear and you want to jump in, all of a sudden you get stunned up by the Poppy as you go in from the Poppy's W. Yeah. You could just be lights out. Ooh, licorice. Yeah, all out right I there. Said. He shouldn't be able to find these angles. He finds one. Uh, Whippo popping the ghost, Not enough, though. though. Licorice might have gone all out, but Whippo disengages. Okay. Spika's able to get, get dragged. Busio's low. Engage. Busio has to flash to survive. Has Great flash engage by Spika, but really good flash by Masu. If he's able to hit a spear. No, okay. Pocket, still ready to use that one. Dignitas at least getting some of those summoner spells out of the FlyQuest duo. Exactly, yeah. It was Isles flashing in there to try to land that stun as Spika went in for the Axew pouncing forward. Inspired now. There with Quad. Oh. Jensen could come over. They do have the extra man here. Wow, the they grab it. Owls is in. Spen's in. Oh, he's okay. Oh, oh, oh quad. okay. So Quad ends up getting first blood, but then he's immediately traded back. But now this is really rough for uh, FlyQuest. You have to be really careful. Totally great play from Quad. Because he got the first blood. The kill goes over to the Kaisa. Sven's going to be happy about that one. Yeah, he is. Quad as well, though, getting a kill. So both teams getting a kill onto one of their AD carries gonna be feeling pretty happy about it and Jensen doesn't even get an assist in there so uh, it's gonna fall a little bit behind as far as the gold is concerned but not too big of a deal oh, he pushes gonna it out miss his cannon too and back towards top lane now licorice just kind of continuing to deal with this punishment the second plate here about to follow 
uh, and he does not have ghosts. He does not have all that. Flash is still available for Bippo, so it would be really hard to find an angle for much of anything. Has gone towards the Merc Treads, which are obviously going to be helpful for the Gold card, but at the same time, it's mostly physical mm. damage that you are going to be taking, so right. he's not really... You know, funnily enough, Speak has done really good yeah, at keeping up with this, uh, Karthus. I feel like I've seen a lot of... Flyquest setting him up to uh, be able to mine even more money on the Nidalee is struggling to keep up with these hyper-fast clearing. I know Nidalee also clears really fast, and that's kind of what she was originally known for before this patch. Right? Like, last year, if somebody picked Nidalee, you're thinking, like, oh, they're going to pressure this enemy so hard all the time. Yeah, they currently Nidalee just doesn't feel now, like that into other AP junglers. And, Zven, and there is no cleanse on Masu, so if you could actually connect onto him, there is potential that they could go in, look for an all-in play. That's okay, Quad. Quad. In. Yeah, Quad is not afraid here on the Tristana in mid lane. You do have that Ninja Tabby's plated steel caps, whatever you'd like to call them, purchased here for the Corky. So Jensen knows Ooh, that he's got that extra heads up by Masu. power spike compared to what Quad has, still just not going for that himself. Has the Vamp Scepter. Back down in bottom lane, Masu just firing off okay. that barrage. Might be able to cancel a Stopping recall. another back from Isles. I would be so I'm annoyed. In this game, Isles has by far the biggest engage potential of anybody on the Rift. FlyQuest's engage tools are pretty limited. They have pick potential, right? Twisted Fate can show up behind somebody. Maybe Poppy gets a good angle. But there's no... Oh, great spear by Spika. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is going to be the difficulty for them. You, know, you do have a little bit of poke, obviously, with the Ezreal. And we've seen with Karthus, it really gets going. Sometimes the way they start to the fight... Yes, Karthus sir! Karthus softens everyone up and says, yeah. you don't get to fight, right? You know, you set up to the objective. You have Definitely one of the best rune options. Two potential gold cards, two potential Ezreal poke. And the Karthus damage as well can become very, very difficult. So uh, when they do group up, I think it's going to you know, be a lot quiet. about, you know, just these these rapid fire gold I mean, FlyQuest is, TF, funnily enough, is a thousand up. And I think ball. a lot of that's coming from top so lane and the fact they got the first pressure, blood. I think for them to have it's that not, primary engage. And on the know, other side, I think it's Dignitas more Dignitas is very much in this game. On dig to be able to find those oh, Isles just got out. And here we go. Hex flash over the wall from Busio. Isles is Immediately going after I said it was quiet. Masu gets the kill. Man, Great Isles job by FlyQuest. Everywhere it feels like. We're watching bot lane. Yeah, Rico's Masu Rico's always Rico's knows Rico's where Isles is at. Stopped there by Masu. And he lost so much tempo on the map. We saw that Busio got out on the map, was able to get some wards down on bot side, and that helped actually spot Isles as he was making his own move around, gets spotted Poor on the Isles recall, getting bullied. and hex flash over the wall from Busio stuns him in the wall. A really, really great job by Inspire, just pulling dig, up that, uh, on dig, excuse me, as I don't know what it's called, the uh, gate or whatever. Okay, Sven. Here with the AD carry, Sven popping the killer instinct, barrier alongside it. Masu's down to 150 HP, likely to die. Oh, Masu! Way, Masu, that's insane! I really thought Sven had that with the flash over and then autoing with the the passive proc. He even used the barrier, used both his summoners there. Flashed over the wall. Masu, you're crazy! He just hits him with the Q as he flashes in. That's that matchup that you're supposed to be able to win. That's why people like this. That's what I was talking about in pick and ban. You know, back in the day when Kaisu was played so much, it was considered a really advantageous match because of those situations where you find yourself in the 1v1, take the 1v1, take them down. But Masu finds the outplay, moves to 2-0. That was zero, beautifully done by Masu. goes to worse here for Dig. Oh, that, that I, I mean, 2, damn, here, just that was well played. Into the game. Better state than it was in game one for Dignitas, but still not what they want to see. Quad goes in for Jensen. Yet again, he's down one level, so he doesn't really want to force this any harder. Busio walking up there, just drops the ignite. They're going to keep Sven here. Busio. Inspired, throws out the wall. I would be Monster's so annoyed. The pushed up. They don't just want to hard Especially because now he, he's just waiting to die, really. He's just doing everything he can to survive. Escape avenues. Sven down to 100 HP. Busio's going to eat it. Maybe he just didn't want Masu to get any of that gold. Dirt. Inspired's holding the spoon to feed it to him. And it's a 4-1 to one game for Flyquest. I mean, uh, is it any better that Inspired gets the kill, though? Maybe. Of Quad's aggressive movements here in the wow, okay, Quad Licorice. And Licorice will at least be able to grab something up in the top side. All right, they I see you. Trio of grubs. They're going to get the first turn. I mean, yeah, so... To bring this gold Ma uh, or, I'm sorry, Sven died. Meanwhile, Inspired and they gave him drag. Were the they able to get top side and let Licorice move around a little bit? Yeah, the gold lead shrinking a little bit with that top lane tower take, but again, it is inspired just power farming hmm. here. It's Masu and Busio creating advantages for oh, the squad again. Dead here. And now Busio, Busio up Rippo. towards top side. He has just been He so wasn't able to get the gold card. All right. Both He'll games, survive for really now. Really showcasing his stuff here. And Licorice is not of the woods just yet. And if he goes for a lazy recall, Busio is likely to find him here. We'll see if he does actually check the brush and 
now Licorice is gonna have to try to get out of there, but he gets knocked back and still can oh. get stopped. Nice. Oh, done. great unstoppable, but just even better from Busio. Uh, that's why I said for now. Bucio he did end up biting the play. dust. Nicely done by Busio. You know, potentially Licorice could have just led with all out when he was kind of behind him, but I think he thought I can just walk this one out. Um, but at the end of the day, interesting Bucio that Licorice did choose to back in that bush. Stops you again. Did he really not think that uh, look for something Busio find would spear, spend the time to go on over and uh, he's worried that other people are there. So that's continue two the game. waves at least all going down, and multiple plates are gonna fall, and your top laner just huh. died. So now it's a three thousand gold lead here. FlyQuest firmly in the driver's no seat here once again, and we can watch this 1v1. Okay. Didn't get to actually catch the very beginning of it, but both players trying to sidestep each other over and over again. Look at how like Monster low was just hitting Monster every is. single Q, and then Zven making sure he well can flash done. gets right up against it, flashes over, gets hit by the Q. You can see the frustration on his face. He knows that's what they were looking for. Yeah. And the frustration from the dig staff as well. That they is heartbreaking. That is the situation that you have this matchup. Three and a half thousand gold. Just didn't miss a Q that nope. we saw. He On was hitting fly. everything, and he was playing in the wave. So the Akathian rain from Zven is just getting spread across all That's of these different units, right? It's Dignitas. not all hitting the one guy. Well, Isles down to half HP here as he needs to get out of FlyQuest's jungle. Luckily, he does have Zven and Spica both nearby, so FlyQuest can't fully commit to picking up another kill. But yeah, we were talking about Dignitas grabbing that first turret up there, trying to bring the gold lead back down to something more approachable. And then as soon as we mention it, FlyQuest make the play to double the gold lead that they had, up to three and a half thousand here. Again, 14 and a half minutes into the game. The Rift Herald is live on the map. And once more, it's so much FlyQuest vision in the top Look side. Look at all those wards yeah, in, that really, in that little really bush in the tough, river. I think, for Dignitas. Kind of find Quad those angles with that they're going to to, all little... uh, to make something happen in this game. You know, you, the reality is, yeah, Spika's got a little bit done. Uh, there's a jump in from Quad, but Busio is behind him. Spika's going to help to keep him safe. I mean, you're zero zero one. Yeah, how does how does Dick come back here. and get this game? You are about equal. In it's already looking rough. Such a better spot. Yep. And I like the Dignitas. scaling they're from Flyquest a lot more. Not really anything they can find just yet. And honestly. Might have oh, a look at this. The top lane as well. Whippo chasing after Licorice here. Just oh, Licorice dead, center. right? <laughs> Licorice, what do you I do? I don't think you want to go any closer, buddy. It's time to get the hell out of town. Whippo's looking to cut him up. And Busio survives the dive here in the bot lane. They're going to get another kill. That was kill a good attempt from Licorice. Whippo takes out Licorice on the other side of the rift. It's a two for nothing across the wow. map. And FlyQuest is once again making fools out of Dignitas. Whippo just played that out really well, but there's just nothing that Licorice can do. I mean, Licorice the needed to just keep running no matter what, He's right? He's chasing you down. He tries like to turn he, for a potential all He tried in, to, like, turn around a few times. Maybe to try and get a cues on that. I think you have to just keep running. though, either, as even once the ghost expires, he just uses the ult to continue the chase. So Licorice kind of checkmated in that position. Whippo really kiting it out well. And now... Dignitas really up against it, down 4k. They already lost game number one. It's one to seven. And Inspired here, continuing to farm, taking away the scuttle, gonna look towards Harold and just extending that great, lead even further as Isles is Great dead. poke from Asu. Isles is not getting away Isles died again! Way, the support gap in this series has been massive. Busio is Yeah, Busio's had some great games. Day and night. And Isles has just not been able to find the same results, the same success. Zero, four, and one here on this Leona. I mentioned earlier how critical I think he is in this game because he is that one guy that really has a go button. But we're not seeing it. It's funny that yeah, they had him back on Leona after the previous game. It feels like he's just not actually right two shot right barrage right from Masu so could absolutely melt being ben. in the right spot. And squad not afraid at all. He's Watch the one chasing out, right? after speaking licorice. Maybe Great, that was a really good spear by uh, Spika. Flashes away, stays alive. Blade of the Ruined King. And now Busio's... Oh, uh, no, no. Gives him that extra little bit of burst. Okay, Licorice, I see you. Could be in some danger. Licorice, look at Great job by Isles. Getting it on Inspired. Inspired is dead. One to keep his jungle that's alive, awesome. Way to go. Wait, that's, that's awesome, Isles. That's shut down on Inspired. It's so unfortunate because last game when that's they got the big shutdown on Masu, it went to the Leona. This game when they get the big shutdown on Inspired, goes to Leona. Not where you want to see it. Oh, Whippo. wait, that went to Leona? Yeah, Sven's jumping on him. Whippo's out playing it for now. Killer Great job, Sven. You're dead. 
gets Sven the kill, but he's got the explosive <laughs> charge strapped on his head. And well, I, you killed it. You killed Whippo. And say goodbye. Yeah, he knows it. He's going down. Did find that 1v1 kill, though, onto Whippo. So going to be happy about that. It got a lot closer than I thought it was going to be when the gold card came through. Oh, nice flash. Lucio, you're insane. You're a monster. Again, you're an absolute monster. Plays. Speak it down to 100 HP. Heals it back up. That was, I mean, they didn't get Spika, but that was really well done by Busio. Yeah, he's just completely not concerned with Dignitas right now. And honestly, six and a half thousand gold lead, 18 minutes into the game. I don't think 6,000 gold? I mean, they're styling on this. 18 minutes? Yeah, again, this is not a close game. Young bot laners, Masu and Busio have been the big story to me in this series, even though obviously all the talk coming in was against about Whippo and Inspired versus Jensen and Spika, you know, this kind of rivalry there. Uh, but it has been the FlyQuest bot lane making all the noise, walking the walk, talking the talk. FlyQuest just gets the second drag really here, uncontested, because there's here. nothing that well, Dignitas can do. FlyQuest is now 6,000 gold lead, and they have the objective advantage here. And if it is going to be a mountain soul going the way of FlyQuest, there's just no way you can really see Dig, you know, bursting someone down through that. Right, and especially, I mean, that is so Kobe, rough. Got middle, All right, Busio, you got another spicy play for us? Permanent shield that refreshes after not taking damage yeah, for a little bit tough. is uh, pretty, pretty tough to deal with here. Dignitas, honestly, I was hoping for such a close series out of this today. You even mm. mentioned at the top of game one how you were looking forward to this head to head. I was looking forward to it so much. Yeah, dude, this was supposed to be the banger, and instead. Oh, Busio comes in and they're just dead. The that is just dead. Rampage. Zbika's also just dead. Zbika can even try to get away. You're seeing a lot of no, pings sir. up on Jensen as well. They know the Corky is back there, and they are looking for more kills. Another TP ready to show up, but Busio makes it easy for Whipple to grab the kill. Jensen's trying to fight back, but this Corky Great doesn't job have any mana to get the job done. All right, Rufo's so Jensen alive, is able to get out thanks to Licorice TPing in. Inspired and Quad ready to reinforce. Objective bounties are available Shelly! soon. They're going to need a lot of Shelly! Them. Gonna take down the tier two turret in the mid lane with a rift. I'm so proud of her. Well. And fly quests are just what a good girl. everywhere. Putting on a show today. Oh, in the, the second lane, charge. Taking down the turret's mid lane. They're winning every fight we see on screen. And then you look at the mini map and they're winning elsewhere too. This is just incredible. 8K gold by FlyQuest. What is going on with Diggy really, Toss? Really That's good. insane. I was the one of us who had FlyQuest the lowest rated on preseason power rankings because I thought they had a lot to prove after their showing at MSI. I thought they had a lot of issues that they needed to work out. They and did, they but maybe it was just because like this, the LCS right, is awful I international. Just have to be a believer. Yeah, I mean, they are looking really, really strong and uh, are going to be trying okay. to look towards... You know, these other matches up at the top of the table, obviously. They yeah, no, FlyQuest is looking really start, good. Uh, Are they going to be able to catch Masu out here? Nope. Potentially in play. Okay, good engage by Isles. Flash for the Zenith Blade, engage after Masu. Great job by Masu, though, okay, now. I think that was, that, that was perfectly done by Isles. That's just fine. Masu gets away from it. No pick, no shutdown. Dignitas wanted to make the moves. I what do you mean top gold diff? For it, the gold diff for the everyone is insane. Everyone's over a thousand, not counting the support. Any pressure on him up until that point. But yeah, three thousand is also insane. But it's, it's also yeah, TF I mean, it's in the just so slippery. It's very difficult to lock down Masu. You know, is a bit too far forward. Does lose the summary, I mean, Masu, but as you said, that's what Masu there for. Masu did a good job getting out there, but he was a little out of position. Would have loved to get the bounty off of him, but even if they do. They're just really so far away from being competitive in this game. They would yeah. need to get fight after They really fight need like a 50 50 Baron, like Baron or something like that. Chance. And squad's on two items. Into and like an ace. Trying to move in here to contest around that river, but they just don't really have oh, a Oh, there's nothing they can do. No, and you can see the Void Seekers from Sven just don't do anything meaningful. That was what, 200 HP off of Whippo? That's not exactly a tanky target, man. This is just not good for Dignitas. Oh, no they can, on they can probably just force Baron on whatever they want to. Drags up in two I mean, minutes. Top lane gold for him is, is also insane at this point. It's over 3,000 gold, three full items already done for Whippo at 21 minutes. He is farming well. He is taking plates. He's getting kills. Uh, he is utilizing that passive to the fullest. As Masu here around oh, mid lane, like I thought I was dead. Find an angle to go on him before his summoners come back up, but that is, of course, why FlyQuest is playing around him there to cover in case there's any sort of an issue. Man, it's shifted in though. Try and go on Masu. Yeah, 
so strong here. Sven, oh, Sven's is dead. No, no, not quite. Okay, okay. He's alive, but Whippo's gonna grab the kill on Licorice. Now Sven has to still try to get away. Boost Barely. In from the, side. True shot the lock and the, the, and the barrier, but now Isles is dead. Isles is gonna drop yet again. Speak is dead. Wants to escape, but Whippo deals Jensen's with a dead. losing hand. Jensen ain't gonna do it. Everyone but Sven died. And Dignitas they kept Sven alive, but what did it cost them this everything? They're marching on the base 22 This might be game. In. They're 10 gay up. Made no mistake about it today. They show that they are the far superior team. Dignitas is gonna need more than trash talk if they want to compete with FlyQuest. Wow. Playing like this. There's the last kill they needed. Isles respawned. Good game. But what is he even gonna do? Nexus turrets are already gone. <laughs> Two take the subjects in there for inspired. FlyQuest absolutely. That was not a close game. Dignitas. And inspired with the all chat as the Nexus is exploding. It's Jensen with the so vegan. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of That's salt insane. The there. Really good games. It, it was really one sided today, fight. though. To Actually, the playoffs. series from. Because Flyquest yesterday were a little bit today, better, but all of the uh, the games back -to -back today just did not feel honestly, close. Here. It did not feel close at all. Let's see. Did anyone go to game or game three? O two, o two. No, it was just stomps everywhere. Stomps everywhere this week. All right. So it's three o for Team Liquid. Cloud Nine going into the break. Let's see. Own three for Shopify. One win, two loss for Immortals, Hundred Thieves, and NRG, and Dignitas. And FlyQuest is the only one that's two one. All right. So the next week. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's see here. You know this. This might be the only close game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Team Liquid's gonna. Uh. Oh, whoops. I'm pretty sure Team Liquid's gonna be on Dignitas. It'll be a close game, though. We'll see. Uh, FlyQuest should be... I mean, yeah, FlyQuest should beat Immortals for sure. I'm thinking Cloud9 beats 100 Thieves, but, you know, 100 Thieves has some has some spice, so there's a chance here. That, so Sunday's probably gonna be the, the closer games. So I think is gonna beat Shopify. I'm just not sure how badly. Because maybe they'll go to Game 3. We'll see. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be back tomorrow just playing some games. Have a great rest of your night.